can't take from us. Right, right, we right. ain't slowing slow up. up. Look what life gave us. Gave always up. always up. going up. up. You can't take from us. Right. We ain't slowing slow up. up. Look what life gave us. Gave up. In the building, in the building. Mike, check. Oh. What's poppin'? Welcome to another episode of the Free Your Mind podcast, where you come free your mind and help others free theirs. I'll go by the co-host, and my name is Wound, and I'm all about balance like the sun and the moon. was poppin'? Yes, sir. I go by the name of self-made. As the other co-host, you got to tap in with self to know thyself. Always. What's going on, I- man? Oh, man. Chilling, man. Chilling, chilling, chilling. How's your day going? Cool, man. Cool. Finally, you feel me? Who's this jumping in? Okay. Finally about to chill out and get this building, man. I've been lightweight busy running around all day and yeah, studying definitely. and shit. What's up with you, though? Oh, man. Chilling, man. You know, I've just been um, running around all day and shit. Um, just trying to put some things together. I actually had a I had a better week than I had within like the last past few weeks, meaning that yeah. I got off work a day earlier. So I had a whole day oh. to work to do this. So today I'm energized. Ain't I ain't been right. up for four hours, none of that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, that's what's up. I know how that should be. Hell yeah. And it's it's the it's the month of May. I found out that's uh it's it's mental health awareness this whole month oh shit, so, for real? yeah i mean i don't know if they made some shit up or not but i've seen it <laughs> may yeah, no, is no. the mental health month so we might have to incorporate some you know some sort of men- mental health uh you know show sure. or something throughout yeah. this month and it's my birthday month too and everybody knows i'm mentally unhealthy <laughs> <laughs> We gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to bring that in. Yeah. All right. Blink, Blink in the building. What's popping, boy? Hey, can y'all hear me this time? Yeah, yeah. We All got right, you cool, in here. Cool, cool. What's up with you, man? Man, maintaining. Yeah, I feel that, man. I feel that. Trying to make sure my mental health is right. <laughs> That's a fact. Cause I am. <laughs> I am. All right. All right. We got we got Lala in the building too. What's popping, lady? How you doing? Peace, peace. What's popping? Thank you. Um, <laughs> are we doing this right now? Are we having a battle of the gold shirt? Uh, <laughs> the white, the white and the gold, and the black and the gold. Oh, no, I am. Um, I, s- I sound bad, you guys. So I'll be on mute a lot, um, especially if I'm like sniffling and stuff too. But I'm good. How's everybody else? Oh, Smooth. Chilling. So we got <laughs> we got uh this, this one, this one uh, I, you know. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. <laughs> it's gonna it, it's it's gonna get spicy with all these different uh you know, belief systems and and things and whatnot in the building. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Give me one second. I got somebody that's from the rock that's calling me right now. Give me one second. All right. Yeah, this is going to be a um a really good show. I was waiting for this one right here. So we got Hebrews. We got the Christians. The non-orthodox Christians. Um, I was trying to get uh, uh, Krishna in here for the Hinduism side. I'm not sure. I don't think he pulling up. He said he don't want no smoke. So we're gonna leave that alone. And then uh, what else we got in here? The FOI, Islam, <laughs> ancient Kemetic um, science. <clears throat> That's that's power packed right there. 
I don't even know where to begin. I was talking to Wu and I'm like, man, look, I don't even know where to start with all these different people. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, there's gonna be um a lot of different energies on here tonight for sure. So I can't wait to at least sit back and listen um and observe. Yeah, if nothing definitely. else. That's what we doing. We we sitting back. The I am we chilling back. I'm just moderating. Hopefully, I ain't got to mute nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to mute nobody, but hopefully, you know what I'm saying? We can keep everything in check. But yeah, I'm, I'm chilling back. <laughs> hey, that's a fact. I, I, was, I, I put up my disclaimer. I said, hey, I'm just chilling this week. And I got called out um, by uh, by the captain of the KOY. And he said that he wants to, he wants to bring back up the uh, it's got the most low and shit, or, you know, from that stand. So I said, man, look, I don't want no award today. I want peace. Today. <laughs> <laughs> but if you know, if that's if that's what we got to do just to get it in, you know what I mean? Then I'm always down for some shit. So, but um, other than that, yeah, we we chilling today. Man. I am niggas kicking back. Y'all ain't gonna hear me cussing and yelling and cutting niggas off and all that extra shit. I'm, I'm gonna be chill today. All right. So that's my disclaimer. But if you say something, if if somebody says something that I have a question on, I'm going to ask that question. I'm going to just say that. Yeah, that's no, no, no. we're going to ask questions. That's it. But I ain't going to, I ain't going to further that. <laughs> we got Droop in the building. What's popping, boy? <laughs> What's popping, man? Shout out to the Damn, chat. I... Oh, my. There you go. Hey, I'm I'm hella used to the moderator side right now. I guess I got like spoiled and shit. So now not being on the moderator side, you can't like, see nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have BJ in the building. I'm not sure where he where he went. Um, okay, yes, my Facebook shit did pop up. Okay, so what's up? His parent. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Sure. <laughs> he said waiting for the shenanigans. So yeah, so we got um we got a couple of brothers that's coming in from the from a different angle or a different angle of life representing the Hebrew shit, representing the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> and they're gonna say some shit that may be controversial within the Israelite ideology camp. Um and so you know, I'm just I'm just waiting to see that, and uh, hopefully we get it. Just like you said earlier, hopefully we get a good deal, man. Yeah. We got we got we got click clack uh, representing the the uh, the Christians in this motherfucker. Oh yeah, I was I was gonna ask him like what. Uh... I'm just talking shit. I don't know what. <laughs> if he represents, oh, I'm you know going what I'm with it. I can't uh, say for real. Hey, are you muted, uh, Blue? <laughs> I, I think you're mute. Is he muted? He not muted, but it's something that's going on. What the fuck? Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Oh uh, yeah, I tried to cut my Bluetooth phone because like my phone's speaking out loud for this uh for the stream. Uh, so I okay, to, okay, and I lost okay. my I lost my earphones, so I can't find them. So, but I can hear I can hear you good enough. What was the question again? No, I just said you're coming on representing the uh the Christians, right? Maybe uh, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are, are you religious? I mean I'm I'm I believe in what I believe in, you feel me? So that that's all I could I could really say. Well is it is it like it's like do you read the Bible? It ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. I mean I I, I read you know, it is some scriptures I take from the Bible that I could apply to real life, but it is also context from other religion that I could apply to real life. Because most things, it's like I'm not gonna say some things, but for sure, most things in the Bible, what well, is new Bible that's that's written up, don't really make sense to me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> so, so you basically um, Old Testament. <laughs> Uh, something like that. I really just whatever, whatever my heart 
is satisfied with like okay i can follow this then i'm, I'm gonna go for that but if i come across something where it's like kind of shaky yeah i'm not gonna really i'm gonna fall but i don't believe that i believe the other y'all was rocking with you in the beginning but like right now like you kind of shaky i can't rock with this i'm gonna have to go get what i'm looking for somewhere else yes, um, yes, yes. so my thing is like you know at the end of the day we all come from one source Right, so fact. I'm just trying to I'm trying to piece everything together from everywhere else to get back to that one source. Woo! I tried to say that to the Hebrews and they they didn't I understand that. When, I said, when I said that. So I'm glad you said it. I, I know somebody feels me. <laughs> yeah, like you feel me? I got a, I got a friend that's uh I got a, I got a friend that he 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 look Hebrew, and I had a teacher in sixth grade who's Hebrew. So they they don't they, they wasn't really rocking with me all like when I. By the way I think they rock with it, but when I speak it, they're like, nah, bro, it don't sound yeah. too good right now. Want to hear right. that? Now? Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, you pulling, you pulling from everywhere then. You ain't right. just focused on one, on you know, thing. avenue as far as like spiritual, you know what I'm saying, awakening or your own spiritual growth. You looking at everything and shit. Right. That's the that's the only way to really do it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. That, that sounds like some iron shit, though. That's what you uh, That's a fact. You trying to, you trying to get on this iron? Like, what we doing, man? What we... <laughs> <laughs> we got your hard Cooper in the building. Peace, brother. All right, what's popping? Hey, I didn't know if you was uh if you was gonna actually come on the show. <clears throat> um, I know CZ. Uh, he he said he wasn't gonna be able to make it, so I had you know let him know like, hey, well, if anybody else wants to come and represent the KOY, uh, you know, definitely jump in here. You know what I'm saying? We could we could bring you in because y'all on the flyer. We, we you know what I'm saying? We want to make sure y'all getting uh, represented still, being that y'all was on the flyer for this show. In between time, y'all know uh, we're trying to get the sponsorship. Uh, so you know we gonna I'm gonna pop this bottle right now. <laughs> Still trying to get that sponsorship. Yeah, we need we need that sponsorship. We really need uh Ricky Rose to pull up. Man, tell him pull up with some rose and some wing stop. <laughs> hey, that's a <laughs> Yeah, other than that though, what's up, man? We finna um Hey did this um oh, okay, I was just gonna ask that. Okay, so if you got the room. If you yeah, I, I had sent it to him too. Okay. <laughs> hey, group said where the group, group said where's Don at? Hey, send Don the link. Don? Uh little cousin. Oh, okay. He he represents the uh, the Christianity something tough. Mm. So if he pull up, you know, he gonna he gonna he gonna spill a spill bus his gun and you know see what that shit do. I was actually waiting for burner today. What happened to burner? Mm. I didn't even uh I didn't even talk to burner. Man. Hey, if, you, if, hey, if you can, hey, send him the link, Blake. He ain't been responding to my text. I got somebody in the oh, building. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got Mike in the building. Shalom, Mike. Young, what's up? What's good with the What's good with the gods? Peace, peace. What's going on, man. brother? Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. How you doing? How you doing? Doing good, yes, King. Sir. Doing good. Yeah, man. All I was right. just uh, I was just testing the waters. I didn't mean to really get home real quick, but it's all good. I'm gonna stay on. Went for oh, my yeah, nah. You can tap back in, and I mean, tap back out and tap back in whenever you're ready. Okay, yeah, man, I'm finna just get on with my brother Karan, man. We're finna get on and and, and and do what we do. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. All good, all good. I can hit y'all back in. Uh -huh. see, see, we got we got one set of uh Hebrews that didn't tap in, but guess what? We got another set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, I heard the Aki. I wasn't gonna assume that he, you know what I'm saying, but. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he really is like he finna he finna come spill some spillage. Hey, see, and this is this is when the shit start getting good because I remember 
back in them days, you know what I'm saying, when me and you was chopping people's heads off and we was going at everybody. And I remember specifically going at uh, a couple of different Hebrews and all Hebrew, just like all Christians, all the Hebrew packs, they don't got the same types of understanding. That's a fact. So I'm curious to see, you know, the differences in, in what the KOI got versus, you know, what these brothers got. Okay, we got some people jumping in. Let me see. Yeah, because he going he gonna to come with some with something different. So, oh, that's Cuzzy right there. Oh, Your horror's in the building. Okay. <laughs> we got Eddie Watts in the building, boy. Shout out to Yahara. What's popping? Peace, brother. Shalom, shalom. Peace to everybody and good to see everybody. Up and alert, all refreshed, especially Wound. Talking about he all refreshed from a good good couple of weeks. <laughs> it's the best day he had for a while. So that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's good to see all y'all. Much yeah, love, y'all. Yeah, man. Likewise, man. Likewise. This one's gonna be a good one, man. Not, you know. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of um and I already put out my disclaimer. I'm just gonna be chilling. So you know, um, but I will have questions and I will, you know, just, just what, what I want to say, because I'm not in a moderator position, but I still want to kind of like moderate this shit. All right. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be good, man. I'm, I'm going to kick back and let the bill, you know, do what it do. Um, I think I'm like, yes, Wolf ain't said this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we finally going to be able to talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I was planning just to listen in on the sidelines, man. But I saw again the brothers were known there. I know um, Asa or Asa. Um, I know a couple of brothers were in fasting at the at the moment. Um, so I'm not sure that I don't know if that's the reason or not. But I do know we have several brothers who are doing a fast. And um, is that like part of a religious, like you know what I mean, something within the text, or is that just something you guys choosing to do? No, it's something uh, with within the text, within the scriptures of, of fasting and praying when um, when things go on, when you know you are having evils befall you, or when you are um, giving praise and and that's. But it's usually more of a releasing evils and whatnot that may be plaguing right. you. And by right. the whole essence of it is by taking away from things that the flesh desires. You can be mm -hmm. more with the with the spirit, and so the more you fast without water or food, the more your senses and your your spirit is now in tune with with the spirit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the yeah. the whole ground. But it is a scriptural uh, thing. Context is all over the place in the scripture about fasting and praying. Because mm -hmm. you know, like uh, for for Islam, they got Ramadan where they do it for I believe like a whole month. That's right. At a specific time in the year, like, is that the same as for you guys, or is it like you guys fast kind of just whenever you guys feel a certain type of thing? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's um, I'm familiar with the a little bit of the Ramadan and and for the month, and it happens in the same part of the season as one of our high holy days, which is Passover, Feast of Unleavened uh -huh. Bread. It, it happens this year happened to fall right about the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you got the the um, Christian Easter also within that time. But to answer your question, if there is things that um, that certain times where we fast, the only one that is is, is a real uh, is a Day of Atonement, which is in the seventh month. Which that day is a, a fasting day of the Day of Atonement. But other than that, the children of Israel, as I spoke about in the scriptures, usually did it when they were facing um, big time obstacles or big time oppositions um mm -hmm. you know in order to connect back with the spirit to be delivered from whatever that was um plaguing them or that was befalling them at the time so it wasn't right. a set day it was just more of a situational type of mm -hmm. on them that they did that put on sackcloth pray fast and and let that spirit connect with the spirit and then uh, wait upon their deliverance. So that can be done anytime. That's why I say some of the brothers now, I guess right, uh, right. they are evil things may be uh, befalling them. And, and, and I do it uh, whenever I have that feeling of, hey, I need to connect back with my spirit, you know, with the mm -hmm. spirit that, that gave me the spirit. And 
anyway, that's that's it. It's not a set time. Only for the the day of atonement, which is in the okay. seventh. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that. Uh, you know, I. I I got a brother that does or um, used to, you know, be a part of the Islam and he would do the Ramadan. So um, as far as like fasting, this is my first time kind of hearing about it as far, you know what I mean? Coming from the Christian side, I know it's throughout the book, mm -hmm. um, but as far as like, you know what I mean? People actually taking that on. Um, yeah, I've, you know, this is the first time me hearing it. Yeah, and a lot of brothers are doing it now outside of scriptures. I see a lot yeah, of right, exactly, for yeah. cleansing. Yeah, so people yeah. People doing that for cleansing. They, they, they get off of everything and just either have just water and, and mm -hmm. alleviate all the toxins and things from their body. It's a lot of different platforms doing that now, which is a yeah. form of fasting. And some of them do just straight out fasting, which is no food, no water, and it's a cleansing process. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, a lot of people do it for different reasons. but Right, right, right. Uh, Popular. Shalom, sister. Our hello, Shalom. Hi, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I was hoping I seen BJ. He was in here earlier, and then he must have bounced out. We got. I mean, at least I know we got the other two Hebrew brothers. I know Khalil and maybe um, Ace. I, I'm not sure. That's why when I saw y'all on, when I got the invite from from you, um, self made, <laughs> that I um, when I saw the time, they may have been thinking it's seven, but I oh, okay. that I just popped on, and again, I had planned to just sit on the sidelines and just listen, you know. Um, I didn't, but it's when I saw no one was here, I, like it was the last time we were together, I pop on just to answer or, or, or fill in the gap until they come on. Right, right, right. Now, I know we had uh, an ancient comedic person that was supposed to be on here besides Ant. Am I right? Um, Yeah, but he never opened. He didn't. I, he, I know he's currently overseas. Um, oh, that's right. I don't know the time saying. difference, but, you know, we sent out the invite. Um, okay. Hopefully, hopefully he'll jump in. I didn't know I was on mute that whole time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was over here chewing, but um, I was saying that in our language in Farsi, how you guys say, you say shalom. Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. You say shalom. That's how we that's say right. hello in Farsi. That's right. Shalom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. part of that Shemitic language class. That is very similar. <laughs> you know, it's you find a lot of common words that we use between them, whether you look at Aramaic, Farsi, you mm -hmm. look at um, all the Afro-Asiatic um, language in the Shemitic groups, we use a lot of borrowed words, even the Phoenicians and the Canaanites. I right. mean, we use a lot of their words, but a lot of Hebrews don't know that, but we do. We borrow a lot of words. So that is a common one, Salam and Shalom. Is that, would you say that Hebrew, based off of you, what you just said, is that like a made up language in a sense of, uh, of a whole bunch of other cultures' words in a sense? No. No, I wouldn't say it's a made-up language. It, it is, um, <laughs> some describe it as this. So I'll just put that out, just out there. Um, like with a Tower of Babel, you remember that situation mm -hmm. that the Bible talks about? A lot of people heard of that, where uh -huh. everyone spoke the same language prior to that. And some uh -huh. people say, and again, I'm just saying what people say, not necessarily what I necessarily believe, but you have everyone speaking the same language, which, was, which they call the language of creation. In other words, the same language that was spoken between the first beings and, and their deity. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then when the Tower of Babel came, because they were so unified in their languages and, and trying to accomplish what was not uh, told for them to do, which was to go out and fill the earth and multiply, they started mm -hmm. to do their own agenda by going up into the heavens. That's where the Tower of Babel came from. So anyway, mm -hmm. then... Um, the languages were confused and all the languages were were it, that's when all the different language groups supposedly had occurred where no one can really hear what their brother was speaking it was no longer one language it was a multitude of languages now however hebrew seemed to be what passed through the line of uh which was after that through the line of seth um and and went all the way down to noah methuselah lamech and all those into abraham 
And Abr the name Hebrew comes from that Eber, which is Abraham's grandfather, Abram's grandfather. And so, and that was a language that they maintained was that still that one language. All the other nations had different language groups. And, but when I say that they borrowed words, that's, that's how the origin of the Hebrew language supposedly that came about. Again, that's a thought, um, not necessarily what I'm pronouncing as truth. Okay, I just want to just distinguish that. But mm -hmm. what um, when I say borrowed languages, because of the 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 uh, migrations, if you would, of, of Abram, as he came from the land of Ur, and then he went into North Syria, uh, which is called a town called Haran, and then he went down to Egypt. Um, and he went through Canaan. So by traveling, when they were speaking, he picked, that's when other words were borrowed. And then he took a lot of words like from Canaanite, that's why I say a lot of Hebrew words have a Canaanite origin and a Phoenician origin because Abram had traveled through there and had borrowed some of those words. And that's not hard to understand, even with us today. We can go to another country and we pick up certain words and we start incorporating them into our English language. If you look at the... Um, the etymology of a lot of words, you can see that all of them are not from England. All mm -hmm. of them got this from the Latin. We may have gotten this from the, you know, and so forth. And that's what I mean by borrowed words. But it is a unique language. So that was a long answer for you, Ock, but <laughs> nah, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I, I, I ain't been in the bag in a minute as far as what I'm, you know, talking about when it comes to the language. But mm -hmm. I do know um, there's some sort of and it just depends on like how you you know perceive it or you know what you choose to believe but there's some sort of conflict between uh hebrew actually being greek mm. right like when you look at the uh i always say emerald tablets but that's not the right tablets the rosetta stone my bad the rosetta mm. stone when you look at the rosetta stone there's only three languages on there and they say that's where all this is where all languages stem from. And the first one is, I believe, Semitic, which is it's mm -hmm. not you can't speak it. They just write it. You know what I mean? And then you have the Egyptian hieroglyphs and then you have Greek. So and when you look at Hebrew, it's it's mm -hmm. synonymous with Greek. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's some sort of especially with the, like what you just described as far as like the. The history coming from like a biblical standpoint versus the history coming from a non-biblical standpoint like actually mm -hmm. looking at certain things artifacts um there's some sort of conflict with greek and hebrew so i don't i, don't, I mean as far as you know determining because we know the greek greek mythology you know what I mean? Like they, they got a whole thing wrapped around that. So I'm trying to figure out where the Israelites come, like why are they using Greek language? And like, how did they get the Greek language? And where did all that type of stuff come about? Like, how did that come about, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can answer very brief. I try to be brief on this answer, how it came about where the, a lot of the Hebrew by blood, not just the language, but the Hebrews, how they picked up a lot of the Greek was in captivity. Because um, we had a lot of, because of disobedience, um, we had a lot of captivities from Egypt, which was the first one, into Assyria, Babylon, and the Medes and the Persians. And then after that, we have the Greeks. And so that's about the same time, because the, the, the Bible has the Greek um, captivity um, and then the Romans at the time of the, the Messiah. If they will, if you would. So when we were in captivity by the Greeks and Antiochus and, and Alexander the Great, that's where we picked up, a, a, you know, we may have borrowed words and whatnot, but the language are, are totally different. But a lot of Hebrews started to speak Greek because it was ordered by King Antiochus um, after Alexander the Great that everybody should speak one language, even though they may have different tongues, just like Americans think now. OK, when you come here, y'all better speak English. Y'all can speak the other stuff when y'all amongst yourselves. But when you, you, you got to learn English in order to get along in America. That was the same kind of tone Antiochus was speaking. So that forced a lot of Hebrews who were scattered, not just in Israel, but they were scattered 
throughout the occupied kingdoms at that time that the Greeks had overthrown, and now they all were told to speak Greek. So that way you may see, that's why they say the so-called New Testament was written in Greek, even though I don't necessarily buy that all the way, but I know that they give Greek manuscripts and, and so forth, <laughs> and they say that that was the language, and I can understand it because the authors could have um, done so because it was orders at that time from the Greeks that everyone must speak Greek and so to write in it, they must abandon their own languages unless they were in their own little households. Then they can speak like we kind of look at like some of the Hispanics or the Latin speaking people in America. Most of the, the mainstream America will say, yeah, y'all come to the workplace. Y'all leave that stuff at home. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all, when y'all with yourselves, y'all can talk that, that, that Spanish. But when you come here, you got to talk English. <laughs> arrogant stance and that's the same thing it was back then so that was association okay. between hebrew and greek at that time all right so i, I have no further questions your honor <laughs> do you guys still pray in hebrew though i mean is it like a required that you learn hebrew no i know that it is i wish it was a requirement i mean <laughs> I'm, I, I study and, 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 and try to teach a little bit what I know. I have a moray, which is a teacher. Um, and I know other lang other languages are religions, if you would, like um, Islam and Muslims. They want you to be able to read and, and say what you're reading, you know, mm -hmm. and be able to understand your language because it's yours. It's okay. like we take other parts of our culture, but it's not a requirement, but it is a strong encouragement. Um, I don't know if it's from the whole body of the Hebrew Israelites or if it's, but it's definitely my encouragement to everyone who doesn't because you lose so much when you translate from the mother language of any language into another mm -hmm. language. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but I know the Aramaic, not Aramaic, but the Arabic, they require, you know, especially for Muslim and Islam, they. Mm -hmm. You know, they want you to be able to recite and, and be able to speak it, you know, and I wish English is my second that. language for that reason. Oh, really? We, yeah, we grew. We had to speak Farsi growing up and then we learned English later. Well, I mean, growing up, you know, as a child, it's That's easier right. to learn a double language. But we had to. My grandma did not speak English in the house and she wouldn't let us. And she also didn't know how to read or write English. So we had to speak Farsi. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I'm my back. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll just say that was so, I, I always admire um, individuals like yourself, sister, um, and others that can speak dual languages. I mean, it, that just, you, you expand your mind so much just to have that ability to do that <laughs> and to be able to translate between, you know, when two people are talking and you serve as a translator, you know, and most of us operate in, I ain't gonna say total ignorance in that state of being a derogatory term, but being ignorant because their mind is not broadening. And no, a lot of people don't want to learn a foreign language. And mm -hmm. I, I admire your family for encouraging you to learn um, the primary language that is spoken in the house, but also the economic or the world trend language, which may be going on at that time. So you can be able to deal uh, in, in that field. So that's beautiful. Thank you. See, I care. <laughs> he in there slapping. Who's that? LB? Oh, my bad. What's going on, boy? <laughs> What's going on, man? What's up, with the fellas? What's up with the fellas, man? What's up, lady? I know, right? I heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. They 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 filtering in. Here we go. There he is. Chalawan Queen, how y'all doing in the belly? There you go. What's going on, nice man? Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, man. Peace to the gods, peace to the earth. What's, What's the good, King? Okay, man. So I mean we we you know we we merging we merging everybody trying to merge all the different um you know belief systems religions however you know perceive it um and and really just try to get some sort of understanding going between everybody. Okay, well let me help y'all understand something real quick. One thing, 
Hey, what, hold on real quick. Can we get the music? I, 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 it's real loud. Okay, he, he'll probably come back in, there. <laughs> in a little bit. Go ahead, brother. Okay, so, you know, when we're dealing with the word religion, okay, there's only like one or two places you're going to find the word religion in the Bible. The word religion was a replacement word for the word observance. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and what we're doing, what we were taught in this work is to observe man's belief systems, man's doctrines, man's, uh, man's commandments, and man's traditions, man's philosophies. Well, man's traditions, man's <laughs> philosophies um, is what got our people where we're at today, believing and following what man has taught us and not following and observing what the power in us has given us. So we have to understand that, you know, we, we, we got to get up out of belief systems. We got to get up out of the religious thoughts, the traditions of man and, it, and, and, it's, and his commands and his doctrines. Is everything, we're all being indoctrinated. And yes, they use our scriptures to indoctrinate us. You know, they've actually, you know, even when we go back to the, to the scribes, the Pharisees, and the Sadducees, which were our people, you know, they have taken on the customs of the other nations who held our people in captivity since the very beginning of time. Mainly started from ancient Babylonia, you know. So a lot of things in here, a lot of things that we do come from ancient Babylonia. That's where all your religions come from. It's from ancient Babylonia. They've just taken the faces and, and changing the ways. They've actually, in, they've actually uh, scribed their gods and what we call the Bible today. The Bible is 100% the truth, but you got to get discernment. You got to <laughs> understand that, you know, there's things that in, in, the, in the scriptures that have been uh, put in here. There's things that's been taken out and things that's actually been put in here. And it started with our own people. It started with the scribes, Pharisees, and Sadducees. You know, we, we really want to get down to the nitty gritty of it. We actually, we don't even have the 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 true writings of Moses in here mm. because because the the original Torah or the law has been burnt. We get that out of. Yep. Go ahead, my brother. No, you you're right on point. I, I'm I'm agreeing with what you're saying and. I would just tune into that part about the Moses book. Um, I, it's like seven books, and a lot of people don't realize that the book of Jubilees is, is right. a Moses writing. And it, right. again, you won't find that in the scriptures, but it, it fills in a lot of blanks because Genesis is like a summary, just like Chronicles is a summary in time mm -hmm. sequence, right? And, right. But in, in Genesis, so it's a lot of meat that's left out of Genesis. Um, that you will find in the book of Jubilees that was also written by Moses. And also what you were talking about in Babylon, I was, before you got on, and we, I was giving a little um, ex response to the brother when he was asking about um, the Hebrew language. And I mentioned what you just touched on in Babylonia and how the Greeks, when we were in the captivity with them, how we started to pick up different things and different borrowed words and, and customs and religions, if you would. A lot of them steam out of um, Babylon with uh, Nimrod and, and the mother. Um, yeah. But, right. but, but it is safe to say that you're, the, the Hebrew language originates from Greek, right? No. I wouldn't, I would, no, no, no. I wouldn't no. say that at all. No. Well, actually, our people actually created the, uh, the Greek language. You know what I'm saying? They spoke Hebrew, you know? They actually taught the Greeks how to, Greeks how to speak <laughs> the Greek language. Mm -hmm. So, and so basically, when we go into 606 uh, D, we got what we call today uh, called the uh, called the uh, uh, Septuagint, and it's and it's the uh, and it's the scriptures that was translated by our people from the Hebrew tongue to the Greek language. That's well, right. how do you how do you how do you go from captivity, mm -hmm. right? Like you 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 got captured by the Greeks. How do you, mm -hmm. how do you guys end up teaching them a language? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, um, that's a good question, and uh, 
And that's a question I honestly can't even 100% answer because there's still things that I need to learn myself. Right, yeah, stuff that we could always go and, and, and get, research out the matter and study on those things together. You know, well, um, how, yeah. do we, how do we do that? Well, I mean, you know, let's, let's, let's get something real quick out of the book of Exodus real quick. No, it's a, it's a new one. I'm going to go to Exodus. I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to chapter one. I'm just going to go ahead and start from verse one and read on down. I like to, when I read, I bring out precepts, but um, I like to get everything in context. It helps us understand a little bit better. So I'll start at verse one. It says, now, these are the names of the children of Israel, which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishkar, Zebulon, Benjamin, Dan, Kelly, and Asher. And all these souls that came, <coughs> came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls. For Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died and all, the, and all his brethren and all that generation. The children of Israel were fruitful and abundantly and multiplied and were exceedingly mighty. And the land was filled with them. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more, are more and mightier than we. So he knew his people, were the, our people were very mighty. You know what I'm saying? So, so let me keep reading. He says, come on, let us deal wisely with them. So he told Told him we have to deal with these children of Israel that are more and mightier than we are, that we gotta deal wisely with these people. Why would he say something like that? Because first off, we're a mighty people. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. We're a very mighty and we're a very powerful people, but we're also we were given a heart of uh of peace. We're, we we have we have a different type of heart than they do. So they know they have to deal with us wisely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The same thing today. They deal very wisely with us. Now, how do they do that? Well, <laughs> they got us distracted. You know what I'm saying? And they they fed us their lives, their religions, their doctrines, their commandments, their traditions. You know what I mean? And they done this to us in many captivities. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to read that to show you the, the, how they bring us into captivity. He said, you have to deal wisely with this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's and what's going on today is we have been dealt, we're being dealt wisely with the other nations. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't believe we're in captivity today. <laughs> Mental all day. All day. They've taken all off day. the chains off, the, off, the, off our and the yokes off our neck and put it on our, put it on our minds. And yes, the world actually does revolve around us. So therefore, they've had to put the same chains on the mind of their own people with the lies and indoctrinations. Well, yeah. we're also believing their lies and indoctrinations. And we follow all their traditions, don't know ours, don't know our own culture. We live on the Western world right, right now, and, and we don't know our tradition. So, you know, I just wanted to say that. And I want to add to that too, if I could. Uh, go ahead, Seth. Maybe you about to say something. I didn't want to cut you off. Well, I was just going to ask a question, so go ahead. I'll ask afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to um, um, ride off the same train that um, the bro. What's your name? Uh, uh, Maya Kaala. Maya Kaala. Maya Kaala. Maya Kaala. Maya Kaala. That's how you say Michael in ancient Paleo Hebrew. Just call me Mike. You know? Gotcha. You, you got it, Mike. Gotcha. And um, but what's up? To answer that question of why in captivity would someone want to learn our language? We had, in addition to what Mike was bringing out, it, which I um, subscribe to the things that he was saying just um, in his last spill. But y'all recognize that all of the world kingdoms, there have been seven of them, bro. It's been seven world kingdoms. You know, there have been other people who think they like China and this, but the ones that are have been known especially throughout scripture and in basic history. And I named them a moment ago, starting with Egyptian, and, and the brother just touched on that from Exodus chapter one, when he was bringing that out. 
And then from there, we went to another captivity. And But getting to your point of what you asked about the Greeks, keep in mind, we were like um, spoiled. Whenever you go in and take out a country, you take their valuables, you take their people, as, and you, the young men and boys, you, you work as slaves, the women are your sex slaves, and the, and the adult men are usually slaughtered and killed. That's been a war practice even to this day. And um, so, but when they do that, they also knew our history. They knew that all of the kingdoms before them became great with one common thread. They all had Israel, children of Israel in captivity. And, and, and Egypt was number one. We made, our, our forefathers made them the world power when Joseph was dealing with the Pharaoh before the one in Exodus that the brother just read about that didn't know Joseph and his reputation. And they saw the power of the Most High dealing with his people and delivered them out from their um, Greek, I'm not Greek gods, but their Egyptian gods and delivered them out with a strong hand with all the plagues that he plagued them with. So that reputation went over into the other kings when they took Israel again. So when the Greeks finally got, that was why they wanted to know, okay, you know, we got them now. And they got us not because they wanted and conquered us like the Assyrians and the Babylonians did. They did it because we were part of the Medes and the Persians spoil. And since uh, the Grecians, Alexander the Great, or the Greek, you want to call him that, overtook the Medes and the Persians, Cyrus and um, what's the other cat's name? Um, Cyrus and that's when that stone you were talking about. But anyway, then when they got us, then they wanted to learn our language because they knew it was things about us that connected us with the, with the, a strong deity who had delivered us from these other world powers. So it behooved them to learn what we, and that's why they started and wanted to have the Septuagint translated or the Hebrew scriptures translated into Greek, which brought about the Septuagint. So they can understand, you know, who we are because the reputation of who we are goes way back to Egypt. I just want to say something to my brother Karam supposed to get on here and he's got a lot of extended research from other books and I'm sure he's, he's got great answers on the question you asked earlier. Uh, how about us going into captivity? So how could we teach them? He's got a lot of extensive knowledge. I'm just waiting for him to get on. But real quick, I wanted to okay. add this because, um, you know, uh, when he brought us out of the land of Egypt, you know what I'm saying, what happened to Pharaoh and his army? Well, they all got swallowed up in the waters. You know what I'm saying? So he killed, the, he destroyed the whole army. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring this out real quick. Uh, a couple of precepts. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 4 it says, if my people, my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin or hear their heal their land. So not so if we just earn so if we um humble ourselves, pray, seek it, and if we study to show ourselves approved, we research out the matter. Like all of us, are, we really do. You know what I mean? And uh, we turn from our wicked ways. So he will, that's when he'll hear from heaven. And not only will he hear from heaven, but he's going to forgive our sin. But not only is he going to forgive our sin, but he's going to heal our land. How is he going to heal our land? Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. It says, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood. It defileth the land. And the land cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that <coughs> shed. That's the only way you can cleanse the land. It's by, it's by, uh, it's by, uh, what did it say? But by the blood of him that shed it, by, by killing the people who shed the blood on the land when they came and took the land. That's the only way this land here in America is going to be cleansed out. Now I want to let y'all brothers know this. Is my this is my brother Karam that just popped in. He's got oh, yeah. a peace, 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 brother. Peace, peace, peace. Shalom, shalom uh, kings and queens. Thank you shalom, for being. Shalom, shalom. Uh, what's your name again? Welcoming me. Hey, Mike. Hey, I got a quick. I got like two questions on what you just now read, right? Okay. Um, and I I, I can call you Mike because I know you, but I want to do that, Mikey. I, I I don't know how you say it. It's all good, King. You call me Mike. Mike. I, I, I just gotta let it be known. Mike, I don't, there you go. <laughs> but, um, when it said, when you said, um, 
that it says something about uh the place of God. Like can you can you uh re hit that for me real quick? Okay. It says I'll read it again. It says uh the second chronicles chapter seven verse fourteen. It says, mm -hmm. If my people, which are called by my name, shall mm -hmm. humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Oh, seek my face. Yes. <coughs> Now, okay. uh -huh. to help you understand from, you know what I'm saying, when you seek his face, you are studying to show yourself approved. You are rightfully dividing this word of truth. You are searching out the matter. You are starting to walk like, because it says, like, um, um, we are created after his image and after his likeness. So that means after his likeness is the way you walk. So when you start walking that walk, now you go look in the mirror and tell me who you see. Right. You see, I am right. That's a fact, right? <laughs> and then I got, I got just one more question. Um, because today I'm just, I'm just more kicked back today, so I'm just have a quick questions and I'm gonna just chill and shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I don't so, want to see how that's gonna. I want to see if that's gonna manifest itself. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a great speaker because I'm a great listener. That's um, right. so when it comes down to uh the land, um. Could that, and I'm just asking, you know, flat out, could that be a a parable for, uh, for the body? Well, for instance, we are the lamb, brother. We are earth. We are the mountains. We are the trees. We are the heavens. Okay. 70% oh, yeah, yeah. okay. water make up our body. 70% water make up the earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, so yeah, it's that's always Parabolistic, but these things actually happen. And, and if you really get down to the nitty gritty of it, in 1492, what happened? They came over in here and they act peaceably with this, but they had war on their minds. Mm -hmm. right. I'm saying and there's, there's an exact uh, scripture on that. I'm not going to bring it out. But um, so um, when they came, they had war on their minds. And what they do, they shed our blood. And they killed way more than they were supposed to. So the same thing's gonna happen to them is the same thing that's gonna happen to us. I don't know when we, when we, when the second coming happens, um, you know the, the earth for uh, for the heaven to, for the heavens to come and thou shalt be done on earth. The wicked have to be severed. They have they have to be killed and slaughtered. So that's how the land is gonna be healed is when the wicked are slaughtered. Now when we get into uh, you know. Uh, for the kingdom will come and thou shalt be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, that's us coming back together in unity and love on one accord, fearing God, keeping his commands. You know what I'm saying? Walking in that walk, walking in the God we were created to be. Because when we come into the God we were created to be, again, Deuteronomy 7, 6, for thou art holy people of the Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people upon the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? So we are a holy people, which means we are a set apart people, and that's what we have to do as set apart from the ways of the other nations. <clears throat> Come up out of her, my people, and be not partakers of her sins, and that ye shall not receive of her plagues. We got to come up out of the things of this world. We got to come up out of man's doctrines. We got to come up out of man's traditions, out of his commandments, out of his belief systems, out of his doctrines, because we are being indoctrinated, and they use our scriptures to indoctrinate us. Why is that? Because again, we go back to the to the first five books of Moses, and the brother said there was actually seven, and I agree. You know what I'm saying? So we're not dealing with the original books of Moses because they have been burnt. Let me get that for you. So, um, so dealing with the Bible being that it was written by man, how how does that like how do we how do we perceive that? Because you were saying like, or it sounds like you know what I mean. What you're saying is is man is corrupt um and we shouldn't be following man but yet man wrote the bible so how do we yeah. how do we differentiate that okay well who wrote the bible they said the first five books of moses he wrote well yes they were written but again the original work, writings of moses have been burnt we don't actually have them today we don't have the mm -hmm. original writings so they've been written writing by men okay now we have now we have the books of the prophets those mm -hmm. were men's writing writing their words we're prophets, we're Hebrew Israelites, our people, our ancestors. You know what I'm saying? We go to the New Testament, we have the writings of Paul, Peter, and the, and the other disciples. They both say parts in there. But now there's now to get down to it, 
You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of word, a lot of things were taken out and were placed in with other words, inter words interjected. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So these things have actually corrupted. So man actually wrote these things, but the men who actually wrote these things, and a lot of these prophets were walking like God, but at the same time, they were still in their captivities. They were still right. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. <laughs> So log here, sir. I just wanted to um, add on and piggyback off of um, what you were saying, just to give some clarification to what the brother was saying here. How do we um, go ahead and please um, repeat your, your question again, sir? Uh, how do we differentiate pretty much the writings in the Bible being that they were written by man, and then you know what the brother was saying as far as like you know, we shouldn't be listening to man and, and following man's ways. How do we differentiate the, the men that are within the Bible? <clears throat> and then Con. what he said. Con. The first way that we tackle this is we have to understand man is broken down into nationalities. Okay. So when we're asking the question of man, what man are you talking about? You know, man is in different nationalities. And so we're going to go into, when we go into the history of the scriptures, the scriptures was written in scrolls. They were written by Hebrew Israelites. They first started off as being tablets written by the hand of their God. These are law, statutes, and commandments for these people, which is the Israelites. This is not a worldwide commandment. These laws and statutes was given to these people. They were supposed to keep them. When they keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, then they become a light to everybody else who is living in darkness. When they do not keep the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to them by their God, now they are in darkness, just like the rest of the world is in darkness. Okay, that's where the Israelites went off. Their whole job was to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of their God and be a light to the Gentiles that are serving other gods. The Gentiles have their gods that they're serving. What makes us special is the one true God chose us to give his law, statutes, and commandments to, and that was our, ju our duty as a <coughs> nation was to keep those law, statutes, and commandments. We went off. We did not, we, we followed the ways of the Gentiles. The history of Israel is we have always had a love affair for the other nations. We've always wanted a king like the other nations. We want this like the other nations. We want that like the other nations. Our God has always told us, I'm your God. I'm your king. If you set yourself up with a king like the other nations, they're going to tax you. They're going to take your sons and put them in, 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 in the army to fight wars for them. They're going to do all this stuff. But <laughs> we're so hard-headed and stubborn. That's what our God tells us. We're a stick-necked, stubborn people. He gives us what we want. Okay, go ahead and have a king. Live like the other nations. And then we end up in captivity under the other nations as we start living like them, taking mm -hmm. on their customs and their their eating habits their laws everything you know just like in this society we are number one across the board in everything why because we are living like the gentiles as we live under this oppression so he gives us these law statutes and commandments we're supposed to keep them we lose them then he says because i'm so jealous of you that you keep a whoring yourself out because we have to remember this is a relationship that we have with our God. And it's just like a relationship that you would have with your woman. You know, your woman wants you to be, um, your woman wants you to be honest. Your woman, your woman wants you to be faithful. You provider. Know, and a provider and all that. This is the relationship that, that we've had with the Most High that he wanted. And that's why he always um, uses symbolisms and he talks to us like we're a woman. And he even referenced us as being the bride of Christ because we are the bride. We are the woman. You know, Christ is going to Christ is our head. He's our man and he's coming back for his bride. But his bride has been a whoring out here running the streets. You know what I'm saying? Doing whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? And since, you know, his main chick, you can say, is not acting right, what does he go do? The most High says, okay, let me just go on and get a side chick, which is you other heathens. You the most high side chick. But see, the most high still has love for his main chick, even though she going off. He wants her. He, he that's, his, that's his main chick, you know? <laughs> Not to use such a strong analogy, but that's kind of how the relationship that we've had with him. And so we have been a whoring away from our God. And so what he did is he said that, you know what, I'm going to bring another nation and I'm going to put them above you. And I'm going to make a nation that's not a people. They ain't nothing compared to you. I'm going to put them over you. You're going to be the tail and they're going to be the head. Now. To understand this, we got to go to Deuteronomy 28, and we can start at chapter 15, and we can just read all the curses. We can go through all those curses, and we can see that those curses reflect everything that's been happened to us. So, 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 just real quick. Um, so, you're pretty much saying the men that um, are in the Bible that we're supposed to be listening to are Our power. the chosen ones. That they're the power versus man like you know outside the government and all these different things that's going on right that's huh. right that's right, right. i just want to see add to that real quick um see the see the thing is with it what, what it really is is we're seeking everything that's external to us well we really need to just be building up what's internal to us and what is mm -hmm. that our kingdom our kingdom is the heavens the heavens is within on your highest conscious level of thinking is where the heavens is and that's where the most high dwell where the power dwells right. now there's been many words that's been interjected in the bible and one of those words was god so who was this god what is a god god is just a word that's it it's <coughs> a replacement word for the word el and elohim mm. again mm -hmm. so we get to go back into the scriptures where we say god where we read the word god in the bible 250 times from genesis to malachi was the word el transliterate that is power now 2500 times from genesis to malachi this is all the old testament where we see the word god was word elohim which is powers and my brother there's Plural. there's like we are we are in a room that is elohim this is elohim nice. that's in the in this room we are the powers because the powers resides within us on, nice. on our highest conscious level of thinking and we're trying to get there and we're just not there all right, so look, I'm gonna now I'm gonna spice it up, right? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna spice it up now. Fair warning. All right. <laughs> we touched on this last time, but it, it was it was like it was towards the end of the show. Uh, the brother Yahar um, was on, um, and and Wound had 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 dropped a question. I'm gonna drop the same question. If you, know, you want to drop the question, you could drop the question. Um, the most high. Oh, okay. And that's uh, I, most I, I'm feeling right now, but I'm going I'm to interject when I feel that it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, no, that's, that's, a, that's a question. And let because, me say this before you ask it. That was the question um, that CZ Drew wanted to build on, on this for the show. Um, and I know that there may be, you know, still some people and let me let me let me say this for everybody who don't follow me on social media um i asked the question on the podcast right and then i made a post on my facebook right and then i got i, I got a lot of flack for that question or, or i made a statement i didn't even put it in the question form i said if you guys equate this guy to be the most high then he obviously has to be the most low some people didn't like how that sounded mm -hmm. um but then i uh, i posted a clip from the podcast with the Hebrew brothers on there, and they were saying that God is a jealous guy and God hates. So the same people that got mad at me for saying the most low shit had to equally tell me because I said it out my mouth that God hates nothing. I said it. And they was like, nah, bro, God does hate. And I'm like, all right, so what are we doing? So I think what so made is going with this is just to see can we get some type of clarity on this question. So yeah, so that you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can is I say the something most first? high the most low is the is the question. Okay. Well, every, we, okay, we are the highest powers to the Israel. We have the highest powers within us. Every other nation out there 
is a power, has powers in them. And they are the most lower powers. You know, man, we did from the very beginning the order of Mikhail's deck. We have El El Yon, which is evil for most high power. Most, that's right. As we would say today, most high God. Mm-hmm. It's most high power. Then we have Hamashiach, the one we call Jesus Christ, which is the most high is his head. Mashiach is the head of man. Man is the head of woman. Woman is the head of child. Now, when I said man, woman, and child under Mashiach Christ, the Hebrew words are like man, woman, and child. Now you deal with the other nations, man, woman, and child. So everybody on the search is created to be kind of like what you would say a God today. So you have lower gods and you have a most high God. And the most high God is us together as one. You know what I'm saying? Now, do we hate? I mean, yeah, we do. I mean, if we are walking in righteousness, we tend to hate evil. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, when we deal with the other nations and their evil and their wickedness, because they walk after their gods that can't eat, sleep, smell, and shit like we do, because they're just statues and, and crucifixes and things like that that can't move. But we also did some wicked stuff too, right? Of course we did. Okay. That's why that's we are we, yeah, we in the position where we're at. Yes, we did. So and that's right. So that's by part default, part. then that would make us the most low, right? I mean, that would that would bring us on a lower con- conscience level. Yes, and that's where we still <laughs> at today. We're trying to climb up to that higher conscience level of thinking. How do we get there? Hold on, hold on. How do we get there? It's climbing up that ladder that's within inside of us. We call it a DNA. It looks just like a swirly ladder, which will take us to the kingdom, to a kingdom of heaven, conscious state of mind. How do we how do we climb up that ladder? By doing what was written there inside. So before it was written inside a book, how to write it on a book? It came from inside. So we have to walk up that ladder by uh uh by having no other Elohim before us without not making a graven image before us. In other words, not not bowing up, we're not bowing and building up things that are ex- external to us. You know what I'm saying? Uh to not take the name of our power in vain. I'm not gonna take your name wound in vain at all, because you are also a power. You wouldn't take my name in vain either. You see what I'm saying? Um, remember the Shabbat and keep it holy. You know what I'm saying? We have to do those things to Jesus. Shabbat days when we all gonna get together and party, but we do have a good time amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Uh honor your father and your mother. You know what I'm saying? You must honor your man, your father and your mother, and who became who was your father before your father, the most high and the earth, the heavens and the earth. You know what I'm saying? Because we actually came actually from the earth. But our spirit, which is eternal, which is actually extraterrestrial, come from the heavens. You know what I'm saying? From out there, up there. You know what I'm saying? We are not created as other nations. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so we talk you want to go down to the rest of your basic Ten Commandments and just walk in and live in that life like that. It's how you are climbing up that DNA ladder with inside you because you're doing all that is written therein. It's written inside you. You know what I'm saying? Let's not build up things that are external to us, but build up who we are from inside. You know what I'm saying? I got to build you up, boom. I got to build Karam up, and y'all got to build me up. We got to build up together, because Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh Allah Hainawa, Yahweh Akai. That's Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, which says, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our power is one. We are one with our power. Or as it says in the scriptures, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Now you take 6 plus 4, what is that? That is 10. Showing us that we are one together. Because zero doesn't actually, it's not, doesn't have anything, but the one is one. Go ahead, my brother Karam. Oh, real quick, before before you get in it, because I just got um, a question to that. You said, and <laughs> self made was kind of hitting at that, what I'm about to say. Okay. Um, uh, saying that we would equally be <laughs> in a lower state because we did the same thing ultimately that they're doing. And right. earlier you said that God granted us, I'm going to say granted, and I'm going to use that loosely, but God granted us the permission to actually serve these lower gods or be in this lower state, right? So if we understand that us as as the chosen people still have to go through some unchosen shit, um, mm-hmm. would it be safe to say that instead of hating them for what they chose to do, should we try to understand, <laughs> sympathize with that? It's just like you said, even we still got to climb up that ladder so we are no greater than them. So why would we hate? Like I still don't. 
Hi. Students understand where the hate comes from because it seems like we only hate them because of right. you know us, us some other hate people. Them. You want to know why? Esau. 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 We shouldn't hate them at all because the whole reason why they're above us and have tormented us anyways because we have lost our power. We That's fell right. here all the way down below to a lower conscious level thing, to a lower vibrations. You know what I'm right. saying? So, right so there, with right the right things there, that right we there. do, there's consequences that come. So, you know what I'm saying? Our power, our power went upon them, chose them to be over us, to whoop our ass. To what oh, we yeah. had. So sometimes when when you when you make mistakes, you gotta fall down very low in order for you to get back up and take back what's really yours. Right. So when it comes down to um, because I, I think what you said that the, I, I don't know if that's the only reason or the main reason that we should hate them is because wherever they're at. Um well we just gotta hate evil, and sometimes when we hate evil, we gotta hate the the evil things that we've done. We just gotta uh, recognize. That um, yeah, we shouldn't hate nobody, period. You know what I'm saying? And we're supposed to be walking in what we call love. Well, love is the truth. Right. And that's what love but, is. So with but, that, because the brothers that was on last time, <laughs> uh, they said that they hate because their God hates, and they hate what their God hates, right? But, so that would bring us into a whole different conversation now because we would <laughs> then go into the Esau, which what you know a, a lot of why does God hate? You know? So why does God hate? And then we would say, well, why? Because I know that, and I know we talked about this off the phone. So hopefully you got the book that you said that you had I do. to actually give us an answer to why God hates something that he created to be naturally evil. Okay. All right. So, so if my you, brother have that, you have that answer, then we could, then we rock it. That just, and, and let me say this real quick. I know <clears throat> different shit why that is. But for the people who's watching and for the people who's listening, that would sound like a contradictory statement. And the last answer that we got from the last buzzer was, was God could do what the fuck you want to do. So hopefully we can get a little bit more clarity outside of just it just do. Right. And, and you know, the sister right here, you know, last time I was over there, she had a question about, you know, Esau and Jacob talking mm -hmm. about asking like, oh, OK, well, if God hated Esau. Before he was born, why would he let him be born? So here's the answers. I'm reading out of this book. Okay. It is, uh, it's called. Nazarene? Did that say the Nazarene? Yep. It says the Nazarene Acts of the Apostles or the Recognitions of Clement, expanded edition. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This is, this is at this is, uh, page 96. Out of chapter 24, it says, Yahweh, the author of good, not evil. Okay? So uh, it says, I'll just start from the top of the page. It says, this, this Kepha, this Kepha. Kepha is the real, is the name of, of, the, of Peter, one of the disciples. Okay? That's the original name, Kepha. It says, to, to this Kepha answered, since then you confess that you are ignorant. Now learn. Your question demanded our deliverance on two matters that are contrary to one another. For every motion is divided in two parts so that a certain part is moved by necessity and another by will. And those things that are moved by necessity are always in motion. Those that are moved by will, not always. For example, the sun's motion is performance by necessity to complete its appointed circuit. And every state and service of heaven depends upon necessary motions. Saying that the, the sun was created to only do what it was necessary to do. And if the sun decided to fall off and do its own will, now we would have the things would be messed up in the heavens. Because right. it's not things aren't working the way it's supposed to be because it's doing its own will. Well, see, the sun in the sky don't do its own will, it does what it's necessary to do. You know what I'm saying? So I love, I love that answer. I love it. I love it. Thank you. All right, we keep reading. It says heaven depends upon every necessary motion, but man directs the voluntary motions of his own actions. 
And thus, there are some things that have been created for this end. So therefore, since when you asked when Esau, why, if God hated Esau before he was born, why did he let him be born? Well, it just said here, but man directs the voluntary motions of his own actions, and thus are some things are there some things that have been created, like Esau, for this scene. Because the scriptures say that, you know what I'm saying, um, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of the new world to come. So he had, rather God hated him or not, which he hated the spirit before it was actually born in the physical. So he had, so he hated that spirit, but that spirit had to come out to bring forth things to come to an end. Let me let me say this to that real quick. I, I, I what was that the, the Nazarene the, the Nazarene act? How you had it? It was backwards, but I read backwards, so it was Gucci. Um, the Nazarene act of the apostles. Okay, I got it. It's good, uh, and I just want people to see that. And what um, address were you in in there? Uh, um, what uh, chapter and verse? That, uh, that's page ninety six. Ninety six. Okay. That's, and that's chapter twenty four. It's Yod Hey Wade, the author of good, not of evil. Yod Hey Wade, the Y H W H is a tetragram of the name Yahweh. So let me say this real quick, and then I'm gonna let you know. I'm, I'm gonna kick back because I'm just listening right now, and I love it. Um, so when we talk about hate. Right. Yeah. Um, from my understanding, it's just me. Hate and love are on the same scale. Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like everything <laughs> in balance. Duality. So, the last, so mm -hmm. on, the, on the last last show, when I was saying that God hates nothing, I think it went over people's heads. Like, oh no, God does hate. But we're not. But <laughs> I'll be playing the devil's advocate. Let me say. That. <laughs> so when it comes down to saying on some hate shit is that he really loves it and somebody had broken down to saying that well god i guess jealous back in the day had meant passionate like right. some mm -hmm. or something out of passion or things like right. that and I agree right right, right. So when it comes down to certain scriptures like when i hear it just like that was my first time hearing what you just what you just yeah. said but i automatically know where it's at so right I'm glad that you brought that out because now we're not talking about hating just for the just for just the sake because, of you know, hating. Right. Right. Now right. we understand that things have a natural order, just like yeah. you said, there's a natural order of things that has to happen. Right. So right. now so we're talking about now we're talking about not just being in one place. There's two things that have to happen in order for us to get this new body. Right. right. For the understanding of Israel. <laughs> so that's all I want to say, man. And that's why I'm glad you came on here because yeah. sometimes when I talk, I talk in how whatever you but that the Nazarene, I'm the Nazarene. Right, yeah, we're Nazarenes. That's right. <laughs> so now we gotta walk and talk like Nazarenes. Right, exactly. So I'm talking that language, but people won't if they haven't read that. That's why I'm glad that you put it out there. Mm -hmm. If they haven't read that, they probably won't understand what I'm saying. And I've never right. read. It. You right. understand what I'm trying to say? So go yeah. ahead. So on top of what I just read, me and the brother Kawan, we're going to bring out some some scriptures, and I'm sure he got something he wanted to bring out anyways, too. But to oh, just to what, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, one more question. Do you guys okay. uh, believe in free will? No, I mean, honestly, bro, it just said it right here. We're not created for free will. The sun has was ne has a necessary act. If the sun, had, if the sun was created to its free will, we wouldn't have light during the day. Necessity. So we have a necessity. We weren't created with free will. We have a necessity to be the guy that we were created to be on this earth. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. We went ahead to do our free will instead, meaning walking after the other nations. And guess what? The only person out there that gave us free will, the only God that gave us free will, are the lower gods of the other nations. They gave us, thou shalt do as thou wilt. I'm all right. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, wait. I got to pause. I got to pause real quick because. The the last show that we had with with CZ and all of them, they 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 believe that we have free will. Am I if, if I'm if I'm par like if I'm getting that wrong, please correct me, Yahar. How, how do you uh, feel about about that? Well, it's kind of like the um, image of 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 our deity, the Most High, the Yod Hey Wah Hey, um, and 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 being in that image, we have 
being that power, and by the way, that word that we were talking about earlier before we got it going, talking about the borrowed words, the word L, which is uh, um, means like the brother brought out um, a power, and then you're talking about multiple powers as Elohim. That that is a borrowed word from the Phoenicians, by the way. L that was the name of their. their <laughs> Right. So that was a word we borrowed, but we it still applied the same way. Now, get back to what you're saying about free will and what I let the brothers speak for themselves. But my understanding of it is, is that, you know, we have been created in this image. It's, it means a lot of things. But one of the things I grasp from that is that the knowledge of both good and evil. Remember that is talked about in Genesis and in, in, in this, this garden in the East of Eden mm -hmm. that was located there. And there was this one that the knowledge of good and evil that when you have that knowledge of good and evil, you now can sway, if you would, to, to do things that are, are righteous. In other words, that, that, that is directed for you to do. Or you can choose to be influenced and follow directions outside of that, which is the term, the evil path. So if that's the sense of, of describing free will, then I would say I, I'm on to that. Um, because that's the, the problem with Israel, um, namely, like the brother brought out, the other elder, the Zakwan, that, um, that's on, on this platform. He mentioned how we fell out when you mentioned Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28 and 1 and also verse 15 introduces both the curses and the blessings, okay? And blessings first in, in verse one and then the curses in verse 15. So if we choose not to do these things that we are directed to do, is that free will to be able to have that choice? Because if we didn't have free will, then we would have never disobeyed. We would I mean, if we didn't have that feature that some may call free will, but it may be described in a different manner. But Anyway, and, and I just want to bring out two scriptures in, in response to that, um, self-made, mm -hmm. is, is Amos chapter 3 and also Isaiah chapter 45. And um, and then that word hate is, is such a misunderstood word. But let me just get to these these scriptures real quickly. Amos <coughs> chapter 3, verse, um, but, um, at verse 1, hear this word that, the yod -Heh -Wah -Heh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I bought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Hmm. No. No. Will a, will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he has not taken nothing? Can a bird fall into a snare upon the earth where there is no gin, which is a trap, for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Now, here's the one I'm, I want to get to. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the yod hey wah -Heh, uh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, have not done it? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Most High has not done it? Surely, mm -hmm. Most High Elohim will do nothing, but he reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Now, just remember that part. Let me just go real quickly to this one verse, Isaiah 45. <coughs> A lot of brothers read this one. Because it so, talks about what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, 45, which verse is that, babe? I think it's seven or seven. Eight. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, it says, this is um, the yod heh wah -Heh speaking. <coughs> Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. I form the light and I create darkness. Mm -hmm. I make peace and create evil. Mm -hmm. I, yod heh wah -Heh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, do all these things mm -hmm. he's responsible for all those things whether they light or dark or whether they are peace or whether but notice you say he create evil he create mm -hmm. darkness so when you say about the most high he's also if he's everything that means everything from the low to the high i think how y'all described it last time we was on mm -hmm. so can I, can I, would it be proper say, we call him most can I, high can we can also use that, that? Can I bask in that real quick, Yohar? Can I, can I bask in that? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. One time. 
that's what it is. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What'd you say? No, I, I, I was done. That was the scripture I wanted to read. No, no, no. You're absolutely fine. Um, yeah. Because I, I know when Mike was reading earlier, he said that God said he's not the author of, uh, what do you say? Not the author of evil. The confusion, so, number uh, one. Yod Hey Wade, the author of good, not of evil. Not of evil. Not of evil. Mm -hmm. So then we get down to what you just now read, and then it says, "But I do all these things." Mm -hmm. So, so I'm gonna ask this question before I'm asking it. I'm gonna ask this question, uh, Yor, um, because we get into this verse a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So, does does evil mean evil, or we what what is? Because we hear mm -hmm. a lot that we're talking about moral evil. Can you please give us a uh, an explanation of what evil mean, means <laughs> right in that scripture? Yeah, I can actually um, um, also give you the actual meaning, but I will do it just um, as a response to your question. Yeah. You notice he said he create evil. He makes peace, but he creates evil. And he says, I do all these things. Mm -hmm. So evil is my understanding. And I will, again, I will look it up in, in the um, lexicon to see exactly that word in Hebrew and see how it really is meant to be get absorbed from the language. But when we look at this, is evil is something that is outside of righteousness. You know, what is right? What is things that we were instructed to do? That's what Torah comes in, instructions and directions. So all the things that are outside of that, guess what? The Most High is responsible for that. He created those things according to the scripture. However, you know, so I'm to answer the question. I think it's anything yeah. that's outside of what he has given to be right are the things that the instruction of directions, anything that's done outside of those things are which which goes back to the Elohim. A lot of um, people may not have the same understanding, but it's two sides to this 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 um uh this group. You have the right, right side, you have the left side, and the left side <coughs> is, you know. Keep, keep in mind, the Most High chose a nation and people for itself and gave them, like the brother brought out earlier, Mike brought out earlier, to do what he commanded them to do. Now, the other on the left, they are the ones implanting all these other things outside of that, so we can now term them evil. Why? Because they are not doing the things that what, that the righteous are doing from the right side, right. And that, which comes from the right. So. I don't know if I answered your question. I'm gonna look up that word and get back with you. I got it. I got it. I was, but that was correct. I love that answer. You're good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. So I, I, I kind of want to say something about that according to my own opinion. But then my brother Karab got some great answer to that question as well. Okay. Before you know, before he jumps on in, I just want to say this. You know what I'm saying? Um, we are also God, my brother. You carry the I am uh, necklace around your neck because you recognize that you are God. You are a God. We are too. So do we not create light? Do we not create darkness? Do we not do good? Do we not do we not create evil? We do all right. those things. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, that's just kind of like my own opinion, but I but it's but it makes sense to me if we are good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, because that's you know, um, and I try to bring this out as much as possible if y'all can see it, but it's you know, I am nothing and everything at the same time. So with that, with that understanding, the nothing, if we can allot it to something, it will be the darkness. Right. Everything would be the light. Like, you know right. what I mean? So everything that we can see and nothing that we can see. Right. So uh, allow me to say this real quick. So when we're talking about God has his chosen people, those would be Israel lights, like the light. Mm -hmm. like the children right. Of light, right. And right. then everything else outside of that will be the darkness. But you have to have both. So they're both chosen people. Mm -hmm. but, you know, we're just talking about getting back to the understanding of which we are, and that's that is light in terms of that. But we come from darkness. But we it's it's the same thing. But it's I don't want to go too deep into that unless y'all want me to keep spilling. But um, I just like I said, I'm 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 here just to listen. And what I'm heard so like what I'm hearing so far, it's up. But shout out, oh, we got Kareem in the building, man. We got Kareem in the building. You know what I mean? Yes, Representing man. So Kareem, man. Pop. I can't hear you, man. I don't know if you muted. Say, uh, say, my brother Karam, you got anything to add on these things? No, nah, um, I kind of just tapped in, so I, I didn't hear everything that uh, was said. 
um, necessarily. So um, just real quick, like, uh, are you you uh, you said you were the non-orthodox Christian, correct? No, I'm just not orthodox, meaning that not I don't orthodox. follow. Right. Uh -huh. so, it just mean basically I just believe in the word of God. I don't necessarily follow uh, like a religious preference or anything like that. You know what I mean? I believe uh, in Jesus, right. I believe in the Bible, but I'm not. I don't call myself a Christian, or I don't. I don't go with the uh, like the you know religion necessarily. So. Oh, okay. So yeah, we was really just talking about we were going over free will and you know whether or not. Uh, the brothers here believe that we have free will or we, or, you know, if we didn't have free will. Um, and from, from what, pretty much what I was getting from, you know, the three was that, you know, we really don't have free will in a certain, you know, sense. And they'd probably be able to, you know, dive deeper on their own explanation if they wanted to kind of go in to fill him in. I mean, I'm, I, I, I kind of get the... I feel like I, I, you know, I get the free will argument, you know, that, that argument <laughs> with many theologians and philosophers. So, you know, uh, you know my, my, my stance on the, uh, on the free will is that we definitely have free will. I think that that's a, uh, I think it basically stands from a, a foundational viewpoint as far as the free will. Uh, like I, I, um, I know Lawan, remember, I'm not sure if you remember him, like my stance on free will. It's more, the way that I see it is that, um, you know, we have the power to make choices. Uh, um, so that gives that's a, that's that's a form of free will, right? Um, um, where the free will really comes in, though, is free will is the ability. To be able to conceptualize, I, I I don't got the right words, right? The it's the ability to be able to, um, um, uh, to, uh, con like conceptualize or uh, the ability to be able to understand. You you, you see what I'm saying? I, I don't have the right words necessarily, but it's the ability to be able to understand, like the ability to be able to, be able to understand the past. The, bit, the ability to understand things that could possibly happen in the future based on these, based on uh, uh, situations and uh, the, the ability to, to be able to uh, decipher, you see what I'm saying? The, uh, the ability to be able to um, uh, read in between the lines and understand all these type of different things that got to do, it got a lot to do with a lot, right? So right. that's the reason why <laughs> like, we have free will compared to like, you know, animals don't have free will. Uh, animal is instinctual. You see what I'm saying? They don't. They don't have the ability to be able to tell what future events is going to happen based on one event. Based on if I do this, uh, they, uh, an animal can't play chess and get 20 steps ahead. You see what I'm saying? And, and know a good likelihood of this. So to be able to, 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 to tell the future, or you know what I'm saying, to really be able to look into his past and say, okay, well this happened because of this and this and this. I mean, to, to a small level, everything that's living probably can do that. You see what I'm saying? Even a plant or something like that. But right. I'm talking about on a greater level to be able to um, uh, to really just ha have a true understanding. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I believe that we have free will. Um, let me let me let me intertwine uh, real. I'm, I'm sorry, not intertwine. Intervene. Um, it was either uh, it was either um, Mike or your heart that said. <laughs> Um, after we get a certain level, damn it, I, and I was, I, I meant to write that shit down. Uh, but after we get a certain level of um, understanding in our position, then, then not to say that we necessarily have free will. And I, it might have been your heart, it might have been you, your heart. I think it was, it was you that that we have a certain level of responsibility. <clears throat> am I? Am I? Did I'm I with you. No, you keep going. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. We did talk about that last time. So with that, um, and I have to, I have to state my stance on that because I agree with the free will, but I also agree with the non-free will. And the reason that I do that is because um, how I believe, right, when we're coming down to this level of understanding, we would have to have some type of, we would have to have some type of order that would be disorder and that disorder would be that level of free will to be able to create create the disorder 
that would give us the answers that we need to be who we are. And I'm going to give a prime example. So when uh, I think Mike said it earlier, when, when God said, uh, well, let me let you niggas go down here and fuck with what you need to fuck with and see what you need to see in order to come to order, right? Right. So that would be free will right there. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go do this. Freely, I'm going to let you guys go do it and see what it is to be with the lower, quote unquote, non-chosen people and let them do their thing. That would be, I'm letting you free, right? So, but it would also be in order to come back to order. So it's like an orchestrated non-orchestration. It's like a, it's like a free will of time freedom, right? You know what I mean? So that's so, why I love both yo, answers to this. So your okay. argument, to let to, for me to get it clear, your argument is that um, basically because we have a certain form of existence or because like maybe we're here on this plane or maybe we're here on earth maybe because we have uh earthly experiences that limits our free will is that what you're saying in, in a, well, no well no not that um i i agree with i'm just saying like i'm in the middle so i agree with those who say we don't have a quote-unquote free will because we're all here to do the same thing mm -hmm. um and this is this is and this is why i deal with mathematics because we're dealing with just uh, and I think somebody said it earlier to come back to the one, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, Blick said it, but he's not here. So we're going to separate to come back to the one, right? Um, so when, at that point in time of separation, and, to, and and let me go deep real quick. This is my analogy of what the number zero is, and then it breaks off to a whole bunch of different numbers, right? Or we could talk about one language and being spread out th throughout Babylon just to come back to the one. So as soon as we separate, then that's automatically that has to be synonymous with free will because we have to see what's going to happen in order to get that understanding. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so I agree with both parties because we can say that, yes, we have a free will to do something, but we have a, a sole purpose to do this one thing. You understand, you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So the I understand will, what you're saying. Free will will be synonymous, synonymous with having the one will so really we would we would say well we do we have free will because we're working towards one thing but we have free will because we have to uh be separate in order to bring that one thing into understanding and 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 that's that's uh, i don't mean to cut nobody off but that's why when i started i was saying that you know as far as free will if it comes from a foundational viewpoint um yeah, exactly exactly right because uh <clears throat> You know, I, I disagree with that. Uh, I disagree with that stance on free will. Again, I, I think free will is something uh, to go into further detail on. I think free will is, uh, uh, it, uh, 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 you know, the Bible says that, um, you know, man uh, and woman was formed from uh, in his image, meaning his spiritual image. You see what I'm saying? So right. that, that part of that spiritual image is what I was talking about, is the ability mm -hmm. to be able to, you know, understand certain things and decipher. So I think, it's that, I, think it's, I think it's that simple. I think when we start looking at free will on the level that you're talking about, you're talking about on a more earthly realm type of level, I feel like. I'm talking about free will as in a spiritual level, as in... Well, let me say, let me say this to that, bro, and I, I'm, I'm so sorry for cutting you off, but our bodies is a vehicle for the spirit on, on some human sure. shit. We're still saying the same thing, but go ahead. Okay. Um... So that, that's why I was saying as far as when I was talking about like as far as like uh, that's why we're that's why we're that's why other that's why free will isn't able to be obtained. You see what I'm saying? If if if, 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 if just our natural being or our state of being caused free will, then everything would have free will, correct? That's a fact. But, right. <laughs> so 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 and so if we saying that a rock has free will, then then I would agree with you. But you know what I mean? Like some things. Or they don't they they're not as free as others. So if you're not able to be able to see into the future again, if you're not able to walk ten steps in front of you and be able to know exactly what's gonna happen, then your 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 free will is not as free as mine. You see what I'm saying? I so, love that perspective. I love it. Right. Um. Uh. It it was something that I wanted to mention, but it goes kind of like into free will too. And I'm I'm gonna give up the mic real quick. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. Um. One of those foundational viewpoints on free will, and one of those uh, is, is something that uh, that we've talked about in in in, in different areas. But you got to look at it like this: God is the Alpha and the Omega, right? The beginning and the end. That's why He says, uh, "Am am I still on here?" 
Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you know. Okay, you that's why he to. says uh, he is the I am, right? Okay, so that means he is all things, that he, he encompasses all things, right? That's what that means, that he encompasses all things. Okay, so you got to look at it like when, 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 when he is omnipresent and omniconscious, right? Okay, so that means that everybody think because God knew what was going to happen, <coughs> that he's responsible for your free will when you made a decision, right? So because he knew what was going to happen, that means, and he still allowed it to happen, that means our will wasn't necessarily free. But when you think about the omniconscious, right, it means that he knew what was going to happen before it happened. So right. it doesn't necessarily mean that he's guilty of what you've done. It just, okay, so for example, when he says that, okay, it's going to be so many that's called, uh, 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 to me, that's going to be my chosen ones, right? It don't mean that he put the other people here uh, to go to hell. It, it was up to them. It was up to them to make the choices that they wanted. But he knew already, right? He knew already who was going to make the choices that they were going to make. You see what I'm saying? So he, it's a, it's a certain verse I'm thinking about, but you, if, you, you get my drift of what I'm saying? So I think if we come from that foundational viewpoint on free will, on omni-conscious, on who God is, as in God knows all things, he, he's not necessarily putting things together like a chess piece, right? Like a chessboard. He's not putting stuff together like a chessboard, but he already knows the plays that you're going to make ahead of time. But wait, can I say something real quick? Hey, real quick, stuff, man. I'm so sorry. All right, go ahead. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm super apologize, but I understand what you said because I've talked to two different people that have two different understandings of saying that God knows what you're going to do before you do it. On one hand, you have people that say because it's mathematically sound for you to do, you know, this particular <laughs> thing, right? Because I already know you, you know, before before shit happens. Because of course I'm the creator, so I know kind of what you're going to do. Then we have the other side to say, well, I created you, so you're going to do this because I mm -hmm. this is the script that's, that I've written for you, so therefore you can't go outside of what you're going to do. Like, you know what I mean? So it seems like you're more on the mathematical side of saying, hey, well, I don't know if two plus two is four, and then eight, then 12, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just going to keep on going on and on and on. So is that is, is it safe to say that you're saying that God – does it totally know everything or are you saying that? No, absolutely not. He knows everything that we're going to do. He knows everything before it's done. He already knows exactly what's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? This is, this is, this is mathematically sound or like, and, I, and, and I'm going to let self may go because he might be trying to, he might bring home what I'm trying to say. Um, so do you think that, um, that he knows because it's written from him or do No, I think, I think he, and the reason why I'm asking that, I'm, I'm so sorry to cut you off, because it would seem like if he knows what you're going to do, then that would uh, that would all like all together eradicate free will. Mm -hmm. No, but see, you coming from see, that's why I talk about a foundational. I'm, I don't want to go too much into it, but it wouldn't eradicate so. free will because because he has the knowledge wouldn't eradicate free will. Right. It's just the knowledge. You got to look at it like he has the knowledge. This is who he is. He has the bit. He is. He is omni. Conscious, so he he, he and, and so he knows all things before they happen. Now, because now, if it, it now, if your argument is that if if I, if I put you in position, right? If I get it now, free will. We have different definitions on free will, but if you have choice, if you have all of these things, and if you have the if you have the capacity, right, to understand, and and then I and then I say, okay, uh, now now. Now, now, as a creator, I'm definitely allowed to be able to uh, give instruction to my creation, right? Uh, so, 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 so now, as the creator, I, I'm allowed to say these are the rules. This is how. This is your instruction. This is how you should perform, or at least to say this is how you get the best out of your function. How you're created, right? This is how you would get the best out of your function by following these rules, right? And then if you go beside those rules because you have the capacity, right? And you have the ability to, to choose. That doesn't make him guilty of your choice or your capacity, right? Within uh, la last thing, I'm gonna let you go, self. But this might give you uh, a, a little bit more on how I think about it. Mm -hmm. When you when you have the capacity, like like I heard somebody say earlier that uh, God created evil. God never created evil. 
It, it don't it don't say that. You feel me? And we can go over the verses back and forth. But um, what 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 the the father of all evil? What you got to understand is is Satan, right? God created Satan. When God created Satan, He created him uh, beautiful, uh, with no error. All of these different things. Where the evil came from was Satan's capacity, right? To understand all things, which is the which is one of the spiritual gifts that God gave us in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So within his capacity to understand, you see what I'm saying? <coughs> within him and within his own self, his desire to want to be like God, you see what I'm saying? And his desire to want to be on the the, the 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 place of God came without a him. So, so, so we cannot necessarily, and then, and, and then through Satan, and then through Satan is where we see all the evil and all uh, of what's going on, or pretty much that that you know what I'm saying. The foundation of it, he's the father of it. So, so, so uh, what I was gonna ask was, um, everything that's happening right is is we can say that it's in order. It's in God's order, right? Like nothing is out of order, right? I would absolutely uh, sure. disagree, and um, based on like the foundation I come from, where I was just explaining to you that God does not direct our individual steps, but He knows what's going to happen. So that doesn't mean that it's in His order. Now, His order would be what He directs us. But what wait, He directs me, us is what's what, written in the Bible. So when they say when, when it says God's plan, mm -hmm. right? If that plan doesn't pan out, does that mean? God's whole like reason behind creation is flawed. Well, I would say to that question that you just asked me, when you say God's plan, I would say that's a humanistic idea. You know what I mean? Because uh, so God, God doesn't God, have a plan, and He just well, I mean, spit God, everybody out here to just see what happens. <laughs> we got a Bible. We got we got what's called a holy Bible, and, and then it gives us God's plan. And God's plan is, you know, for. I mean, to, 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 to generalize it, it would be for us to go to heaven, right? And um, for us to get saved, from our sins, right? And, and, and right. eventually go to heaven. Jesus is coming back. So we know that's the plan. I don't know what other plan that you would be talking about, though. Well, I'm saying there's also a plan for people not to get to that place, right? Uh, yeah, there by absolutely default. is. Yeah, absolutely, by default. Yeah, absolutely. So... So if there's a plan for people to go and there's a plan for people not to go, how do you decipher who's going or not based off of what, what you're saying? There's, because there's a plan for people to go who make that choice to, 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 to go. You see what I'm saying? See, there's, see, Lock there's, Lock see, there's, see, God is all knowing. We already went over that. God is all, it's not, a, it's not hard to figure out. God is all knowing. So he know what you're going to do. Right. So if God know, so God, so he said, there's a, he said, he said, this is my instruction. Right? right. And you are creation for things that look, if I make a part, if I make if I make a soda bottle right here. Right. And the soda mm -hmm. bottle got like a dent in it. It ain't holding the, the soda in it correctly. I'm allowed to do whatever I want with this soda. So what happens is I make a trash can for the, for the bottles. That's not co uh, functioning. correctly. <laughs> right? and so I have a plan. So that's the plan. The plan is for the bottles that's not uh, functioning correctly. They're going to go to a trash can. The trash can is the plan. That doesn't mean I made. That doesn't mean I created a plan for them to go to the trash can. You see what I'm saying? It's a, it's, it's, I'm saying like if you it's, made, not, it's, it's not semantics. You feel me? I, I so made the trash, um, trash can because that's where the faulty ahead, bottles. Huh? I didn't plan for those bottles to go to the trash can. I didn't make them faulty. Go ahead, can I um can I piggyback off of what the brother is saying right there? Yeah, 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 yeah go go ahead. Ahead. And um, let's go ahead and just go into some scripts. Let's start off with Isaiah 46 and 10. Isaiah 46, 10. Let me pull it up on my phone. Yes, sir. Isaiah 46 and 10. You want to read it out? Yes, sir. Please. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. And it says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and what I will stand? do all my pleasure. What will stand in the end? What did he say what will stand in the end? 
his counsel. His counsel. His counsel will stand in the end. So he said that he declared the end from the beginning. So let's mm. break that down. When the Most High created the heavens and the earth, he looked all the way down the timeline and looked and seen everything that humans was going to do. And he declared the end during the ancient times. In the beginning, he declared that. So this is how it's going to go down because this is the Most High's movie. You know? Right. And the Israelites is 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 the um is, is the main actor, and just like in any movie, you got a good guy and a bad guy. In the beginning of the movie, it seems like that the bad guy is winning, but then the good guy he wins in the end because you know all through the scriptures we know that the Most High he loves the underdog, so he declares the end from the beginning. Now you know we was on the subject of free will. Let's see how much free will do we really have. Because free will is why we're in this mess to begin with. The reason that we're in this whole mess is because of free will. Because we're not doing the most high's will. You're doing your will. And so that's why everything is out of order. So this is what free will has got you. Where we at now? We're in World War III. Here's your free will. And so let's go to... Um, I got another question real quick. If I could just jump in real quick. Um, so you said God already knows the end, which means it's already panned out. Like yeah. the whole story is already yeah. done. Right. So you right. I don't see how you can say if the story already done, we already got the ending, how anything can be out of order. Right. Nothing is out of order because most because the most high is not the author of confusion. The only people who are confused is you. It's going, I, everything, I, everything is going in his order, right? right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm right with you. I'm right with yeah, you. Buddy. Everything yeah, is going right. in his order. Yeah, See, yeah. What we have to realize is that, you know, the spiritual demon Satan, he is more loyal to God than you are. <laughs> Say that one more time. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> more time. I got I I I to The I spiritual clip. demon satan that you call satan satan means adversary mm -hmm. that spiritual demon that you call satan is more loyal to god than you are yes. okay all right because he because he <laughs> follows he follows all of god's commandments you don't <laughs> that's right he does so, everything that god tells him to do you don't hey, explain that because of your free will Explain Your free that. will says that you can do whatever, but Satan, he he follows every commandment that God. Hey, brother, tells uh, Quran, Bim, yeah, uh, can you explain that? Can you, um, can you, because you just went to the scriptures, so I'd appreciate you know a lot of times when you know you you speak on something like yeah. that. If you say that, I would like you to find that scripturally for me. Yes, sir. Let's all turn to First Kings nineteen and twenty-two. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you repeat it? We're going to turn to first. We're going to turn to first Kings 22 and 19. Thank you. <laughs> Want me to read the Quran? Yes, sir. And I'm going to break it down as we read it. This is first Kings chapter 22, verse 19. Let me get and there. He for said, us, hold up, hold up. Let me get there. I was on another <laughs> script here. I, I'm like ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, right, while we're looking for everything, I appreciate everybody that's on this uh, on this uh, podcast right now. <laughs> kind of flip right now. Yeah, that, I'm sorry. That was First Kings 22, 19. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yes, sir. Let me get there. First Kings 22. Let's start at 19. And it Go. says, and he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. The word I of who? The word of the Lord. Okay. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven standing by him on the right hand and on his left. Stop right there. There is, there is two sides of the most high. The most high controls the right hand side and the most high controls 
the left hand side okay now i want you to hold that and we're going to precept off of that and we're going to come back so everybody hold that now get your apocrypha out oh, okay. shit. Get your apocrypha out. Y'all going to the pocket for tonight? That's what we do? Oh, oh, oh. We're going to do precept upon precept, line okay. upon line, a little here and a little there. Okay. okay. So let's, we're going to hold, we're going to hold 1 Kings 22 and 19. We're going to go back there. Let's precept this off. Let's go to um, Sirach, which is Ecclesiasticus. Let's go to um, 33 and 14. And here it is. I'm ready. Let me know when you are. Yes, sir. Let me get there with you. Mike, how are you finding them so fast? You, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got my sword on my phone. Huh? Okay. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> like, dang. All right, when you guys, real quick, when you guys are reading that pocketbook, because I know a lot of people don't uh, know about that or have access to it, um, just, you know, just, you know, kind of kind of keep it slow for a minute. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Karam, hey, you, you, you're muted right now, so we want to make sure that we can hear you. Um, okay, we're going to start there you go. off. There you go. Let's start off at um, 33 and 11. Let's start at 11. All right, here it is. In much knowledge, the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. Talking about the people. People, mm -hmm. he's he's divided people, and he's, he's put different spirits in different people and made our ways diverse we don't dance like white people white people don't dance like us we can play basketball we can slam all of our ways are diverse because the most high likes a variety like that old saying um, um variety is the spice of life the most high likes variety he don't want everybody to be the same so he puts right. different spirits please continue right. uh, okay it says some of them have he blessed? Some people exalted. have he blessed. And some of them hath he sanctified. The ones and he set near himself. And the ones that he set near to himself is who? The Israelites. Israelites. Mm -hmm. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low Ooh. and turned out of their places. Mm -hmm. Keep going. As, as the clay. <laughs> is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure <laughs> so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh him best keep going let me let me, let me pause right there I, I i'm so sorry uh karam and uh mike kareem what um when you hear and i don't is are you guys still you guys still read out the apocrypha right yes right. sir Good. All right, so with that, um, because with that man, and I would have to say it like this, and I told you guys that I that I'm I'm not I'm not fixated on one side, but with that right there, it seems like free will does not exist <laughs> at all. We're gonna let the scriptures speak for themselves. That's why I was taking you hey, to these that, scriptures. That's all that's all I'm saying. Okay, let's keep going, sir, please. Okay. Hey. Good is set against evil. And life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the most high. <laughs> and there and there are two and two, one against another. Exactly. Now let's go back to Second Kings twenty-two. Or was that that was first Kings Salakia, first Kings twenty-two and nineteen. Why you guys hey, are looking for that? Hey, are you unmuted? Yeah, I was. I was. I, I was muted. I was talking, but I was muted. I didn't. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead. I, why are you looking for that? Go ahead. Good. I think you asked okay. me like uh, what I would have to say about that. You right. know, um, I'm not as I'm not as versed into the uh, Bible as uh, <laughs> the brother is, right? But um, I've read the Bible many a times, and I've read many uh, verses. And as and as we all know, what, I, what you know, uh, as we all know, there's many, um, you know, the, that's why I'm non-orthodox because there's many religions amongst uh, people who believe in the Bible, that's and then and then what what each and every one of these religions can do is they can go into the Bible and they can give you verses, 
and then they can give you they spin on it and what they can do is they can go and 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 and, and, and you can, one thing about the bible is see the bible was uh what how many books it's a whole bunch of books right Amy. it was written by a lot of different people but it all correlates and pretty much says the same thing so the same way as he's going into the Bible and he'll point out one thing and then go back into another verse and point out something different. If I was this versed into the Bible, I could do the same thing and base it on what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is that, um, and, and, and that's why I had got off camera to look it up, uh, is that the Bible also says that uh, God did not create evil. You see what I'm saying? It's, uh, as as far as when I was talking about, uh, it, it, and I can show you where it says it, but I but I have to go to it where it says that Satan is the father of evil. You see what I'm saying? Well, so, well, this is what we got to understand. Mm -hmm. What is your definition of evil? Mm -hmm. Well, what I was what, what I was gonna say is, you know, to to end that point is that, you know, for me, uh, so I, I, I respect the verses most definitely, but at the same time, you know the the. It's the spirit that's the, 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 it's the spirit where I'm coming from. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, well, it's the like, okay, proof like you I, do something, like let's say this you do something bad, you go into the court system, they pass judgment on you. Is that evil? I mean, for me, like my, since we're talking about the Bible, I would give you. Well, um, I'm just using that as an analogy. I mean, because well, I, I mean, I mean, it's just a simple yes or no question. I mean, if you, you do, if you break the law, analogy that I, if you that, break that, the, that, if you break the laws of the land, and you got to go to court because you know you broke the law, and the judge passes a sentence on you, is that evil? If the judge passes a sentence on you, that's evil. on you for breaking the law. Is that evil? I would say no. Exactly. That's not evil. Because right. you know, because you broke the law, and that's a righteous conclusion to but at you the same time, the law. The, the, the law because you be, knew you knew not to break the law, but you broke but the you law. But you asking me like a question that's like you know, because the law could be evil in itself. So you know, well, of um, course the law can be evil. The law can, uh, totally a law can be evil. You know what I mean? But um, it doesn't matter when it comes to you breaking the law. There's a lot of laws on the book right now. So, so then if you're not going to break them. That's, why I said, that's why I said I couldn't give you a simple, because you tried to force me into a corner of a very simple de uh, definition of what evil is. And that's why I said I wouldn't be able to do that, because if the law is uneval and then the judge went by the evil law, then he would be, uh, in fact, uh, going with evil himself, right? Well, if he did the law. But see, you know what? You falling into that trap of breaking the law, that's all on you. No, but what I'm saying is you that know, if, I mean, I mean, when, if you got to go, if, I mean, if, if you're not breaking the law, then you right. doing everything. You don't have to worry about evil laws as long as you're not breaking the law, right? An evil law ain't gonna get you unless you break the law. I mean, I'm a law, question, I'm a law abiding like, citizen. Like I'm a law abiding citizen, so I don't, I don't have a criminal record. Right, I get what you're saying, but to answer right. your question the way that I would like to answer your question, you asked me what do I believe that evil is. So yeah. since we're talking about the Bible, I would have to put it on a spiritual level. And I would say that evil is uh, is the disobedience of the will of God or the instruction God. of God. There you go, right there. That's what I wanted to hear. Simple because as that. we have to understand, good, um, good and evil, love and hate, are what action words. Mm -hmm. They're action words. It's your actions. Okay. So in the scripture, <laughs> evil is what not keeping the law statutes and commandments of the most high okay so if you're not keeping the law statutes and commandments of the most high that means that you're doing your own will and that's going to lead to what evil right you're gonna be committing evil absolutely so, so um let's get back to the script let's go to um <coughs> to second kings first kings 22 and 19 and let's finish that out so we can find out who's controlling evil is evil and Satan is Satan just some wild dog that's just running around biting anybody? He can do whatever the hell he wants. To. You know, nope. the Most High got to call the dog catcher to come get this damn dog because he's just running all around the earth. You know what I mean? He's just loose. So let's see what he's doing, or is he actually doing exactly what he's told to do? Because, like I told you, Satan follows the Most High's commandments. Mm. That's, that's why he's 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 pretty much the most high's law enforcement. He's the one that's telling the most high on you. 
He's yeah. the same as the bitch the most high. Look at you. Look at him. He ain't got any of laws. Any of laws, look at him. That's what Satan told Job. What did Satan told you tell Job? Satan told him, um, told God that jo the only reason that you, the only reason that Job is blessed is because of the hedge that you put around him. But if you take that hedge away from him and let me get at him, let's see. Because everything's about a test. Are you going to stay loyal to the most high or are you going to fold like a long chair? That's when right. Pressure get on you That's you right. know, because mm -hmm. pressure breaks pipes. Facts. Mm -hmm. So let's go, to, let's, <laughs> King, let's go to First Kings 22 and 19, and let's finish that off. Okay, I think it was 20, Second Kings because 22 and 19. I'll just read. I'll just read. Oh it no, instead. no, that was. I'm sorry. That's First Kings. First Kings 22. 22. First Kings 22. And let <laughs> Let's start back up at 19 so we can get some understanding. Okay, and it says. I'm gonna read down to 22. Okay, and it says, and he said, "Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord." I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him. All the hosts right of heaven. What does that mean? That means that the angels, the good angels on the right hand mean. side, demons on the left hand side, right. all mm -hmm. of the hosts of heaven, everybody. Yes, there's demons in heaven. They're mm -hmm. standing on the left hand side of God. Waiting Woo! for time. Heaven. One more time. They're standing oh, on the right time. hand side of God. Waiting for commandments because they keep the commandments. You practice free will. Let's keep going. Okay. <clears throat> and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab? And he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. It's a question. And one said on his mantle, <laughs> And another said on that matter. Stop right there. Now the Most High wants Ahab dead. This is a heavenly court happening. Ahab don't know the court's in session on his butt. Mm. He's doing his own thing. He don't know. Court, judgment is being passed on him and he's not present in the spiritual world. The angels have been, the angels and the demons have been <laughs> presented a commandment by the Most High. Who is going to go down there and cause him to fall? Because I want him dead. Now the Ooh. angels and the demons are having a conversation with each other. I do it this way. I do it this way. I ain't going to hold you. Right. Wow. It sounds like a hit got put out there. I'm, that's what I'm hearing. I'm like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's finish that. Not a, a shot caller. Right. So let's finish what he says there. Okay. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, <laughs> I will persuade him. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And how are you going to do it? The mm -hmm. Lord's like, How are you going to persuade him? What did what, right. what the spirit say? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. And the mouth of all his prophets. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> what, what scripture is this? Uh, what? First Kings chapter twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh -huh. First I'm, I'm keeping my glasses off for the rest of the goddamn show. Like it's, it's up right now. I ain't gonna you. <laughs> Yo, right. this is crazy. Now I'll start at twenty-two again, and he said, "Lord." And he said, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. <coughs> go forth and do so. What did the Lord say? Go forth yeah. and do so. Go on and do that thing. Uh, I like that idea. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Go on and do that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did he did he um come up with that plan on his own, or is he just saying uh, he's doing the most high's will? That's doing the most high's will. The most high. Will. Will. The and, most and, high. And, exactly. Does Satan does Satan have free will too? Does Satan no. have free will too? Okay. No. So, so okay. From there, I want to just get one more scripture, and I'm going to let you um speak, brother. Let's go to um. <laughs> I'm just trying to get an understanding from you of where you're going with it. I'm trying to prove to you that. First of all, 
the spiritual demon Satan and all the demons, they are all under the power of the most high. That's why we call him the most high. Because he is okay, above so all those spirits. All those spirits are under his command and they wait there for him and they're waiting for him to give them command because they love executing his commands. And okay, so what you're saying, okay, so educate me because like I said, you're more versed than me. So what you're saying is that when Satan himself uh, uh, so <coughs> when, in the Bible when it's talking about uh, the fall of Satan, right? And it's talking about uh, the, the, the disobedience of Satan, how he wanted to be in the position of God and blah, blah. So you saying that that came from the instruction of God is what you're saying? No. What I'm saying is in that particular verse right there, that Satan that is talking about is an earthly man who is acting as the adversary of, of the Most High. See, and this is why you have to have a deeper understanding of when it's talking about the spiritual demon Satan and when it's talking about a man that is acting as an adversary against the Most High and the Most High reference him as Satan. Absolutely, but I, I feel like you got to be very clear. The etymology of the word Satan is adversary. And long mm -hmm. as you remember the etymology and when you're reading the scriptures, know in context when he's talking about the spiritual demon. That's why I took you to to second to second kings to let you see that these are spiritual these are spiritual um, um entities that he's talking with now the okay. verse that you brought up right there that is a human being right there that he's saying is acting like satan and knowing when to differentiate that comes with ruach spirit and that comes with right. deep understanding and studying the, the scripture. verse that i bring up what verse did i bring up you brought That's up you brought up um you brought up Isaiah 14. Let's go there. Right. I didn't bring up Isaiah 14. What are you talking about? But okay, I was talking what, about I was talking about uh the fall of Satan just now. Yeah, the fall of Satan. Right. So I'm talking about in, the fall that's, of that's, Satan that's, that's, because that's in, that's in Isaiah 14. I mean, okay, so cuz well, because well, the word saying, Satan is in there and what also the word Lucifer. What you were saying, right? What you were what you gave the general impression that that get the demons and or fallen angels or whatever you want to call them are operating solely under the instruction of God. That's how you just presented that. That's how, I, that's like right. if I was a viewer, that's mm -hmm. how I would right. heard. That. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so if that's the case based on what you read, right? What I asked you is, so what you're telling me is that when Satan had his fall and he disobeyed God and he wanted to get on the throne of God. You are you so that would have been because this is what this is all in the course of things, right? This is all because he said there's an end plan. God said there's an end plan. You read that verse already, right? Mm -hmm. And in the end plan, we already know is for Satan to go uh to where he got to go and the people that was rocking with him to go with him. So if that's the end plan, which what, what you would be saying is that God instructed him to do that, or or does it differ or or maybe make it clear to me does it differentiate somewhere in the bible where 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 it says okay now at this time because you're saying you know all the demons everything that they're doing is uh they don't have no free will is that what you're saying or everything that these demons or everything that uh these fallen angels is doing is based on god so if that's the case when did he stop when did when did, when did he tell him okay you don't have free will to act on your own you see what i'm saying so how did they go from now everything the devil do is God told him to do it, mm -hmm. right? right? To the devil acting out on his own in heaven and taking the angels with him. Okay, let me answer that. The first thing that we have to understand is you have to get away from the Christian doctrine of mm -hmm. fallen angels, fallen Lucifer and all this. It's all mixed in. And once you shake off Christianity, and like you said, you shake off Orthodox religion, then you'll have a better understanding of the Most High. And see, and that's why you're carrying that Orthodox religion breakdown that they didn't broke that old thing down to us, and it's just been screwed everybody up. And now we're going to get better understanding. The scripture that you were speaking about, if I can get my reader, Mike, let's go to Isaiah 14 and 12. Because this is the scripture that you keep talking about the fall and Lucifer, yeah, exactly. Bring it exactly. Out. Let's go to let's break this down to better understanding. 
and we're going to shake off that Christian doctrine, Christian mentality, and that or, organized religion. Because the, the Bible is not a, a religious book. The Bible is a book of laws, statutes, and commandments. But what white supremacy slash um, Christianity has done is taken the book and used it as a military, spiritual mm -hmm. military tool to enslave people spiritually. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so once we break off that and break away from their doctrines and get the true understanding of the Most High, then it will all make sense. So let's start there, Mike, please. Hey, brother, I, brother, go ahead and read it, man. I, I got to ride to the store real quick, but I'm I'll go ahead and read it for y'all. Done. Thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, starting at verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didith weaken the nations? Stop right there. This right here, Lucifer, now we have to break down the word Lucifer. The word Lucifer means light bearer. This is talking about a group of individuals who bear the light, meaning they know the truth. This is actually... I was just like okay. it real quick. I just want to add to that real quick before you keep going. Lucifer is a replacement word for the word Elel. Okay, it, it is a is a word that has been interjected into the into the scriptures. It is a Greek word. Okay, the, 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 the Old Testament was translated from Hebrew into English. So how the heck do you have a a, a Greek word still there. The original word was Hillel, which means exactly what the brother said. But go ahead, Quran. I just wanted to point that out. Thank you, sir. That's so true. That comes with more deep studying. We have to understand how the Bible is put together. The, the Old Testament is written in Hebrew. The New Testament is written in Greek. But the whole hey. Bible has been translated over into what's called Old Quaker English. That's mm -hmm. where you get your thou and your shall. Knowing the breakdown of yeah, the Bible. The, the Bible has been translated in a lot of languages, too. Well, of course, because it's in heathen hands. They're going to translate it. But this was all prophesied to happen while we were in captivity. The heathens was going to get hold of our scriptures. They were going to try to use it, manipulate the world with it. The Most High was going to allow them to do that and then bring them down in the end. Everything is going as planned. What, so, should they not translate it? What was that? Should, should they not translate it for uh, other languages to understand or something? Well, of course, because we were going to go into captivity and then what? We're going to learn English because we don't know our original language. But see, right. this is it's all part of the Most High's plan to give us our knowledge back that he's taken away from us. Because we have to understand that these Gentiles, their job was to keep our records for us. And now it's time for them to give us our records back. And they're going to give everything back to us in these last days. Because the Most High is making them cough it all up right now. That's why it says in Revelations that the earth, the earth helped her. How does the earth help us? With archaeology. Every time they keep digging, they keep finding more stuff. And they know it's us. That's why the Smithsonian was created. To hide all these things. That's why these different organizations was created. But let's get back to um, the Isaiah 14 and and 12 now we know lucifer means light bearer this is talking about the super international elite they're the ones that's at top they're the ones that have weakened the nation they're the ones that control your international banking and monetary fund this is what it's talking about here them they are it says how are thy cut how are thy cut off from heaven or how have thou fallen from heaven now, the heaven that it's talking about right here is not talking about the spiritual heaven. This is talking about their rulership position. They are in a high rulership position, like it's a heaven. Right. They, they, they're prince of powers and principalities. Exactly. They're in a high. This is talking about your Rothschilds, your, you know, your super elite, your, your, your DuPonts, your Rothschilds, the banking family, you know, your, your, your Bilderbergs, all the super players that you don't see they're in a high state they're in control this is their heaven and he's gonna bring them down out of their heaven and cut them down because they have weakened the nations and it, let's keep reading it says for thou have said in thy heart i will ascend to heaven how did he ascend to heaven? He did that in 1903. Up, it was the Wright brothers. They invented the airplane. 
That's how he incented to heaven. It's not talking about the spiritual heaven. It's talking about the sky that you see, because the Bible tells you that there's three heavens. The first heaven that you see is the sky. The second heaven is outer space. The third heaven is the fourth dimension, which is the spiritual world where the most high is at. The Bible makes that clear in, in um, Hebrews. So this heaven that is talking about here is him soaring to the heights in his plane, which was the Wright Brothers, 1903. He says mm -hmm. that I'm going to ascend to heaven. I will exalt my I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mount of the congregation in the north. The north where? Here, North America. I'm going to sit on top of you, you Israelites. I'm going to dominate over you, control you. And it says, I will be like the Most High. But the Most High says, yet thou shall be brought down to hell. What is hell? Hell represents a low position, slavery. Slavery was hell. Because we got to remember, heaven and hell are conditions that are played out on earth. It's heaven for some people. It's hell for others. Mm -hmm. We were going through our hell. He's going to go. He's going to be brought down to the pit of hell. Okay? And it says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms? Because that's what you're going to see. It's kind of like the movie The Wizard of Oz. When they finally got to the wizard and they pulled that curtain back, he was just a frail old man. They was like, whoa, you've been running all this? That's how you're going to look at these frail old men. They're frail old rich billionaires. And you're going to be like, man, these guys right here was controlling everything in the earth. Look at them. That guy right there then had 10... 10 triple by 10 different heart surgeries. You know why? Because he can afford to get five hearts. That frail old man right there has been running all this. That's what you're going to say. That's why it says that they shall narrowly look upon him and consider saying, is this the man that did, that did make the earth to tremble, that did shake the nations, that made the world a wilderness? He dropped bombs everywhere. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. He dropped bombs everywhere. Everywhere he went, he has caused nothing but death and destruction, and he has brought hell with him. He went to Africa, brought hell with him. He went to Asia, brought hell with him. He was in Europe, brought hell with him. Once the Most High allowed him to come over here to the fourth part of the earth, which is called America, but it's called the fourth part of the earth in the Bible, he brought hell and destruction here. So you, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So you, you you think the Bible is talking about white people or something? Like is being the of course you're not gonna sit back. You're not gonna, you can't sit back and say that the transatlantic slave trade, which is the biggest, the biggest result in human history, the biggest documented in human history, you're not gonna tell me that that's not prophecy. There was another slave trade prophecy. before that though. That and see, and what they and see, see what these Christians like to like to um, make you think is that there's all kinds of future prophecies to come. All the prophecies have happened. We're at the end of this now. Why you think they're doing everything that they're doing? Their new world order started in 1492 when they got over here. That's when their new world order started. You're seeing the end of their new world order. Why you think they're making all these desperate moves? Their time is up. They know their time is up. They're doing everything to hang on to can, power. Can I, can I, are, are you, um, are you, um, uh, like a uh, Israelite? Of course I'm an Israelite from the tribe of right. Judah. Look at my name. Well, I don't, I mean, it just, to me, it just looked like, you know, it just like a, like a, a foreign name. But, um, can I ask you to get more understanding? So, as, so, so if, if the Bible is talking about white people <laughs> and saying that white people, or like with the, the devil, right? Or did they come from the devil or the origin of the devil? Or we, or we do, so it's does not, that mean that, like, it's what does that mean? I don't, like, it's, break that down for me real quick so I can understand it because- I can, it can, can I like, start with uh, that, Quran? Can I start with that real quick? That's a good question. I got that's a question. Great question. Yeah, that's a good I'm question. On. I got a double okay. question. That's a question. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want the brother, let's, 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 let's do everything in decency and in order. I want the brother to, um, to, uh, to, to, uh, um, say his question again. 
Well, what I'm what I'm kind of asking is just that uh, I want to get a full understanding because I've kind of heard that before, like uh, like you know, white people started the devil or something like that. Um, so would that further mean that the descendants of those people would that mean all white people was of the devil, or or would that mean that uh, like how does that work? Okay, um, you are who your father is. So you descend, you are the seed of your father. Okay, so what we have to understand is there's no such thing as white people. There's no such thing as black people. Okay, we are all nationalities. And when we go into Genesis 10, which is called the book of nations, it breaks down all of our nation. The most high ain't coming back to save white people because that's no such thing. You know, they my, my shirt is black. The brother's shirt, your shirt is white. Ain't no white person walking around looking like that. Okay, so these are terminologies that white supremacists have made up to elevate themselves to the top. We know what the word white means. It means holy, pure, and all that. And we all right, let, let me the definition and we can look up the word black. The word black has six different definitions and they're all bad. So, 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 so we have to get that understanding first. Now, the second thing, the word devil. We have to get the understanding of what the word devil means. The word devil comes from the Greek word diablos, which means deceiver. That's mm -hmm. all it means. So-called black people can be devils. So-called white people can be devils. You're a deceiver. If you're deceiving anybody, you're a devil. Hey, so I, I looked that up before because I heard Brother Muhammad say that before, and I couldn't find that in like the in like no dictionary. So where does that come from? Okay, so when you you want to go to what's called the Blue Letter Bible. Go to the blue letter Bible .com and you can you can click on each one of these words and you can look these words up in the lexicon and you can get the etymology of these words. <laughs> Studying etymology is very important. The word yeah, I went to like five dictionaries. I couldn't find it. I went to like five or six of them. Yeah, that's slack, what, you know what? Slack next slack to your dictionary, next to your dictionary is what I want you to get. I want you to get an English um book of etymology. Let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So real quick. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, okay. So the, so, so the first place you're going to find the word devil in the Bible is in the book of Matthew. Okay? Now, that was translated from Greek over to English. The original word in the Greek word in the book of Matthew where you see the word devil is diabolos. Now, what it means is slanderer, false accuser, which we know was somebody who's deceiving. So anybody lying to you is a damn devil. They got a spirit of a devil. And so if we call a white man a devil, all we're saying is that <laughs> a white man is a liar. You know what I'm saying? And so now we have That's to understand true. that. It, all we have to understand is that white, not all white people are liars. And not only white people are liars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because we all tend to lie to one another at one point in time in our lives. So we all have been brought up as devils on the earth, as liars. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to understand something, too, is that we actually cast spells on one another because we have been, we have been, uh, we have been created by our enemy. We become something as what we call witches. And we cast spells on one another with the, with the with the evil things that we say to one another. You know what I'm saying? Haven't we all been in some type of spelling bee when we were in, in, in school? <coughs> yes, we have. And spelling, we're casting spells on one another. Diff some of the same words have different spelling of, say, of, of having the same word but different meaning. You know what I'm saying? We, I mean, we've been fandangled in every aspect of what we've been taught in our whole lives. That's why we got to unlearn things and relearn things. So brother, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you get a chance, download the blue letter Bible to your phone because we got to understand that, you know what I mean? When we, we get this out of the prelude of, of Ecclesiastes where it says, for the same things uttered in, in Hebrew translated to another tongue have not the same force in them. Meaning they took words out, replaced them with other words, and they give you the same type of meaning, you know what I'm saying? And when it's translated to a different language, it has not the same force in it. That's why you always got to go back to the Hebrew to get the definitions, to find out what the ancestors, which was what they was trying to teach and tell us. Um, That's all I have to say. 
You're, you're muted again. Let's go to um. Let's go to Psalm 119 and 69, please. And y'all get a chance now. I got a question. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Spill right now before we get it in. Oh, uh, uh, I had a question as well. Go ahead. All right. So, based, just just sitting here listening, um, you you know, you were saying like how how the white people is pretty much ruling over us, <laughs> um, per design by by the Most High, right? Everything God. everything is going in in god like this is all god's plan everything's within god's order right god so mm -hmm. if satan or the devil whatever you want to call it is um pretty much doing god's will mm -hmm. why is god sending him or you know quote unquote sending him to a different place than everybody else when everybody is doing god's will Right. Like why isn't everybody going to the same place uh, as far as heaven, whether that be mentally, spiritually, um, when everybody is doing God's will? Everybody is playing their part in this whole movie. Why do, do certain people have to be slaves or underneath a certain other people? Because everybody's playing the same, like everybody's doing their role perfectly. That's a good question. That's a very good question. Let's go. Let's get it. Right, brother, brother, um, I'll, I'll, be, before you go into that, I just wanted a little bit more breakdown on, <coughs> to get a little bit more understanding about because you said so you and you because you said the father. You are who your father is, right? You're right. You are the who seed are of your father. Opposing that the father of white people is, is, is you know, I just try to get that breakdown first. The father of so-called white people is their ancient father, which is Esau. And, and who is Esau's father? Esau's father is Isaac. And who is Isaac's father? Isaac's father is Abraham. Abraham. And who was his father? Abraham's father was... Um, Terran. Terran, yeah, Terran. Let's get to the beginning of it. Yeah, right. The first five. Right. I didn't know where he's going. Right. Right. He's got a good that's one. valid. That's valid. That's valid. It, always, it goes all the way back to Adam, the first okay, man. Okay, and then, and then the well, first line. And so, are we from Shem. Adam line or no? Shem, yes. and then Noah, and then all the way to okay. Adam. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Shem all right. from, from from Noah's son, Shem. Then it comes. That's how that's how the the, the seed line, the bloodline travels through. Right. So allow me to use the same like logic that I've been hearing y'all use a lot. So since it all come from the same source, right? Mm -hmm. Then because you said if they come from the father. Mm -hmm. So um, you know if you look at science, science will tell you that black people is the father of white people. Right. So then, we, so we would have to be the one that's evil at the beginning for them to be evil, right? <laughs> that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Based on the logic that you use, I'm, I, I don't believe that, but I'm just saying, based on that logic, that's what it sounds like to me. And, 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 and then, um, you know, if it, uh, one, one last thing I say, I, I want to let the mic go, but one last thing I say is that, you know, uh, that's why I say without me having the scriptures, like, you know, I can't go directly to the scriptures like you and hit a scripture, but that's why the Bible say the scriptures is written on your heart. And so when you said that, when you said that the white people is the father of the devil, that didn't sit right on my heart. You see what I'm saying? So that, I feel like that that was God telling me that something ain't right about that. You feel me? And then uh, when I look at when I look at the nature of human well, well, let, let, let me clarify that. I didn't say that white people were the father of the devil. I said that white people's father is Esau. Or but but then you said that you know they come from Satan. And, and I, I, I clarified that, that, that. that the word devil comes from the word diablos, which means slandered or liar. Anybody well, can be you a did devil. say that, but this is this is where right. I was going. This is where I was going with that. So when I look at human nature, right? Mm -hmm. I look at we are pretty much all the same. Now I used to kind of look at Africans and all this kind of stuff and probably put them in a place where like they were some kind of peaceful people that was super spiritual. And that may be the case compared to mm -hmm. other races and stuff based on our geographical locations and based on other things. And uh, But at the same time, 
if you when you look at Africa, right, mm -hmm. and when you look at situations where it's just that the white man has been in power. You see what I'm saying? So when so we, 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 we say, oh, look at the white man came over there, grabbed all the slaves, look at the white man, he did this to the Indians, the white man did this. They've been in power for a long time, so it's easy to look at them. When you look at black people being in power, we do the same shit. When you look at, <laughs> well, you well, look at Asia, historically, power, historically, that's not correct, because no, when, it, when, when, when black people were in power, there was no world wars. I mean, because I mean, historically, we didn't were, have the power. When black to go to people world were in power, we wasn't invading other people's lands and taking I mean, resources. That's not a fact. That's not a fact. When, when, but we was, wasn't. We, when, when black people, when black I'm people ruled the world, because at one time we ruled the world. Okay, so let's, let's let's be clear. When we when we talk about ruling the world, when when black people was in, and when we was in power, that was around the time of uh of the uh, of when 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 all the trade was going through west africa and was going through israel and uh right and, 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 and that area was, right and we was coming over here we were right. we was, so this we is was way, navigating the whole world right so the yeah. world was different so the world was different we didn't have the same access to the whole world you know what i'm saying yes like, we did Africans yes we did why, why do you think that they know how to get over here they learned everything from us we had access right. and to it everything. took I'm just saying, so this brother. Is, this has always been our knowledge. They, they, they just Johnny come lately. Different from the advancements in technology back then. So when Africans was on or whatever, you see what I'm saying? We wasn't able to do the same kind of stuff that they can do right now. We yes, we, we can. Yes, we could. We they, just they didn't, we just right didn't take it there, brother. They got nuclear That's all weapons. It is. We yeah, just they, didn't they take they it that far. Now. We have they we have always them. had more knowledge, but we ain't trying to pretend well, taking it that far to be wickedness with that knowledge. We right, have so. to remember that that we are a very, very special, very special people. And so when even we like fail, the, when we fail history on the crew people in Africa, and do you know why the crew people were so willing to go and snatch slaves? Because they were taking a people that wasn't theirs. Yeah, actually, they, they were so willing to, this is what these people did. These people was a, a warrior tribe. That, right. that was going to war already see, with most see, of the that, other. That, see, to automatically think that all black people, just because we share the same skin, that we're all the same, we have to get out of that type of Absolutely. thinking. Right. You know? That's why we have the old saying, all skin folk and kin folk. Just because we look like Africans don't mean we're Africans. We're not Africans. We just lived amongst them. Exactly. You know? So that's and my see, point. That's, that's, a, my, that's a that's a that's white mentality point. to that's think that, that black Within people Africa, sold other black people into right. slavery. That's, that's the only thing they did point. is sold somebody else from another look, tribe. Within they, Africa, they're so vast. This is the the, mo the most vast people anywhere in the earth, right? Right. And so we we we, we say Africans when these is all kind of different people, and 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 trust and believe. I, I got a lot of history because I was born in Liberia. I talk to these Liberians all the time, and I can give you Liberian history. And if you, you can go back hundreds of years, and these Liberians was at war with each other. These tribes in Liberia have been going to war with each other. They've been killing each other. They've been going to war with each other before the white people got there. What so is it called? What like is it? The white what is it called when you go to war? All, all things of evil. We can't. What do is that. it called when you go to war with your own countrymen? It's what called murder called? and killing no, and destruction. It's called civil war. It's called the same thing as anybody do. That's what it's called. When you go to war with another nation, that's called a military war with someone. But when you're fighting with each other, that's a civil war. That don't count. If the but Chinese, just, if the Chinese are fighting each other, you know, every, 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 every nation has had a civil war to brother to Quran, nation. Brother Quran, we just made it clear that that these is different people. We just made it clear that within Africa is that these ain't all just one people. So. That's right. Right. You got tribes all fighting each other. These ain't you got these Hamites, people. and you got these Shemites, are different people got... with different religious beliefs, with different cultural right. beliefs, and different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing, brother. I'm just saying, like you can't you can't and, look and, at and, and, people and, and say that their actions is different from the same actions that you see every day that we take. When you seen the Africans get militarized up, when they got their weapons, they went to war with each other. Now we we understand that there's that there's white people influencing things and all of that, but at the end of the day. If we look at the history of all people, we cannot try to look at Africa and say that people wasn't going to war, that these people was just so peaceful and that they weren't doing nothing to nobody. They was taking over shit. They was conquering lands. If you fuck with my zebra, I'm going to knock you down. It was the same way, bro. Well, of course, that's just part of human history. Israelites went to war right. with each other, too. 
That's what I'm sure saying. So how can yeah. we, I mean, I mean, so how Israelites can, went to war with each other. Chinese went to war with each other. Egyptians went to war with each other. African, I mean, every nation on this planet right. Earth so, so has we had can't a civil at, war so, with so each other. But I'm just the, trying to understand what is your point in that? Because we can't look at the race that was technologically advanced before we were, right? And then, and then look at them and say, because this is what I believe. I believe, just, you know, on another note, I believe that if the Africans had airplanes and the guns and the gunpowder, and then we seen America, and then we seen some, uh, what, what's over here in America? I don't know. Whatever kind of, uh, whatever they got in America, we got gold in Africa, we got uh, silver over there, we got all type of stuff over there, but whatever they got over here in Europe and America, if it was wealthy, to, I mean, if it was profitable for us, I believe we would have came and got that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 well, and you know, brother, that. you know what? We, we can sit up here and we can do hypothetical scenarios all damn day. Right. But the but, fact of the matter is they didn't do that. White but people. historically, and but so historically, we're going to stay on what they've done. We can exactly sit up here and say, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. we, we, we could have did all well, that. Though. But did I'm we? giving you real history. I'm giving you I can, I can, did we? Did we do all that? I can who, in, uh, who has who has the bad track who has the bad track record with we all every do. nation that they have dealt with? We all do. The colonizers. But, yeah, Thank we all you. do though. At the end of the every day, every nation that right but now what works, you're seeing, right, right now what you're seeing is all our, the nations around the world trying to shake off colonial rule. Nah. Them, them, that's them what Egyptians, you see right now that's happening. The Egyptians was over there tripping with everybody. You, they was you see them? They're all trying to shake off colonial rule. The Africans, you just had the queen of, you just had um, Prince whoever and freaking his wife travel over to try to do their royal thing. All those Africans is over there saying, nah, we don't, we don't recognize you as queen no more. Around the world right now, as you seeing that these Gentiles are losing power and every nation that they have dealt crookedly with is opposing them and trying to shake and get away from them. And they're doing everything possible to try to stay and have the global dominance that they have always had since they got in global power. And that's why when we can go to Joel and it says that, that the weak is going to say we're strong now because that's what they're saying. We're not going to take smack from America. We're not going to take smack from England. We're not going to take smack from none of these colonizers that has been ruling us for 500 years now. You are seeing them. And that's why you see them making the moves that they're making right now. A perfect example is their abortion issue. What you think their abortion issue is about? It's about white genetic annihilation and them making sure that they are going to be able to preserve their race in the next 20, 30 years because they know that they're a minority and it scares the hell out of them. And they are going to be making and doing more laws to try to stay I believe that. Because as their numbers, listen to this, as their numbers decrease, their violence is going to increase. That's how it's going to work with them. That is their history. I believe that, brother. I'm just saying, I believe all of what you're saying, especially about the abortion. Uh, you know, I can go into that forever. You know, Planned Parenthood, all that, right? But what I'm saying is this is a human condition, right? If, if we was the minority, we would probably be looking at the same issues that they, you know what I'm saying? If, if, but we if are the minority. minority on Earth, we, I would probably be worried about- It's not no like, if. We, we, we are the minority when it comes to power here in America. They control but everything. We, Right. Just on the sidelines all, all is watching is, right now. It's a, it's a, I don't want to argue that part. I'm just saying <laughs> I feel like it's a human condition. You see what I'm saying? I, I feel like the things that they're doing. What, what is that human condition? Is 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 that sin is of the is, uh, flesh is of the sin? Uh, 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 how do how you say it? Uh, sin is yeah. of the flesh. So okay. Now so, here's the next question. So, so what, what is sin? Is, so so what happens is sometimes Ooh. what is sin? <laughs> okay, let me real quick. I'm gonna break I can't do that. the transgression but of the you gotta laws. understand where thank you, brother. So, so if the human condition is the flesh of the sin, if, if sin of the flesh, then that means that sin, like the brother said, sin is breaking the commandments. So if everybody just keeps the commandments, that would help this human condition that we're going right. through. Right. But but, but then again, so that actually, I'm glad you went into that because that actually doubles my point back. So we all break the commandments. So we all guilty of sin. So we all fall in the same category. But mm -hmm. what I look, the reason what I what I believe what you're saying, I believe that this falls into a, a, a point of like reference, right? Based on like a geography, ge, like the geography of people, and the and the circumstances of people. So 
again, when we when we talking, about, you know, I don't want to go too far into the, like some history and all of that, but when we talking about Africans, we know that Africa is the land of plenty. Is you know, it's it's you know, there's it's, it's bananas on the trees, it's coconuts over here, it's, it's you know, they got some wild boar over there, so it's plenty over there, right? So, and then we know that the the the, the geography that the white people was in, it was not the same, right? So this is what leads to uh so because from their human ex that that's now, your not right there brother i gotta ask you mm -hmm. now why was we living in such plus resources and they wasn't living in plus resources why well, because, because we the first i believe because that we the first people and god put us in the garden of eden and he put us in africa which which happened to have all of these things so god put his people where he wanted them to be have plenty exactly. right so so by the most high blessing us with all those resources and denying them resources this is why nope. they is we this why they created is this why they created warships and they left in 1492 to get resources no he didn't they, deny them resources because they were just they were just broke it's like you it's like you reap what you sow but let me um let me let me ask this real quick uh to to everybody real quick mainly mainly to uh Probably just you, Karam, real quick. When it comes down to, and I, I really have this question for real. When it comes down to Esau, and minus minus the giving up of the um, of the uh, what what they say, you guys blessing and inheritance, right? <laughs> Esau really black, and that uh, please understand what I'm what I'm saying when I ask is Esau really black? <laughs> Let's go to the chapter. <clears throat> Let's read it for ourselves. No, so real quick, through. before you go in there, before you go in there, mm -hmm. I just want to know yes or no, real quick, and then you can explain with the with the verses. You know what? I like to let the Bible speak for itself. Oh, okay. I don't I don't want to I don't want to give you what I think. I want, I want to you to give me what you think. What I think don't mean <laughs> a damn thing. I'm just a two-legged <laughs> dog. Okay? Oh, don't do me, Karama. Go, go, go ahead and read, read it. Go ahead and read it. it. Only thing does say is the word. Does say the word. Read it. Okay, so let's go ahead and read it. Let's go to Genesis. <laughs> let's see the birth of the so-called white man, who his father is Esau. Okay. Genesis Can I 25. ask a question really quick, though? Sure. Mm -hmm. May I ask you a question? Because a moment back you said, and I just want to get clarification, right? And and forgive me if I'm wrong. You stated there is no white or black. So can you clarify right. that to me? Okay. Um, if you <clears throat> heard what I start, what, what I preference my sentence with, I said so-called white man. Okay. Right? And the reason that I say so-called is because that's what he called yeah. himself. He called himself white. We didn't. Mm -hmm. So when I when I always start off, just so we can be on a, um, a, a understanding who are we mm -hmm. trying to, who we talking about, I will always say so-called white man so let's okay. go to genesis 25 and read about the so-called white man's progenitor progenitor which is his father esau go ahead. so who is the so-called white man then and i'm only asking for clarity okay we're gonna go to the scriptures and yes, we're gonna so see gotta go to, the, well the so-called I, I want that same answer but go ahead go, right, the yeah, so -called, go ahead. Ray was asking you ultimately what well, if you're your father if, if your father is you know everything. Mm -hmm. That's why he kept on asking, "Well, who's that father?" I totally okay. understand that. Right. I totally understand that. Right. Now, like I say, when I say so-called yeah. white man, we're talking about these people who are in charge right now, who call themselves white people. They call themselves that. So we're going to say so-called because <laughs> we know who. The, the reason that they call themselves that is because they're trying to hide their biblical nationality. So they come up with these words. So let's That's go. Right. Let's go to Genesis twenty-five. And let's start at 21. <laughs> You're hard. You just got it, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's start at 21. Exactly. Are we going 25, 21? Yes, 25. Yeah, Genesis 25, 21. Thank you. You going to read it, Karam, or you want me to read it for you and you come in? Sir, please, can you read it for me? Da wa da. Da wa da. And we have Genesis chapter 25, starting at verse 21. And Isaac entreated 
the yod heh wah -Hey of the Lord. I'm just going to read how it is here. Mm -hmm. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Now his his wife was was um she could she was barren. Mm -hmm. She went to the Lord. Now this Lord that he, that it says that he went to, we have other scriptures that let us know that she went to Shem. Shem was alive here. She went to Shem and she asked Shem about this pregnancy. She prayed to the Most High that she was going to have a baby, and wait. the Most High blessed her with twins. Then bless wait, her with wait, one wait. baby. So the so the father was was of what nationality? The father Isaac. The father was a was an Israelite. Okay. He was, All right. This is, this is not um, an Israelite. He was a Hebrew. Huh? He, he was a Hebrew. Um, yeah. Salakia. He was a Hebrew. This is for Israel. He was a Hebrew. The father's name is Isaac. Okay. The mother's name is Rebecca. They want a child. She's not able to have a child. She prays to the Most High for a child. The Most High blesses her with twins in her womb. Okay. okay. That's verse two. We're gonna get to that. Twenty-two says, and the children struggled together within her, and she said. If it be so, why am I like this? Stop right and there. Now these twins are just struggling around in her baby, struggling around in her in her uterus. She's having the worst pregnancy of her life. This was supposed to be a blessing for her, but the way that these children are fighting inside her, she's like, "My Lord, why is I'm going through this? I I don't even want to be pregnant no more." The way that these children are fighting. Okay. okay, real, real quick, when you guys, when you guys are reading this, and I'm gonna ask you, uh, Karam, do you think that this is a literal story? This is a literal story. Okay, I want you to hold that, but go ahead. <laughs> and verse 23, and the and the Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb. What is in her womb? And two nations are in your womb, and two manner. Two manner of people stop shall right be there. Separated. Stop right there. Two manner of people, meaning these twins had two different spirits in them. Two manners, two dispositions, two personalities. They they brothers, but they totally different from one another. Go ahead, sister. When you you gave the definition all or right, your definition right. of nations earlier, can you repeat nations in your definition? I'm sorry. You gave that? us the definition of nations earlier when we first came on the podcast. Can you when you went to Genesis 10, uh, when oh, you were talking okay. about the... Okay. I just want to make sure I'm walking with you. Right. Genesis 10 is called the table of nations. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you want to go to Genesis 10 to see those No, I just want to know the definition of nations um, according to what you told us earlier. Well, the definite. I told you that the, that this is the table of nations. I didn't give you a definition of nations. Okay. It, it defines the nations there. If you read um, Genesis ten, it'll tell you that these are the generations, and then it'll tell you all of them. So may I ask what nations means then? What does and I have mean? to ask from somebody else's understanding? Okay, we can get that. Let's go get okay. it. All right. This is going to be Genesis, Genesis ten. That's um, we can start at um, five. It says, and these are the isles of the Gentiles and the nations. Let's get what nations means right here. So we're going to go to Genesis 10 and five. I'm going to go to my blue letter Bible. We're going to go to Genesis 10, verse five. And we're going to look up the etymology of nations. Go right here to our inner literary concordance. And it has right here, nations, let's get it. Nations, here is goy, goy. which means what? Nations, people, nations, people. So this is their definition right here for nations in the Bible. It would be goy, nations. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's nations right there. Meaning so nations mean people. People, nationalities, because nationalities, nations, like races, like exactly. a race. That's where nation. you get the word nationality from. Mm -hmm. Nationality, word nationality. You have nations in there, so nations are divided up into what nationalities. So there's nations. So let's go back to Genesis 25. It's in the wording, even. 
Let's mm -hmm. go back to Genesis 25. And what was we at, sir? Yeah, I think I left off on um Twenty three. Yeah, yeah we were into the two nations. Yep. Yes, let's and start it, off with twenty three. Twenty three, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations, Goy, are in your womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And that's the announcement we're saying, and one nation shall be stronger than the other nation. <laughs> Exactly. And Two the elder names. shall serve the younger. Exactly. So as we keep on reading, I'll read this part. It says, and when her days was to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red. Why did he come out red? Is well, well, the Indian? So we'll, we'll, don't even answer that. <laughs> the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they called him his name esau and after that came his brother out and his hand took hold of esau's heel and his name was called jacob now why don't they tell you what color jacob was the reason that they don't is because jacob came out looking just like his mother and father black esau came out looking red like a like a so-called white baby when it's born it's red from head to toe because it has no melanin in his skin and his blood shows forth comes to the top that's what they seen in esau they seen this baby came out he was red so-called white because he was flushed all over that's where they get now, the word redneck now, from and I, all that stuff and, I gotta and, stop and they also seen that he had hair on him he had hair on him so he came out red and he came out hairy I gotta Go stop ahead. you real quick. You Can said I... this whole story is literal, so we gonna deal with right. this. <laughs> I know what the color red is. You feel me? That's like this the, this YouTube sign at the bottom. That's red. Mm -hmm. So you telling me a baby came out that color? Do you know your color spectrums? Is pink part of the red color spectrum? Pink yes or is no? Pink is pink part of the red color spectrum? The, 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 color color spectrum, the color spectrum is all colors. Exactly. So what's I didn't see some red people. I ain't going to lie to you. What is another, <laughs> what, is another, <laughs> what, is another what is another word for red? What is another word? Like, like in Spanish? What do you mean? No, what's another <laughs> English word for red? Red red has more, more uh, an, an, another word for it than just red. Give me one. Give Cream, me one. Crimson means red. Okay. okay. Scarlet means red. Like you know, velvet. Does white, does white mean red? White don't mean red. Right. So okay. I'm kind of confused. They're the ones that call them. They're the ones that call themselves that. We didn't remember that. That's so, the oh, wait, wait, wait. So with that, with that right there, so that's that goes back to my question. Are we talking about black people still? Right. Yeah, because what it, we're like, talking about, no, we're talking about the so-called white people. No, this but when you, no, 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 I don't want that answer. And, and the reason why I say I don't want that answer, because when you say so-called, then that means it's open to whatever we want right. to call it. Right. Mm -hmm. So I want to know. No, no, no. So -called me, when, when I say so-called, so-called refers to them calling themselves. That's why. So who that's what them? the word so-called means. That's all I want to know is who is them? Yeah. The who red people, them? right? The so-called white people who call themselves that. I'll say a better word. Europeans. Okay. How do you, okay. Europeans. Now let me yeah. let, let me stop you right there. How does a European genetically, uh -huh. based off of science, we already have this understood. How does a European come out of the same womb as a black man? That doesn't even make that's not possible. It Those is. Are those Africans. are two different genetics. Wait, 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 no, wait, it's wait, possible. Stop right there. Right there. Those are you two. Have, wait, wait, those are two stop. different genetics. Stop right there. You you mean to tell me it you happens. have never seen Africans give birth to an albino baby? Albino. 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 Let me answer. Uh, albino okay, still right, has right. the same genetics as their parents. Mm -hmm. and what hey, so just just what makes you think that Esau doesn't have the same genetics as his parents? 
And his I, parents are black, right? I've literally the seen his parents are black. black. Okay, so black. genetically, black. genetically, that would make him an albino. I've seen a black and white baby come out. I've seen a black, uh, all black baby in a, in a in a white baby come out out the same womb by the biological mother. So that that was on. I TV. know, but I'm saying they're not it's, European. It's, it's though. That's what I'm it's saying. Happening. They're no, they're not going to be European. European, and one's going to be African. That don't even like. That's not possible. Not. The, the reason that he calls himself European is because he migrated to that area. What does the word Europe come from? That so, comes wait, from wait, Europe. real quick before we go into that. So we're talking I'll about a saying. black baby. So Esau's black. Right. An albino black. Can Hold on, wait, before because I want him to answer that. I know. Is Esau an albino <laughs> black baby? That's yes. what you're saying? Yeah. No. The scriptures clear the scriptures clearly <laughs> tell you that they had two different manners. This is two babies in the same room who are totally going to be separated in what? Spirit, color, uh, mannerisms, everything's going to be but different not about genetics, this. though. But, but not, not genetics. genetics. It's not going to be genetics. And why can't that happen? See, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. See, I'm Listen, sorry. let me explain. I'm let me explain. We cannot let me do explain. that. We cannot let's do that. If we're going by scripture, and you come say, on, come on with scripture, it. Scripture did not say genetics. Listen, let me break it down to you. Jacob Go and Esau. Or the Bible. Jacob and Esau were not fraternal twins. Do you understand what that means? I, 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 mean, I do. What is that? They're like identical, right? They was not identical twins. Right. They were fraternal right. twins. Right. right. I understand. Do you understand what fraternal twins mean? Yeah, right. So can, can, can fraternal twins have different genetics? Did no. their parents? Can a fraternal no. twin can, <laughs> no. can one fraternal twin have a different genetic from the other fraternal twin? That's what I'm saying. Not but, from the parents. But we're talking, what are we talking about? We're yeah, about we're, parents, I'm trying to parents. I'm trying to explain twins to you because you, you but we understand that but we're talking about if you guys say that that they're that your father you are what your father is and for this conversation mother how how we talking about you being at this time all right oh right, man I'm gonna meet you brother like you so that's that's the whole question like where how how is it not black. That's the when whole I, point. Can I ask something? Oh, you right. well? Just to make it simple, how is it not black? The parents okay. are black. And you are what your father is. Right. That's why we all say you are what your father is. So we gotta right. we gotta keep it real or we gonna say some different shit. Right. Hey yo, man, read Genesis 25 and 25 again, man. Uh, uh. Let's read it one more can time. I, ask, my, now, my, again, my, now again, I have to ask: oh, Are we talking literal? Right. Right. Are, are we talking <laughs> others, parables? Right. Uh, we're talking literal. Okay. These well, are these are, these these are fraternal twins. I don't understand why that's so hard to understand. No, okay, brother. Let me I ask agree you this. Let me ask you this, brother. About the fraternal let me ask you this real quick, brother. Does one of the twins? twins let me ask you this, brother. Does Esau have different genetics than his mother and father? No, he does not. No, okay, he does now not. let me ask you this. Now let me ask you this. Does Jacob have different genetics than his mother and father? No, he does not. No. All so right. He's so he's black. <laughs> there is you can't go around that. He's black. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen brothers that's damn near white, and I know that they're black by looking at them. We're not talking about physical. We're talking about genetics. Genetics, genetics. right? But so the scriptures talking, don't say that. I mean, I mean, I mean, when, when you say black, what are you talking about? The color or the I'm spirit? I'm talking about whatever Jacob is, Esau is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he is. So what? That, so you mean you're, you're telling me that you think that just if Jacob is black, then Esau automatically I'm he should have came out black. The he doesn't can, I, can I speak to it? Can I speak to it just medically, right? Can I medically? Yeah, let me go next. Um, being a nurse, right, and studying DNA, the factors that are given from the DNA strands from the mom to the dad, that the children equally have to pull genetic DNA from both mom and dad, right? You cannot have one existing in the womb that does not carry over the same amount of genetics 
as the other one. There cannot be two, one having something completely different than the other one. They're going to have very similar variations. They might have a little bit of different, um, a different strain, such as like hair color, eye color, so on and so forth. But that genetic makeup and material is going to be of the same sort. And I know this factually as well to back this up. I did um, Ancestry 23 or whatever it was with my, my half sister. We don't have the same dad. In our genetic makeup, even not having the same dad was so similar that you cannot deny the science of us being very closely related. So two right. in the womb cannot exist without mm. the same genetic strain <laughs> as the other one. Impossible. Right. I think I, I think you can definitely you could you you can definitely um the, the genetics ain't gonna change, but I think you can definitely uh have uh, like if you look at even how the scientists say that, uh, you know, their their version of how uh, other races came along, they say that there's a mutation in in the in, in the DNA of African people that actually mutates and it creates. And, you know, plus with ge a geography and all of that, where people went to, it actually creates other people. So, uh -huh. you can, uh, so, so, so definitely I can see what the brother is saying and I'll see what you're saying too. Of course, you're not going to have different DNA or different genetics in somebody, but I believe that it is possible for a white baby and a black baby to come out uh, 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 of somebody, meaning that we call white a skin color. White doesn't have nothing to do with the DNA. Right. Uh, right. Not, not necessarily. Uh, it does, but it doesn't. But watch this. Black, watch this. But that, but that, even, white, we don't call you even white. though that that's still true, that baby would still be black. Right. It would right. be of the same DNA, but it wouldn't be black. What okay. I'm saying, but you're talking about skin pigmentation. I'm right. talking about that baby okay, would still gotta, be black. But, but we kind of get down to semantics. But y'all kind of arguing with oh. him over semantics. I don't. I hate to play devil's advocate, right? But y'all arguing right. with him over semantics in a way because you're look we call when I, when I see somebody if they're white bro they're white there's no you know what I'm saying but, but I'm not going to say are oh, you black like if you look white thing, you're let's, let's do this if your DNA I get but what y'all saying right if your DNA is black I, I like if you're the say. child of a black person you're black right but if you don't look white if you don't look black and don't have no black features or nothing you, we gonna call you white right so but, now so when he's saying that he's the father of the white, I just, I'm just saying I get what he's but saying. But can I say something? I, because I, even, I, I even know, Karam even said, though, earlier in the podcast, you are what your daddy is. That's so right. that, that white baby is still black. Okay, okay, but do you it would have to be? Okay, but if the white baby comes out, let me give you an example. Okay, so if, if a black person has two babies, one comes out white, one comes out black, both of the babies is black, right? But mm -hmm. if the white baby start having babies, right? And the white baby start having- We're not talking about that though. Oh, we're not oh, talking oh. about that, Chris. No, we yes, oh, that we, have to no. to, we have to keep it to the but foundation see, of that's what it is. That's part of all this. We have to talk about that. We can't, we can't take that part away. Because all I'm saying is I but can we have to take that part away because we're specifically talking about just the two children that are well, in the womb. Gonna, and even how you try to say, like, you can demographically go somewhere and create. We're not talking about anybody traveling or anything like that. We're specifically talking about the two children that are in this one black woman's womb. Okay, but look at coming by a black man. Look what the, what look happened? What with the, where, where did it change? And look and, what the and, verse is saying to you, though. It's saying within, the, I just understand what the verse is saying. It's mm -hmm. saying within him will come two different nations, right? So mm -hmm. these are two different like <laughs> types of people. When we look at common day nations now, we look at, when we look at nations, you got the, you got China. It's a whole bunch of Asians over there. Them is Asian people, right? That's their nation, right? They when got blacks at, over there too. Hey, man. Okay, I understand that, but that's not their nation, brother. <laughs> Africa is our nation. When we look at the nations, know, I'm saying based on I'm saying based on what Karam was reading, and and how it would flow into that, he was saying that it, it said that there will be nations that come out of you, and then he already went into the definition that the mm -hmm. nations are the people, the the now nations are ask you this, by, bro. People by race or ethnicity or by you see what I'm saying? So right. so 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 let but me. Just, so that's so, why okay, that's why I was asking that, in the okay, beginning but, is this a I literal saying, story? Right? Okay, but look, if you, got, if you got one parent. And you got a black person and a white person that come out of that parent. Uh -huh. And then and, and then they and then they end up being adversaries, right? Uh -huh. Then you have you have a nation that come from the flow of 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 the white people. 
right? And then you yeah, have no, another. No, 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 no. He's that's black. The black people, He's just black. like common day. He's black. It's, like it's all black. black. We all come it's from all, African. It's people. all black. It's all mm-hmm. black. Right. We all come from African people because we all come from African people. But that's common all day. That's all I'm saying. Right? Yeah, it's so all black. black. Common day are Asians, black people. Let me right. ask you that question. Huh? Let me ask you a question since that's what you're going with, right? So you would have to say that an Asian is a black person and a white person is a black person. We know that ancestrally, if we go all the way back to DNA, yeah, but white people ain't black people. Asian people ain't black people, right? Or are they right. black people? Yeah. If we going back to, you know, the source, you know, do we all have Adam? Do yeah, we they all have, have right? Do we all have the same? Do we all have the same type of uh, mitochondria well, DNA? Not that hard. No, y'all, y'all, y'all no. are arguing this man down. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah, yo, science is so interesting. When they do, about, they do a deep so wait, 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 time out, time out, time out. You cannot trace a specific type of DNA from every human back to the one person or the one source. That's you're saying, you can't. No? You I'm can. saying you can't. Okay, oh, that, yeah, yeah. My, that's mitochondria DNA. Okay, so let me ask you a question. I just asked you, you didn't answer it though. I said, Is a white person a black person? Common day, if, if I look at if because you know that already, so since you know that's not person, wait, wait, now, now let me, let me answer the question. Let on, me answer man. the question. You're not asking me, is a white person a black person? We're talking about an albino, so let's let's no, no, stick no, no, with I'm, the albino. No, is I'm an albino. You. Ask me this is an albino a black person? Yes, an albino no, is no, a black let person. Me ask you, this. Mm-hmm. you just you just made a statement, and we know it, to, we know your statement to be true and factual based on science, right? Uh-huh. So if you are the father of someone, then you are that person or whatever. So we know that all people, based on what science say, if you look in the average science book, they're going to tell you that all people come from Africa. So all people come from black people, right? Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, but coming <laughs> day, now today, if, hey, yo, if that's the case, then when you talk about white people, why do you refer to them as white and not black? White and not African. Hey, man. Yo, man. Uh, as okay, far let's as the, do this. Let's do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. Like you, man. Let's do this real quick. So, is it safe to say that Kareem and this is for you? Who, what, what, what is the original nation? The, the original nation uh, would be, um, I don't know, brother. To, to, be, to be honest, but uh, based on science, it would be the African nation. There we go, right there. So, so where, that, where do where do white people come from? White people. <laughs> white people come from. The black original people? nation, which would be Africans or black people. That's all I'm okay. asking. That's all I'm asking. Thank Hold you. on, I man. Get that. Hold on, man. I get that. We're in agreement. Right. But I, right. when I was asking y'all the question, minute, why do y'all refer, if that's the case, right? Then when we're talking about people, when we're talking about nations, why do they not call the Chinese nation the African nation? Why do they not call that's Europe? Right. Right. The African the why do, they, why do you call different colors? Everything. Okay, right. so, why, okay, so this, but, but but I'm saying, but 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 he was describing what the what the Bible was talking about was two different oh nations God. coming out of people, adversaries hey, that hey, were going to come out of people. That is going to come out of one body. <laughs> and he went hey. on to describe about how nations are people and how and how the nations are broke down by race or ethnicity. Let me do this. Let me do this real quick. Let me do this real quick. Let me do real quick. Keep that in mind real quick. Ahead, and then ahead, think ahead. about the question that I'm asking you. So why is it that when you refer to white people, you don't refer to them as black, even though you know that they're actually black people because they come from their father, right? Which is black people. Right. Yeah, hold on, man. Hold on. Let me, hold let, on. Me, let me say this real quick, Mike. Help real y'all quick. Out real hold quick. on, hold on, Mike. I, I, want, I want him to um, answer, answer the brother's question. Let him answer the brother's question. And I'm just giving an analogy. I heard your question. When we talk about energy, right? Because I, I gave the same analogy earlier with hate and love, right? When we're talking about energy, <laughs> there is energy. We associate some of that shit with good energy. We associate some of that shit as bad energy, right? So that is synonymous with this story. Am I bugging or can we keep mm-hmm. on going on? Keep rocking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. man. I got to say so, something. So when, so when it comes down to what Kareem, what you're saying is that people, the original people or the original per- person was this, but then we break it down to how we want to break it down. So when we're talking about energy, and this is how I receive this story, when we're talking about energy and the duality of mm-hmm. there's going to be one thing that's going to be birth, and there's going to be another thing that's going to be birth, and this is God ordained. This is not okay. necessarily... Hold on, wait, 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 Kareem. Mm-hmm. This is not necessarily... 
a situation to where it has to be. And I'm not saying, listen to what I'm about to say. I'm not saying that this cannot happen, but on if we're talking about on some most high shit, we're not talking about no human shit, right? Mm -hmm. On some most high shit, we're talking about okay, well, this is gonna happen and this is gonna happen. There's gonna be two nations that's mm -hmm. gonna come out of one thing, right? They're gonna be separated and gonna be they're separated. Separate, too. Separated, but yeah. are they really separated? No, because they come from no. the same source. They're they're the same. What? Okay, I agree with that. I agree with that. With positive energy. That's all I'm talking Wait. about right now. Hey, hey, hey. Brother hey, Karam, you, 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 uh, you muted. <laughs> you not making y'all hear me? Yeah. Hey, we hear you. You can hear me? Mm -hmm. Can y'all really hear me? Yeah, kind. <laughs> all right, I'm glad y'all can hear me, man. Because I got something to say, man. I got something to say, man. Go ahead, you got it. Bring it up. You know, we have... Eight, eight people who survived the flood. You got, you got Noah and his wife, <coughs> Shem and his wife, Japheth and his wife, Ham and his wife. Right? Okay. We're all black. Noah was the first albino. Get this out of the book of Enoch. Noah was the first albino. He was still a black man, though. Still black. I mean, they were never called black people, but you know, if you want to look at it that way, it was black. Now, Japheth, Japheth seed went into Europe, came across the came across the Caucasus Mountain. What he find in the Caucasus Mountain? Neanderthals. This is something. This is a being that God could not create. Did not come from any of the families of the earth. Whoa. Neanderthal. Where all they, Europeans, they, all Asians, anywhere from three percent to fifty percent Neanderthal in them. Where they come from? Where they come from? Wait. Okay. Mm. How did you know where they come from? Just do your own research, because I ain't got the full answer for you. I know that. Hey, <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> we gonna say that. Hold on. <laughs> deal with some facts. Fact is, all European people got three to five, fifteen percent Neanderthal genes in them, which did not come from <laughs> Isaac or Rebecca. So where did it come from? <laughs> Can you answer that? Then we ain't got no, I cannot. Well, then we we had a stand we still because we can't. Hold on. You see that? Well, let's, let's deal with this though, because you started off see with that? Noah's Ark. Hold on, real quick. You started off with Noah's Ark, right? <laughs> Okay, Those what I'm saying to you wait, 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 is wait, wait. just Those go into some deep studies and find out that we go into Genesis 10, who was the idols of the Gentiles? Let me ask you this, since 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 you do know that, did do Neanderthals carry mitochondria DNA? I ain't got that deep in my study on that, man. Uh, okay. no. right. <laughs> we can look this stuff right. up later <laughs> on. Still, <laughs> okay, because facts. When it comes down to what, um, what created the the continuation <laughs> of animals, right? Because <laughs> they came in two by two, right? Mm -hmm. And about seven. Two by two of everything. You know what I'm saying? The, the domestic <laughs> animals came in by seven. That, that's all I want to say. It was two of everything. One mm -hmm. side for this shit, one side for the other shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. So no, they had yeah. some of them, the domesticated animals came in sevens. That's cool. You want to know why they came in sevens? Genesis. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I know why. <laughs> okay, tell me why. Um, they was eating them. Huh? Why? Because it was. I heard different theories on that. Because they were eating them. This is my first time hearing it, but I'm gonna give you mine. What's 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 the number of understanding? Well, seven is the number of completion, right? No. Done deal. Thank you. And, and nine, nine is nine. the highest number. You can't get above nine. That's cool. You know what I mean? Because after nine, it goes into ten, which is a one and a zero. Zero don't mean anything, so go, so it starts all over. Okay. So, you know so I mean? what I'm saying is, is that. And again, some of these stories, man, and I hate to say it like this, some of these stories is not 
meant to yeah. be taken literal. Mm -hmm. No, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But when we dealing with the creation, because we got books, we got evidence, historical evidence that that Edomites, Edomites were alive. They came from somewhere. Then we have Israelites, which came from somewhere. If the if the story is not literal of the Esau and Jacob storm being twins born in their coming from their mother's womb, that has, has to be it, it's literal. It's literal, All right? So, so now, have you, have you ever heard of something called a double entendre? The devil who? The double, <laughs> entendre. devil a double entendre. A double entendre. Double. No. Two. Two. Double. I mean, two different meanings um, of the same story having two different meanings. There we go. Somebody's perceptions. Really. Now, when we say, if you're going to say it's it's not a literal story, but it's only um, uh, only a parable. Now, it, it 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 is a literal story. We we got historical facts on it, but is it also a parable? Is it also a future? Is it also a meaning or something? You know what, what I'm saying? facts do you have about like what are you talking about? You say you have facts about it. Facts, look, I got some historical facts on Esau right here. How did you get them? Can I bring out a script real fast? Yes, sir. While he's doing that, go ahead. What's up, um, I just wanted to bring out this sarcophagus of an ancient civilization. Who wrote that? Yeah, where'd that come from? Who wrote this? This is written by George Livingston Robinson. This was written in 1930. So how did he, he don't have, so he don't have no real accounts of Esau. How, how could he talk about something that he ain't never it's lived a, to experience? Okay. Hey, there's no real historical evidence on Esau is what you said. How, cause he went into the land of, uh, what's this, uh, hold on. <laughs> went to play in the I'm land of peace, bro. I'm, I'm supposed to be chilling. And kicking I know, back. me too. I, I know. Huh? <laughs> right. You're doing good. Huh? You're doing good. You know so, this is the the ancient the sarcophagus of an ancient civilization, Petra, Edom, and the Edomites. <laughs> Petra is in uh, Jordan, which, which which is what they used to call um, south of Jordan. Which is what they used to call Edom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which is basically at what? Uh, Mount uh, Seir. Mount Seir. Yes. These are all historical facts. So there's there's information on Esau in here. Okay. okay. Saying, like, where well, he where actually did, come from. To also the um where did they get their information from? Because they wrote it in nineteen oh eight. I'm trying to figure out where they where are their sources. Where like, did what's they their source? Their, they got their information from being out in in that land, getting information from the people of the land out there. So, yes, so we came from word of mouth. Yes. No, he, no, he's saying there there had to been a reference. There's got to be like a uh, like some type of text they got that from. You know what I'm saying? Where they? How do they even know about Esau? Word of mouth for how many centuries? Like how many hundreds of years? Like thousands of years? What are you talking about? They've been writing about Esau for the longest. They got all kinds of books on Esau. Yeah, they have books right now they about Esau. No, these, books, these books are old as hell. What are you talking about? Oh, no, no, that's that's just old. old as hell. Like he bringing but, but up the books from 19 again, something. Only, only thing you have again, to do is just... Because somebody held up a book that said that the Bible is black history, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Black Bible history. Is hold on, wait, wait. Hold on to that real quick. Black history. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. is the Bible a parable book too? Mm -hmm. The Bible yes. has parables, allegories. Thank it you. has the whole thing in there. Yes. How do you decipher so which one is a parable? And it has about. literal stories too. And it has literal stories too. Okay, yes. so it's, when you it's, say it's, it's history, what is why 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 is there a need for a parable for what? Because a parable, okay. a, a parable brother, is you, brother, we from <coughs> we from the hood. We speak in parables in the hood, oh, wait, which we wait, call all the time. Slang. Wait, wait. We don't I call it parables, that. but we call right. it slang. This but is this is the way about, of communication. We're talking, about, we're talking about history, right? When we yes. to, well, hold on, wait, wait, real quick. And, and and this may seem like a reach to y'all, but when somebody tells you something as far as what history is, well, you can say his story. Okay, yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. Right? His story. 
But when we say something needs to be documented so all can understand, <coughs> am I bugging to say that? So that all can understand, okay, well, we need to make sure that this is clear. Mm -hmm. Parable is up for grabs. Parable right. is up for understanding. Parable is up for discernment. Whatever you make it. Mm -hmm. Right. Not, not really. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It absolutely oh, yes, is. Yes, it is. Other than that, then it will be straight talk. Right. Right. It, is, it, it is. It is straight talk. talk. Huh? It is straight talk. Parable that's why, straight talk. Well, that's well, <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, under well, let's say let's say this. That's why it says that the, uh I believe that you know it, on certain ears it's gonna be straight talk. You see what I'm saying? Okay, okay, right there. Certain right. ears. So do we you have to understand. Have the same understand oh no, wait, 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 wait. So do you have the same understanding that the Hebrews that are we bugging? On, 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 on what specific issue? There we go. <laughs> let's talk about it. Right. Let's talk about it. Yes or no? As far as what though, on what issue? If it's a parable, then that's what I'm saying. You guys don't have the same understanding. It's a parable yeah, on what issue? Because I can do a parable okay, on. I, just, listen, I can listen, give you. Listen, a, I can give you a parable on I, mechanics right listen, now. Wait, 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 wait! I hate to talk over your heads, and I'm yeah. not trying to. That's why I'm gonna kick back the show. But if you say that it's 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 a, a history moment, but you guys have two different historical events, then it's mm -hmm. up for grabs. That means nobody has no understanding. Yeah. But where do you where do you find that? You, but that's you're saying that. But where do you find two different historical events? Yeah. Do you guys believe in the same shit? I mean, it what, depends. What are we? What are we? We got to talk. We got to talk. Wait, wait, wait. We got to talk. Right 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 so, I mean, that, that, that's okay. Let's, let's I got one. I got one. Okay, but an easy way to break that down is why would there be so many different religions or or sects of religion based off of one Bible, one account? Right. I mean, Everybody well, took their own Can I answer oh. that? Can I answer that, please? Go ahead. Okay. That's easy. That's easy. Really, real easy. You got to understand what religion is. It's an observance of man's traditions, man's doctrines, man's belief systems, man's philosophies. Philosophy. You know what I'm saying? He's taking things out of our scriptures mm -hmm. and turned religions into them. He has interjected his pagan gods into them. And religion comes from these, from basically religion, because everything in the world comes from inside you. Religion comes from everything that comes what's inside you. You know what I'm right. saying? So, so, th this is the but, answer I would give you. I, I, I make it real simple. If Look, if we all see a situation happen we probably all describe it very differently, right? right? But this is where this is where the Bible comes in to where I say uh, the the Bible gives you all of these different books, all of these different stories, and it keeps hitting back. Usually, the Bible keeps hitting back on the same stuff. Like if it talks about this over here, it's gonna it's gonna touch it. It's gonna it's gonna touch back on it over here. If you think it contradicted itself in Matthew, when you get way over here to Hebrews, you're going to figure out that it didn't contradict itself. It explained it a little bit further over there, right? So so when we see that, that's why I talk about uh, uh, the, the, the spirit that's in you is going to give you the truth. You see what I'm saying? Uh, at the end of the day. Um, that's a fact. Yeah, at the end of the day, that's you know what I'm saying? If, if we all see the same thing, we're going to describe it different. But if you go with the narrative, his word, and what he really trying to say, and if you study the word, you're going to understand what it's trying to really say. That's what I believe. But so, if we have I, that yeah. same word, right, and you see it one way, and I see it one way, how do we know which way is true? Right. I well, that's, why, that. that, that's why we got to study. You got to you know, gotta believe but, on your word. And then you right. gotta and your so but your right. truth is going to be your heart. truth, and my yes, truth is going to be my truth. Well, here, here, here's the answer to you. It may not be the answer. That that's true in a way. That's absolutely true in a way. That's absolutely true. <laughs> but the scriptures say this. It says. But there's still one truth. By the mouth of the two or three witnesses, let a matter be established. True. I'm sorry, Amar. By the, by the mouth of two or three witnesses, <laughs> let a matter be established. That's why the brother Karam was bringing up precept upon precept. Because the divisions happen when they use the same foundation of the, the scriptures, meaning the, what they call the Holy Bible from Genesis to Revelation and the 14 books in between. Right. They will say things like, well, this says that we can eat whatever we want to eat. That's one witness of that scripture. and But they can't find another one to establish that matter. So they'll say, okay, since 
all the people that want to believe this part, and we'll get the rest of the scriptures and the rest of the Bible, but this part we're going to establish and we're going to call ourselves so-and-so. And then you have a, a break off. And another, well, it says here, nobody should judge somebody. So homosexuality and everything else, that should be good to go. Everybody want to believe in that, come over here. But we understand the scriptures say, let a matter be established by two or three witnesses. Most of those, if not all, establish it on one witness. And But we understand that to establish a point on any topic that causes division, you got to find two or three witnesses in scripture to establish that matter. When you do that, then according to the scriptures, the matter is established. So that's why it should be a cohesive unity among those who study the scripture, because there shouldn't be any division. If they do have division and the separation of um, religions, as they call them, it's because they are just like the Protestant. That was their whole movement. They wanted to, you know, be separate from the Catholics because they didn't see the things the same way the Catholics did. So they broke off and that they became Protestants. And from Protestants, mm -hmm. other religions came off for that. So we say we say three witnesses. What are we talking about? Two or three. Well, in that case, I was speaking of um, accounts in scripture that's talking on a certain subject. And we can just pick any subject and, and we can find two or three things that are, are saying the same thing, different accounts. When I say witnesses, like a prophet, like some of the prophetic books that let's say Amos wrote something and then you see in Jeremiah and then you see also. So we're, so we're not talking about people that are interpret, interpreting these scriptures as to be the truth. We're just saying two or three people that agree to the same shit or wrote the same shit, right? Yeah, for the prophets, right? Exactly. Okay, so yeah, most of those at are... the time, we're not talking about people that understand this thing the same way, but they wrote the thing the same way, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I guess you can say that. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm trust me when I say this, I'm only playing mm -hmm. devil's advocate right now. I guess I understand. I'm just trying to bring out <laughs> what you guys think that would be the 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 disconnection to the connection, right? Does that make sense? This connection, connection, yeah. And I want to point out, he said that you could say that, but go ahead. So that's what I'm saying. So if you guys have a, a, a understanding that even though it's parables, there is still the truth, right? So the point of parables is just to say that we're on a higher understanding, other than other people who may not be on that higher understanding. That's right, right? Well, it also is a way of of getting understanding by giving <clears throat> practical examples of it that people use in everyday life so they can grasp the meaning <clears throat> of what, what is being said. So that's another part of the and I, and, I, and I understand that fully. So now, so we only have this separation for no reason. And let me and let me be real clear. Unlearned is right, right, right. So so now and this is this is why I wanted to get so many different beliefs in one building at the same time on some mm -hmm. real shit, right? So <laughs> talk about that, because um, uh, we're we're what you guys ultimately believe uh, ultimately believe in will be the separation of Jacob and Esau, will be the separation of the chosen and non chosen, will be the separation of all of these different things when we're talking about the same thing. Am I bugging? Right. Mm -hmm. No, you're not bugging. You're not bugging at all. I uh, uh, clarify just real quick what you just said. My bad, because I might have. <laughs> all right. So basically, so when we're talking about um, uh, <laughs> your we're talking, just, 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 when we're talking about right? the separation from one thing to the next, right? Mm -hmm. In order to, because we're talking about the uh, uh, Quran hold, held up a book that said that we're talking about this is black history, right? So ultimately, this was more than black history. And that might that may sound like a reach, but listen to what I'm saying. So okay. this is this is just history. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying, Graham, or you want me to keep on going? Yeah, I mean, uh, how would that factor into the, like, I mean, I get that's what they believe, but how would that factor into what everybody believes? So basically, if we're talking again, let me bring it back full circle. So if we're talking about that, this Bible is a historical event, right? 
Mm -hmm. it's, it's historical events in the Bible, yeah. Right, but then now we're talking about it's also a parable. Mm -hmm. So everything that we think that happened didn't literally happen, right? Right. So historically, we're talking about something that we can say happened, but on some on some parable shit that didn't happen. We're you just telling a story it. that may relate to something that possibly in didn't happen. Life. Mm -hmm. You cannot fathom that in your mind. We're going to break it down like this. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. one thing that we have to understand <laughs> is the meaning of these two words: esoteric and exoteric. Exoteric. I got you. You know. You. I got you. you know. We have to understand that when parables are out there, they are for esoteric, the initiates. That's why when the apostles came to Christ and said, why do you speak to people in parables? What did he say? He said, because the kingdom of heaven, the mysteries, that's what he said. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven have been given to you. Mm -hmm. And everybody else is going to get a parable, you know, because that that wisdom that wisdom and knowledge of the bible is only for the initiates the ones that really are going to take heed and have the most high's word it's not for the profane it's not for oh, those who are not uninitiated <laughs> let me finish let me finish oh, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. we don't have enough understanding to know the differences between the different par the parables and all that and how they're all broken down you know, just like I'm trying to explain to you the different meanings of heaven, the Bible. Let's go to the scriptures right now and get some scripts. Let's go to Psalms 119, 104. While you guys are looking that up, let me ask you a question. So when we're talking about, because some people will tell you that if you do not follow the Bible, then you're automatically going to hell. Do you believe that? No. Because, oh. those, people, because those people who tell you that they don't even know the definition of the word hell. Mm. So they don't when, when you when, hell. But when you say not follow the Bible, the Bible tell you to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, repent for your sins, accept Jesus as your savior. You know what I'm saying? And, okay, and this is my you question. Do you going to hell, buddy? What does the word repent mean? Repent. Uh, the way that I know it to mean is to mean to uh, to to turn away from. That is exactly what exactly the word what repent means. means. It means to turn mm -hmm. away from. You know, now ask, <laughs> now, ask, people, ask people what the word repent means. Now, all, now, if they don't know the proper mm -hmm. definition, this is what people do. They put their own personal definitions on words all the time. That's, a right. fact. That's my point. You know? <laughs> That's why I'm always taking people back to etymology and what's the definition of the word, because we lose these words mm -hmm. so loosely. It's like the word, I love you. What does the word love mean? You ask 20 people, they'll give you 20 definitions of the word love. Right. But if you go into the Bible, <laughs> in the Bible and you and you look up the word love in the Bible, God says that the word love means keeping the commandments. That's what love means. Humans say love means some feel good thing in there. They feel good. That's what love means to them. So we have to understand the definitions of these words. Um, First scripture, I want you know, and when it comes to this, what does the scriptures tell you? Second Timothy's 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God. See, you're not trying to prove anything to me. You're not arguing with me about anything. Mm -hmm. All your arguments right. is to the most high. Mm -hmm. You That's take your fact. arguments to him. <laughs> when you don't understand something, you take that to him and tell him, most high, I don't understand. And he'll send the ruach to you. And she will guide you in this understanding. Your Let's fight see. and your your fights and all that stuff, disagreements and all hinders with the most high because see the most high says he wants you to study to show yourself a <coughs> God, a workman, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. That's the key. You gotta okay. rightly divide this word. The Bible specifically gives you instructions of how to read it. But see, what Let's you just go. said, what you just said, the brother Kareem, mm -hmm. he has said earlier, he said he may read something or something may happen and God put it on his heart to tell him whether or not this is what it is or how, however he's going to perceive it. Right? right. So if I read a but scripture, that's, that's wait, also wait. based on scripture though. 
that's based on scriptures. It's based on scripture, but you're still deciphering what the what message is. is for you. Right. And, and, and that that and there's a scripture that says the heart is deceitful. Am I bugging? Right. But how am I how that. am I describing it though? Am I going by the guidelines that the Bible has said? The Bible gives yes. you, the God Bible gives you a specific guideline to follow when reading it so you can get understanding. Now, if the church has told you to read it like they read it, they don't follow what the Bible does. That's why it's so much confusion in the world. No, the Bible, I'm talking about if the people... Bible is not confusing people. The the RCC, nah. the Roman Catholic Church, who controlled the Bible. I'm talking about and there's a lot of self study people that read the Bible to get understanding for themselves, right? I'm right, talking right. about those people. Those people right. that read the Bible and may have a question and they ask God and they get something back that is different from you. How mm -hmm. are you gonna say mm -hmm. who's right? Who What's right or wrong? Exactly. Which one is right Maybe. and which one is wrong? Well, let's this go to the word. Do this is how I would do it. Let's go to Isaiah 28 and 9. Look. <laughs> um, all right. You said Isaiah 28 and 9? Yes, 28 and 9. And sister, please read that for us. Let me find it. We're going to go Isaiah 28 and 9, and we're going to read all the way to 10. This is the Bible. The Bible gives you proper instructions of how to read it. <laughs> now, if they, now, when somebody comes to you and they're telling you something, if they're not reading the Bible to you by the Bible's instructions and yes. they're going off, then you know that they're going off because this is how you get proper instructions. Okay? All right, so, I'm going to okay. read. Um, I got you. Um, whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk. Stop right there. Stop right there. Them that are weaned from the milk. What is the milk? You have to get the basic Basics. understandings of the scriptures first. I cannot tell you deep, deep, big mysteries of the scriptures because you are coming to this like a baby and a baby needs milk. If I give mm -hmm. you big old, um, um, big old scriptures that I know, that's too much meat for you. It's going to rock your brain. Just like I took you to, um, took you to second um, Kings and you seeing that there's, demons on the on the left hand side and there's angels on the right hand side. you ain't never read nothing like that that blew your wig off because the church ain't teaching you that <laughs> okay so there's other scriptures in here that you have never read i've read this book up and down since i was 10 years old i've been praying to the most high to give me wisdom knowledge and understanding that way that i don't lean on my own understanding i still pray to the most high to this day every time i pray <laughs> so this is the proper way of how we break down the scriptures. Okay, so we go to um, uh, go ahead and finish that, sis. And drawn from the breast. So the sentence before that was them that are weaned from the milk and drawn you gotta from, get the weaned from the milk. The milk, the simple scriptures. Okay, what's the simple scriptures? Who was the Israelites? You know what? What color was the Israelites? All right, who is the so called white man? Who is the so called Chinese man? Who is the so called Arab man? All these people that are calling themselves by these modern terminologies, what is their biblical nationality? Because that's all the Most High sees you as. All this genetics and all that bull, the Most High knows who you are. So, he wait, so you're. Your, he knows what your ancient name is called, and that's what Christ says when he comes back. He's going to put you in your proper place. Oh, you thought that you was an African? No, you this over here. Oh, you thought that you was a so-called white man? Oh, no, you this over here. Oh, you thought you was a Mexican? Oh, no, 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 you're <coughs> this over here. Everybody's, because see, we got to understand, this man has turned everything upside down. I'm trying to deal with everything. this milk. He's going to put everything back in order and he's going to put everybody back into their national place you ain't going to be calling yourselves all these modern terms i'm a mexican right. and all this no 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 it ain't going to be none of that everybody's going to go back into their proper order now um finish that off sis for precept must be upon precept precept what? upon precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little in there a little gone that's how we do it. Now, from there, I want you to jump to Psalms 119, 104. And sis, please read that for us. 
Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, what, what, I hate stop right there. false way. Stop right there. Remember, when we're reading the scriptures, <laughs> as we read the scriptures, get ready for, get ready to stop so the breakdown can happen. This is the okay. proper way that we read the scriptures. We have to break it down slowly. We got to marinate on every word. Okay. okay? So marinate on every word. We don't read through Man. nothing fast. When you read through it fast. That's how you lose understanding. It's slow. Read. Read that again, sis. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Stop. Through what do we get understanding? Precepts. Now, when we go back, did you what know? Are, I, what are precepts I, consist I of? What do precepts I'm, consist of? I'm just trying to figure this out real quick. What do precepts mm -hmm. consist of? Precepts consist of understanding that lines up that gives you a clear understanding see these words have to line up you have words. to be able to you got to be able to, you got to be able to precept the understanding from okay. this precept it with you. another understanding and keep on precepting it with another understanding this Ooh, is why I, this, I have a question that's, ba that's basically what i was saying already exactly that's exactly what you were but saying I have, this, scripture this is scripture. exactly what the elder was saying where he says right. that there has to be two witnesses what is the two or more witnesses? The precept. You precept. That's what makes it okay. I can believe this because the precept is said it here. I can go into the New Testament and Christ is saying the exact same thing that the Old Testament is saying. Okay, everything's lining up. This so is the those precepts. Right here. Can those How do precepts you... be interpreted different though? No, they cannot. That's how you know other people are going off is when they cannot precept it. And can right. I ask you a question? Okay, okay, let me do Another way that you know that somebody is going off is when they want to always give you their interpretation of Ooh. the scriptures instead of letting the scriptures speak for themselves. Right. They they ask, can I ask two questions? Sorry, okay, okay. Just like you came at me and you were like, brother, you know what? I want to hear your words. And what I tell you, no, it ain't about my words. It's thus saith the most high. I'm going to take you precept upon precept. So you get understanding and you draw your own conclusions based on the precept. I'm so not you're drawing, you're drawing your own conclusions based on what you understand that somebody else wrote. But what are we doing? I'm letting you read it. You're reading it. Now, now, when I break it down, <laughs> now, now as, as you're reading it, as I break it down, if you got understanding to say my breakdown is wrong, you should be able to go to another precept to prove that my breakdown is wrong. But okay, you, so right there, so right there, you're understanding from somebody else's understanding, right? My understanding is based off the precepts that I get from the Bible, not no, somebody no, wait, wait, else. When I, say, when, I say, when I say somebody else's understanding, I'm being the person who wrote whatever you read. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. Right, and the most I wrote this. The May most I, I wrote the Bible. Oh, oh, it's it's inspired by God. Exactly. He put this, we he put this, listen, he put the spirit <laughs> on holy men to write his book. Why is that right. so hard so, to understand? So, oh, wait, 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 wait. So can you understand the Bible without living? No. <laughs> because so what is because the Bible right. is what? The Bible is basic instructions yeah, before basic. leaving earth. Basic. That's so it. You can write the Bible. Exactly. It's basic instructions. What is so it? Keep the commandments. It. That's a basic so, instruction. Wait, 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 Keep wait, wait, the listen, listen to what I'm saying. So you can write it, right? I can what? You can write the Bible if it's basic. No. That's <laughs> fine. You know wait, 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 wait. Well, listen to, listen to what I'm saying. L listen. Follow me. You can understand it, meaning you can write it. No. So when you say... Why do, I need, to write the, why wait, do wait, I need to write the Bible? The Bible's wait, wait, wait. already written already. Yes or no? Yes or no? The Bible was written before me and you were I'm even born. I'm not asking you that. I'm saying, can you understand it? Can I understand the scriptures? Yes. Yes, I can understand the scriptures. That means that you've lived this so you understand it so you can write about it and you may, <laughs> up, you may come up with the same story, right? No, no, no. No. Come on. So you well, can't. Cause, so cause what, why why would I want to why would I want to write the Bible when only thing when I when it's already written? Listen, the Bible's okay, already written. Why am I gonna write it? Wait, wait, what am wait, I gonna wait, add wait, to this? Wait, 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 wait. Because you know where I'm going. Don't do that. So if you can understand it, that's just like that's just like if I say, if you if I give you a problem and then I say, show me your work. When you show me your work, that is you writing the Bible. Don't do me. But right? no, nope. I don't, no, 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 calm down. Because no. I'm going to look. 
This is why I'm going up. Y'all like, can't understand. Well, I understand perfectly. Let me give you my Calm definition. Down. Calm down. So if you, if I give you a math problem and I say, show me your work, and you show me your work, that That's means you. that you yeah. can write the Bible too. You can so do it. When you show me a math problem, I'm not done. Okay. So when I say, when you, when you can show me your work, you're leaning on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. You're relating the problem to what your life is. Right. If you right. give me a math problem and it says two plus two and I put down four, that's not me leaning on my own understanding. That's what I ask. Can I ask, me, can I ask the wait, question? Wait, 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 wait. How do you understand that? How do you know that two plus two is four? Right. Because we math is a universal language. Right? No, 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 no. Yeah. How do you get to that answer? How do you come to understand that two means two and that's you know, plus the other two equals four. Listen, How do you I even know that? I asked you a question. I said, I said, you could not understand the Bible if you did not live it. That was my question to you. And that was a separate question if you weren't paying attention. Because that question is to say that you could not understand the Bible unless you lived it. That's that means you could write it. But that's not necessarily true. That's like saying, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like saying, you, listen, that's like saying you can't, you can't fix a car unless you go to mechanic school. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. So do you understand the Bible? Yes, I understand the Bible. Why do you understand the Bible? Because you read it? Because I read it and I I read it, and with reading comes what? So you understanding think nothing. So there's no other relation other than reading the Bible. If I read oh, anything, I can, I can read, I can read, I, I can read a, listen, I'm reading up, I'm reading a contractor's book right now. Am I going to get understanding understand from that contractor's book? It? Of course I am. At okay, the end okay. of that contractor's book, there's a test. If, I, if I don't it. read that contractor's book correctly, when it's time for me to take the test and I and I answer the questions wrong, that's proof that I didn't get understanding from the freaking contractor's book. Because I got all and, the answers wrong. And it's, and it's so, continual so understanding. Comes, so when it comes down continual to basic learning. instructions, before leaving Earth, do you understand those basic instructions? Yes or no? Yes, I, the, yes, you I understand. The basic you cannot, is you how cannot. keep the commandments. How? The, keep the commandments. <laughs> That's the basic instructions. Keep the commandments of the Most High. That's how basic it really is. So it's basic, right? Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not... Uh, thou, thou shalt wait, not wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying that you knew that thou shalt not lie before you read a book. Am I bugging? No, I didn't know that. As a child, I got whipped oh. for that for life. And then I know it. What are you talking about? Hey, look. There's that's the experience. experience that we have right. in life. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just let me kill all this shit off. Did somebody read the did somebody write the Bible after experiencing the shit? Because Mike said it earlier. Mike said it comes from here and then it comes, then it goes here. Am I bugging? Right. They 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 had an experience with the most high and they documented that experience. They, they exactly. start off at a, at a not most high position. I'm yes. sorry, repeat that? Did they start off at a not most high position? Did they start off at a not most high? What does that mean? Not believing in the most what high? What the fuck is this? All right, did they start off on one level and then they got the information and then they jotted it down? Bro, we don't know the levels of anybody's understanding. Only you know the levels of your own right. understanding. Right. I mean, yeah, I don't get where you're going with that. How do you... What if I give you a book on quantum physics right now, do you are you gonna understand it? What I'm saying is is that in order and I hate to go because I gotta bring myself down be lit. Lit. But listen uh, that's me. what it is, they're gonna be drinking over there. <laughs> <laughs> are we doing that for real? No, no, no. What I'm saying is is that when it comes down to a level of understanding, there's a level of experience, right? You right. are a walking, talking testament of what you believe. Right. You're not just reading the book and you're just sitting down understanding it. No. Right. Come it's on, a don't do it. Bro, what? it's a continuous growth. I of don't what? know everything. I'm Ex growing every day. You don't every know day because you haven't experienced everything, right? Exactly. Of course I haven't. Right. God damn. Have That's all I'm yeah. saying. What no, of course I haven't. Know? Nobody has experienced everything. <laughs> that goes without saying. 
I'll fuck with excuse my language, but only thing I'm saying is is that in order to understand the Bible, you have to have a certain level of experience. You have to experience it. What, we got to remember dealing with people externally. Let's, 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 let's slow down <coughs> and let's realize this. <coughs> we have to remember this that the Bible is not for everybody. Okay? It is for everybody. It is for everybody. It's if, it's, if it's the basic instructions before leaving Earth, it has everybody. to be for everybody. It's not <laughs> for everybody because you have to remember it's not for everybody because, like Lord Christ said, listen, come on, slow down. The reason it's not for everybody because this calling is rejected by so many people. Remember, you can but, reject this all you want. I know, it's but did it? Did it but, hold on. Right when we first, hold on. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Remember this. Okay. This is a calling. It's a spiritual calling. The Most High is not calling everybody, even though right. He tries to reach. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Because we, real quick, we, because you said or somebody said earlier that there mm -hmm. is two different people. That we're dealing with we're dealing with mm -hmm. the chosen and the not chosen right so that's, that's, chosen, that's, that's all by chosen. design that's all by design. by design so what are we talking about let's get it let's get some understanding on this let's go <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, <laughs> let's, let's get some understanding let's get I've christ got words and I, we got it like, we understand it i got to understand okay, it. break it down to me well, i mean i mean what's the conclusion of the matter so all I'm saying is this, and I agree with you to say that everybody don't need the Bible. I'm one of them that don't. And my point is, is because I've already experienced this shit. So I would say that I am the Bible. When Mike right. was reading out of the, uh, he had it backwards, and I can't think of this shit right now. Um, I already understand it. I don't need to read it. Right. Because I already have enough life experiences that will allow me to, as soon as he said, <laughs> I understand it. Mm -hmm. You have to serve so it. This is what I'm saying. So when when people say, "Oh, you can't lean on your own understanding," my own understanding comes from experience. I'm not living nobody else's experiences, so I cannot give them. I cannot say, "Well, I, I I know this shit because of this nigga experience." That's their understanding. I'm going from my understanding, mm -hmm. right? and from your understanding and from your experience. All right, let me let your, me ask you this then. In your say, experience. Yeah, based on what you're saying. So you saying so what you just said was that you have enough experience in life so that you don't even need the Bible. Basic instructions. What's basic to you? Okay, well what I'm what I'm what's basic is <coughs> he said it he said it's basic, but you know a lot of things that's common sense, a Ain't lot of common. people don't that's got cool. right. I but I'm one of them niggas that's is basic. Okay. So, okay, but a lot of things that's common or, or basic, a lot of people don't have and a lot of people don't understand until you would experience those things, just like you said, right? Right, right. So, so, so where's your stance at? I, I just want to understand you saying that you don't need to read the Bible because you already have, that. Well, that's actually what you said, because you have experienced enough in life. So fact. any information that comes from the Bible, you already understand it off top or anything that's said to you okay. out of the watch Bible, this, this. you already Let's have go. an understanding of that, right? And that's okay. easy. So, all the way. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Let me, let me expand. Let me give you the full go point, ahead. right? Okay, so if that's the case, then you also shouldn't need to know no mathematics, right? You shouldn't because we we have that same experience, right? We got experience like, I mean, how, how is it different? Yes. You, you okay. wouldn't need to know uh, a lot of different subjects. Right, you wouldn't need to read any books if, if that's the case because you've already experienced all these things in life. Now, the Bible uh is giving you um all type of different aspects of life, it's not just giving you history, it's not just giving you spirituality, it's giving you all kinds there of things. There we go. Thank but, you. But Thank you claim you. that 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 you have uh like a a full experience to where any information that comes to you out of this book that all of these great people and you know, scientists and theologians and all of these people feel like they get information out of it. And like the brother said, he learned from it all the time. And I feel like every time I read it, I get a new piece, right? So how could you possibly say that you would need a, a, a something like that to, you see what I'm saying? Watch this. And, and the question I asked you, uh, so you can answer the full question. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take ahead. the mic too long, right? Also, how do you stand on any foundation based on your understanding? 
when we understand that your experience could be corrupted, right? So where's your foundation at if it don't come from a solid source? It, it just come from within yourself, which we know could go any kind of way at any time within any human being. Watch this. What's so you? So let me let me get ask one question at a time, so I can knock it out. Go ahead. First question. Go ahead. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So first question is that one. Yo, yo where, where, where's your where's your, uh, you you know me and you go through this all the time. Where your your foundation? You see what I'm saying? Okay. We, at least I stand on the foundation. I can't never defer. I can't never falter. I can't. You know what I'm saying? At least I got to stand on that. I, I, if you know what I mean? I can't go with how I feel today and then say that's right because that's how I feel. You see what I'm saying? Because I say this come from the inside of me, so my own experience. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that one. That <laughs> All right, so what I'm understanding that you're saying is... Where my <laughs> <laughs> you're saying hell shit. So you're saying, where's my foundation at? Yeah, what is your foundation? Like, what if, if you say that it come from yourself, it, it only comes from you because you are the Bible, Right. So okay. there's no exterior source. It only comes from within only. Okay. Right. So then, so, so then how do I know if I want to like, again, if I, so I follow the Bible because I feel like the Bible was a solid foundation. You feel like, so, go ahead. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like, so if I want to follow Lawan, how do I know Lawan is a solid foundation? You well, what I'm saying? Okay. 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 okay but, okay, but how can you follow yourself if I can't follow you? Okay. You let's do this. So that's, that's a great question. So watch this. But and, and answer the first question before that one, which which is what is your foundation? What do you stand on? How, how how do you how do you how, how do you back it up? Like you know what I'm saying? How, how how can you without saying I'm just right? I'm right, and what I every everything I say is right. And let me let me see let me it. Let me, let me it, it plays out. Let me do this. Let me do this. For one, there is no such thing as right and wrong. For one, <laughs> let me start off just saying that off back, mm -hmm. right? Everything is experience. So that means right is subject to change at any given time. There nice. is no, there, everything is subjective. Nothing is objective. That's one. Okay. Right? So the more that we learn, the more that we grow, the more that we expand, right? Would you say that God has a cap? That has a cap? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe As in like a max or like, like a, a limit. limit. Like a limit. Um, do I think he has a cap? No, I don't. Okay. So because we are in your, I'm going to put it in your text, because we are God's children, we ultimately don't have don't the have same gap. Uh, right? No, that's absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why do you say that? Why do you, why, why you come in, from that foundation? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me give you back in behind that. So how how many different instances do we know about right now? Can you tell me everything about the human life right now? Um, no, I can't. Thank you. So we have no cap. Right, Be because I'm not able to give you that. No, because you can, you Google can forever, it. you can Google forever be, you Google feel me, it. learning and growing. Ask anybody, it, the, the the smartest person who you think you know, ask them niggas what's the cap to human. Oh, uh, we ask for them. sure. Well, no, we for sure know there's. Um, I mean, in in a way, in I, I believe. Okay, to answer your question, I believe that you're right. Um, I believe that in That's the human okay, capacity. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I believe that in the human capacity, within a full human capacity of all human beings, we gonna continue to learn. If that in if that information Thank is passed, you. that's out. what I'm saying. But, that's we know that there's a, but we know that there's a cap to human beings. Why? Because we, yeah, we get to a cap and then we start forgetting shit. We start our brain go bad and everything else. So there's a definitely a cap to human beings. And because okay. we're made okay. by God, I'm gonna let it go right here. Because we made by God, don't give us the same everything as God. We not God, bro. Okay, so so God God creates us by design, right? <laughs> oh, is it is are we a design? Or does he? Are we created by are design? Are we the image of God? Yes or no? We are a image of Him. We are not the exact replica of God. That's, that's cool. Right. I, I'm gonna go with that. What does that mean to you? What that means to me is that we have His spirit. We have a certain spiritual likeness, and again, the capacity to for understanding. Okay. So, with that being stated, right there. So, if God, if if God is creating us in His unlimited image. You can you can get your definition of image and I can have mine. That's the rules. So my no, it's not the rules because we got to go by what the Bible saying. I and and, and I'm sure we have to go by what the Bible saying. That's Absolutely. your rules. Absolutely. That's your rules. No, no, no. Right. That's the rules. That's the, no, that's that's the rules. That's rule. That's what you follow. No, that's that's your rules. rules. Everybody <laughs> yeah. don't follow the Bible. Don't yeah, try but, to put me in your box. Yeah, but see, this is the rules. <laughs> <laughs> 
if I want to know, if I want to know about, if I want to know about, um, I am one. Who am I going to go to? I'm going to go to somebody who knows you. I got you, I got you. I'm dealing with Kareem real quick. See, Lawan, if you could give me another set of rules that can hold up and be as solid as the Bible has been over all of these. That's why we arguing about it now. If the Bible wasn't this solid, see, we not arguing about Santa Claus. We know it ain't, it ain't real, right? We arguing about the Bible. You see what I'm saying? And the Bible been solid for hundreds of thousands or however. Solid words. Can I say something, please? You said it was solid, but everybody don't read the Bible the same. Can I say something? The Bible is written in a parable. How do you precept but my, my a parable? Point was about you the foundation. My point was about the foundation. I can stand but, on but the you Bible. Can't, you, you can't cherry what pick you like say, that because we, we just said, we just got through discussing that the Bible is written in parable. You're going to get what you get from it. Exactly. I'm going to get what I get from it. Every You cannot precept. And that was my solid. question throughout this entire duration of this conversation. How do you precept a parable? When everybody's getting their own understanding, so, so my, question, exactly. my answer was different from the brother's answer. So I exactly. believe, oh, right? Exactly. We, we, because it's a same. parable. Well, no, let me tell you. When, when it's talking about parables, <laughs> I, I've been over this with Luan before. So when it's talking about parables, we can see when the Bible is talking about a parable. How? How? Because what, how are you precepting a parable? Because how, it gives what, us, what, what do you when the Bible gives us parables? In, in a lot of occasions, some occasions it tells us it's a parable. In other occasions, oh, the occasions. Go ahead. Okay. And in other occasions, uh, um, you lean on your own understanding. Say it. In in other occasions, <laughs> um, we know when parables are used <laughs> in the Bible because of how it's used. You see what I'm saying? Because of how the authors authors at the time. You but that's terrible, and that's terrible. how you perceive it, right? That's how you right, perceive it, right? Is it, is it, I have I mean, a question. Based on everybody's going to perceive it as a parable. No, this is based Kareem, on. Okay. Is it uh, is it literally saying in that? Is it saying like Kareem said, and this is a parable right. that Esau was white? <laughs> is it differentiating that? No, it's not. <laughs> is I got, it differentiating what? I, don't I got two questions for you. Is that question directed to I me? Love. Look, let me say something real quick, man. Well, just uh, real quick, Karan, because I, I want to build with everybody. And trust me, everybody, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on no negative hype. Let me say that real quick, because a lot of people are new to my energy and shit. Um, so a lot of times I play devil's advocate just to make sure that we know what we're talking about. But what was your second question, Kareem? So the first okay. question, um, I didn't really get answered. I didn't feel like I got an answer from you. Uh, so you're saying what's my foundation of what, what I believe, right? Exactly. And how and and I believe that any uh, and and like you say, well, let me answer the question, Kareem, so I won't forget. It. <laughs> well, okay, because okay, your foundation and also accountability. Remember, we talked about accountability. Okay. Right. Okay, so because what's going to happen is you're going to say it doesn't matter. Everybody's for everybody. Everybody can do what they do. Everybody can. You know what I'm saying? If 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 I'm looking if 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 I'm looking to better myself, right? right? If I'm looking to become a better human being, if be, uh, become a better person, uh, how do you know what that what's is? What's better? What's better? What? We don't know, right? Thank you. Go ahead. Exactly. We don't know, so that's why I have to have a foundation. That's why I have to go somewhere. So what's right? your what is that foundation? That don't never change, right? So what is yours? So like that's why I say about if somebody is looking at Lawan. Thank you. So, so, so I say you're, asking, is, you're answering my question for me without you even asking. Perfect. So if somebody is looking at Lawan, I'm, I'm asking you three questions. I want you to answer. Leave, <laughs> how are you? How do you hold yourself accountable, and how are you accountable to anybody? And we understand that in this life, you got to be accountable, right? Yeah. What is your foundation? I'm. I, it's easy. It's easy. Let me foundation real quick. Let me hold up. Let me let me just do that real quick. We are human beings. I'm gonna say that one more time. Human beings, right? So if you guys understand what a human being is, then that just means that we're just doing what we do. Right? Can you tell can you can, can you tell me where the word human being came from? Okay. Um, I don't know, but watch this. I do know that when I was born, 
I didn't have instructions on what I'm doing. Am I bugging? Right. Right, but you given instructions I, I, as you I, grow. I, I, what? Not. I got three grow. questions for you when y'all get through. I got I got three questions for you. Did, did, so know. when I came here, and I'm gonna ask you, and I'm gonna ask whoever, did I come with a book attached to my hip, out of my mom's womb, or whoever the first person was, and said, "Hey, you want to know what? This is what I'm supposed to do while I'm here." No, no you did not. No. Thank you. So and, human being, I don't need to know who created that word. I would don't. You, okay. That's would you fine. agree that if you don't learn, like, would you agree if you never pick up that book or, as that same infant? Would you believe that? Would you agree that you would stay in an ignorant state? Okay. Now watch this. What's ignorant? Ignorant is uh, not knowing. No, no, no. Ignorant is not knowing. <laughs> bliss. Right. Not knowing. Ignorance is bliss. Exactly. So if you don't know what you don't know. I got, so, I got some not, questions for you. Let me, let me, let me not, because I was joking when I said that. So when we say not knowing, right, and this goes back to the experience of not reading no book. Everybody can't read. We know this. Everybody cannot read. So what do we have to go to to grow from? Experience. What does EX mean? Let me, let me actually break it down for you. Listen. When you say the word, when you say the word experience, the word experience has the word what in it? In spirit. The most high has put it on your spirit to know right from wrong. You're right. Wait, wait, wait. You, you said what? You shouldn't what? have to have a. Hold on, go, go back. What'd you say? He said, I, said he put it on your word, spirit. I said the word in spirit experience has the word what? Hmm? In spirit, you said. Experience, you know, what do you get experience said, from? Child? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> confused on that one. Hold up. Experience comes from what? Trial and error, right? Okay, go ahead. Switch up. Does it yes or no? Does experience come from trial and error? Would you go ahead? We are no. experience comes from trial and error. Now, with your experience, like the brother was saying, with your experience, what is your foundation? Because okay. So the foundation, I mean, the foundation. I mean, what, yeah, what is your foundation of that experience that, that says that you know what now that you didn't collect it all this experience? Because because I'm 50, you. hold up, I'm 50 years old and I don't know it all. Every That's day, right. every day go. I'm learning something new. Every That's day, right. even though I've been reading this book since I was 10 years old, I can Here still open up this book and this and the most high will still reveal something new to me, even though. Right. I have read that scripture probably a hundred times, and I right. didn't see a key something in there. Why did and, you and, it? and, it, and it'll add more to my experience. So this, you know? this is my foundation for when I know if I'm going off, if I'm wrong. Okay. This this is this is what keeps me accountable, you know, to whether I know if I'm a good person in God's eyes. Because see, what I don't do is I don't mark my own report card. I don't do that because. People have a tendency of giving themselves all A's all the time. So you don't They'll judge yourself? Give themselves an F. You don't judge so, yourself? Is, can, I, this, can I say of something? Of I judge myself, and this is what I use to judge myself. If I'm going yeah. off, I know. Well, that's not you this judging yourself. That's not you judging yourself. Can, yeah. you can I say something? You can tell me can that I, I went say, off. Now, hold up, hold up. Now, in the world that you live in, when you go off, there's laws that's in this world, and, it's, and one of the laws that's on the books is, is that ignorance does not excuse you from the law. You can't go into this man's mm. courtroom and be like, I don't, I didn't know. Watch well, this, now man. you know. Right. And you're going to get that ticket. You're going to get that fine. You're going to get your ass locked up in jail, whatever. Because ignorance of the law doesn't excuse you of the law. Well, mm. the same thing goes here because the Most High has put the spirit on you to know right so from wrong. The wait, 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 wait. So you're saying the same because you just now compared two things. So you're saying that the law is no, we're not going to do that. But what, what, what we are going to do is is this real well, quick. Well, don't you know? Well, in your spirit, don't you know that you shouldn't kill somebody? Did can you I know? say something? No, I don't know that. Can I, can I, can I, can I, hey, if somebody pull up in my house and try to rob me and my family, they out of here straight right. up. And I, I'm not talking about. Listen, I didn't say. No, 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 what are we listen, talking about? I didn't say don't defend happen. yourself. I didn't don't say that, but we're talking about said, we're talking about said, the I act of killing. killing. Look, I'm just talking look, about killing. But okay, even you know what's wrong to kill. It. But even don't even you know what's wrong to kill, cap. right? 
even in all those oh, we things, can kill them. It's, it's, it is okay to kill them, right? It is okay to kill, right? Let me, okay, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm just asking so it, a question. Yeah, I was we asking all a know question. In our spirit, we know it in is our okay spirit to kill, right? No. Slow down, slow down. We all know in our spirit that murder is wrong. No, right. that's cap. That is cap. That's cap. Yeah, we know that's that. Cap. Cap. Don't, everybody don't know that. You yeah, you that's can't cap. say that. You cannot no, say that. you don't feel it. You ain't gonna feel it. That's cap. You gonna feel it whether you kill somebody for the right reason or the wrong reason. You gonna feel exactly. it. Exactly. God was killing okay. people. That so don't, that don't mean. What, what does right, that right, mean? Right. You got the spirit in you to kill, right? Am I bugging? Mm -hmm. No, nah, that don't mean that. Come no. on, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> you got the spirit in you to kill. If you kill somebody, do that mean that you got the spirit to kill, or you mean that all people? Got How the don't spirit you? To kill? I don't. Uh, why do, why do the kill. spirit? Like we're driven by the spirit in this body that controls the body. I don't have this. I don't have the spirit in me to kill somebody. I don't think that. My mind so is not thinking think about like freaking that. killing somebody. Like my That's mind cool. is not, my mind is not thinking about That's lying cool. to somebody. Wait, wait, my wait, mind is not thinking about cheating. Hello. Not, Hello? Not, my mind is not thinking like that. My mind is not thinking like that. So yeah, if you're if, put if, in a situation where you would have to lie or you would have to kill to either save your life or your family's life, you're not going to do it. Hello. We can hear you, uh, whoever's saying okay, hello. Cool. Y'all can hear me? Hey, yeah. Answer that hear. question, please. This is this is the thing. We we don't there when I say cap, I just mean there's a limit to the truth that you guys are talking about. Hey, right? man, well, how's that? How's that? So what I'm saying is, is that you're saying that killing is wrong, right? But there's a righteous kill, right? Yeah. Thank uh, you. I don't I don't, know. I, don't, I, don't I don't agree. Fresh. New Testament. The, point, hey, the point is, is that hey, man. if you say that this book teaches you how to be a right person, then Kill you're it. not going off of you being a right person for you. You're going off of uh, uh, someone, what somebody else said. Right. Right. Well, that's crap. That's crap. I want to hear what Laura said. I want to ask you And what is your definition? Of, what do you What do you get the standard of a right of a good person from? Who, me? What do you get hey, that from? Hey, no right or wrong, baby. Yeah, we still you never got to. It's all from self. Everything this stems from self. It's right. My experience. Experience. So I'm gonna determine what I see, how I experience it, how I feel when I experience it. And, and so you're accountable to nothing or no Wait, 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 wait. Because I wanted to answer, uh, I forgot whose question it was, as far as the foundation. Where is the foundation? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. That moment when I was a child and I touched the stove and that bitch was hot and I realized that it was hot, that added a brick to my foundation. Because now I understand something about heat, experience. right? And then I continue on doing that in life and now i have at this point 29 i have a solid foundation to have an understanding about the way things are moving i can understand the bible because of my own experiences that i've been through <laughs> and that i can relate to okay can i can i can i give you a scenario can i give you a scenario i just want to know because we went over this i think before so same scenario, you moving on self, you moving based on what you believe, what's in your heart, basically, only that, right? Mm -hmm. And now just let me give, like a lot of people do that. Y'all gotta understand that a lot of people do that, right? So Hitler was doing that, he did that for his country. You right. feel me? And he felt like he was doing the absolute right thing and, right. and all of that. Okay. So what make Hitler different from you, if that's the case? What make him, like, like, like say that's your route because your, your argument will probably be that, well, you know, Hitler wasn't doing the right thing because so he was, no, I'll tell you straight up like this. Say, had, or, 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 yeah. or, or you might say that Hitler was supposed to do that. So again, I'm not. That's what that's what I say. Where is the accountability? Let me let me sum can this can up. I say something let with that though? Real quick, Korean, okay. real, real quick, Lala, real quick. And I'm gonna sum it up after that. So I got three talking, questions after that. Because what you're doing is you're talking about different experiences from and somebody else. Right. Can I say so, something so really really quick, please? Because God uh, has no cap. Can't let y'all say that. It's where, my turn. God's image. All of these different things that's going on in life is what God wants to happen. This is why you guys believe they gave us free will to see what's going to happen. No, these things are these I'm things are. Can I, 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 I,
Hey, because of free right. will, though. Because and of it's my will. turn. Yeah, let, let, go ahead. Go ahead. And then we're going to let, we're gonna let Lala turn. go and then your heart go. Wait, wait. You got Appreciate that. Hey man, it's my turn, man. Can I, can I say something? That's why we're able to do what we're doing, and the reason right. that we're doing what we're doing is hey. just to see what the shit man, is. My phone this gonna is... die. Y'all ain't let me say go ahead, nothing. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. 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 You got it. You got to get a better yours. battery, y'all. Hey man, can y'all hear me? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Gotta get a better battery. Hey, man, so you would need to burn man? yourself then, based on your example. You would have to burn yourself to 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 to. Hey, are we all one thing? We're all. Hey, can I say something? Hey. <laughs> say, bro, can I say something, man? You gotta go ahead, bro. Can, you, can y'all hear me? Go ahead. Yes, yeah, man, Lauren, was you. you. All right, man. I felt like y'all couldn't hear me. Go ahead, right? Hey, man. All right, it's my turn, man. Okay, go ahead, huh? It's my turn. All right, cool. So take it out, man. All right. We was created in his image after his likeness. Now, mm -hmm. hold on, man. Can I come oh, into that while you're there, though? Because that's literally the same thing I want to say. Oh, right, literally the on, same man. thing that I want to say. And okay, God, <laughs> it's not your turn yet, sis. It's my turn. Man. I've been waiting this whole time, man. All right, Mike, I got you. I got All right, you. so take it out. He was created in his image after his likeness. We are God on this earth. We are God on this earth uh, to have a human experience. Uh, we were created in his image after his likeness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To have a human experience. Now, the instructions in the scriptures that was written to us and for us, Israelites, not for all people, but to Israelites. <laughs> Why? Because we are the light to the Gentiles, and we're supposed to teach them to the word. So hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> right, this is what it is. We're, somewhere, man. So yeah, man. We was created. We were God. We are gods on this earth, created to have a human experience. For mm -hmm. what? Okay. I gotta ask so if we want to live in a heavenly experience, number but peace and love, and what well, we all just want to get along. We want to live in a heavenly experience. We have to do the ordinances that the, that the Most High gave us. All he told us was to obey his voice. And his voice came out the mouth of the prophets. So those were the people who wrote the word. They wrote it. Yes, man. Do their experience. Go. Do we not experience everything in the word when we do and then when we don't? Because when we do, we live in that <laughs> heavenly experience. When we don't, that's when we live in that hellish experience. We are living in them hellish experiences because we are not doing what we are created to do. We There is no such thing as free will. But your enemies gave you free will. And you listen, observe, and do everything your enemies has taught you to do, which is his fucking religion. Sorry, I don't mean to curse. Oh, no, we good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So, yes, we are created to have experiences. And mm -hmm. yes, well, I don't know your experiences and you don't know mine. Why? Because we are not walking together as one, on one accord. This is what your enemies fear. They don't want us walking together on one accord. Who's keep keeping doing what we are supposed to be doing, having a heavenly experience on earth as men and women, having sex and creating. So let's just do that. Now, there's instructions in the scriptures. When you say precept upon precept, it means command upon command. You understand what I'm saying? And these parables, we speak parables so that people cannot understand what we're saying unless you're intelligent. That's the esoteric knowledge. So your foundation is the Bible? My foundation is the Bible What is written upon my DNA. It came yeah. from inside me. So do you need the Bible? Thank you. Do you need oh, the Bible? Do you need oh, the Bible so as a foundation? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike. Sorry, you, I didn't mean to get loud, but I Mike, felt like I needed full attention. Well, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Hey, do you, Mike, do hey, you need the Bible? Mate. Mike, do you need the Bible to, to, to understand life? We need a Bible so that we can be reminded of what's written upon us inside. Because oh, I was quoting scriptures before I even came into the Bible. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll I didn't even know. But when I get when I when I'm reading in there the parables, they line up with what's inside me, which gives mm -hmm. me the understanding. Just mm -hmm. so, 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 so my use, so my dad, use, what do you hey, say? My guy hey, am. That's my why I am. Am. Hey, so you use the Bible as confirmation from That's your right. experiences through life. Why? Because we lived here before. Come on, We've been man. on the surface. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Our spirit is something I, that God. cannot be put to death. It hey, goes on and on, on it. It's, it it's, it's eternal. It lives forever. Hey, but hey, our bodies die. So death is nothing but a damn illusion. Because we live forever. But are we going to live forever in a heavenly experience? Are we going to live forever in a hellish experience? Where are we going to go when we die? It all determines how we experience life on earth. Huh. That's why we tell the niggas I'm an Israelite for real. Hey, for real, for real. That's why we tell hey, I'm, um, I'm an Israelite for real. So, you are an Israelite. Thank you. you are a prince of the power because the power resides within you. So <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. That's right. right. So that way, all other nations, because all the nations are going to see the most high sanctified in you, and they are going to bow down and lick the dust above your feet. And if they want to, hey, we here for it. I got my feet out. You know what I'm saying? Just Everything my brother Karam is teaching is correct. You all y'all can't come together and listen because y'all don't understand each other. <laughs> Everything y'all say to, is lines up. What you say won't is correct. What, what my brother Karam is saying is That's correct. That's a mm -hmm. fact. That's what I'm it's saying. I'm only, I'm only playing. I'm only playing devil's advocate for I anybody know. who understand what I'm saying. So I'm only playing devil's look, advocate. Hey, let, let, I, think let me, Mike, let me, I think Mike in the I am club, man. We got people. Yeah, in the chat. yeah that's what I, I, I am. Man, I am. I am he that exists. I am hey, he that's saving me. <laughs> so, so, uh, me. We gotta hey, come together in unity and love and on one accord. Hey, we're, so, we're our power. And keep his word, keep his commands that he gave to us, so that we could be the light to the Gentiles. Show them how to live on this earth and walk below us. And trust me, they're gonna rejoice doing it. They're gonna love serving us. See? And that's what we gotta we'll prepare them to be for. Because if not, bye bye. Because none of us, a lot of us, ain't gonna make it. You think we gods on this earth right now? No, we not. We not doing the will that of our Father told us what to do. <laughs> That's how we live on earth, having a heavenly experience. But when I disobey my father, there's consequences to that. So therefore, I'm living in a hellish earth, having a hellish experience. Experience. If I don't want to be in that experience, well, then he Change gave me instructions it. on how to uh, to live in a more heavenly experience. That's you know what I'm saying? Fact. This book of the law shall not depart out thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night to observe and to do all, all that is according that is written therein. Where is it written at? Within you. Woo! All One that is according time. that is written therein. Then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous and have good success. Just build you inside. Stop building everybody's out. Building everybody else's kingdom. We got to build our own kingdom. We got to come together in unity and love and build what's inside us. Out of the heavens. Because they're within you. You are, you are the temple. You are the house. You are the earth. You are the heavens. <laughs> you understand? I understand. I, I just want to add to that. Your basic heart, instructions, heart, my brother, heart, heart. To, to that's going to remind you how to do that. It's going to show you, well, damn, this is what my ancestors went through. Damn, I'm going through the same thing, if not worse. Because we're <laughs> not learning. Hey, hey, Mike, you got it. You got it. See, I was, I was trying to say what you say, but you got like the bane popping out of your... I can't make the bane pop out. Because uh, <laughs> you got right. your head on, man. You got your head on. We got to come together and stop bickering with one another over who knows what and answer the questions and stuff like that. Cut that nonsense out and we got to come together and take back what belongs to us. This planet and everything on it. The nations and everything they own. Because we created this thing. That's a fact. So let's be the God that we were created to be in love on one another and fear our power that resides with us and keep the commandments what is already written upon your DNA. And it's a fact. Like nothing out there out. that's not inside you. Period. Bring it out. Can, right, can, can, can we go and get a script real fast, please? Wait, didn't Lala want to go? We, we had a little order going on. Lala was going to okay. go, and then Yahar had three questions. 
I want to make yeah. sure. I literally was, was going to say the same thing that Mike said. I just didn't have the passion that he he went full oh. DMX on us. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to, you know, just reiterate that same thing, but coming straight out of the Bible because it does say, um, um, hold on. God created man in his own image, in the image of God create in the image of God created he, male and female. I'm probably chopping this up, you guys. I'm tired. I'm so sorry. Um, but then he said, God said unto them, be fruitful. Be to be is to exist. So I know when somebody asked, I think it was wound, they said, like, how what is your foundation? It is literally being to exist. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. But Mike came in there and murdered that. So <laughs> experience. All the all the EX is up. <laughs> so let's live yeah. heavenly, man. Let's live in a heavenly experience. Who now turned it? We're commanded to love one another. It's on your heart. It's on your heart. All right. All right. Love is the truth. It's my brother. Go ahead, my brother. Back to the found, back to the foundation and the brother uh, Farai. Uh, was that how you pronounce the name? Uh, yeah, Farai. Farai. What he was bringing on, he was asking questions. It made me think of to ask the question a little bit more deeper. And I just want to ask you, um, the I am's and yeah. also laura let me ask you this here this is the first question don't exclude her she i am like a motherfucker up gang go ahead <laughs> okay <laughs> is uh is the truth to you a matter of individual opinion is the truth to you a, a matter of individual opinion let me let me answer that question first okay <clears throat> everything is the truth mm -hmm. or nothing is the truth so however you want to yeah. take that then you know, then I then we can pass that mic around. Go ahead. Right. So yeah, man. As far as what you just said, you know, what I'm saying everything is the truth. There's truth in everything, right? Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying because all this truth, everything, all their lives are built on foundations of truth. You know what I'm saying you got truth in Christianity, you got truth in Catholicism, you got truth in all these religions, but they're very, very, very tiny and small. And some of the religions are a little bit bigger than the others, but they're all very small because they're just foundations to hold up the pillars of their lies. Yeah, I agree. You know I agree with you on that. Um, and that is that is out there. But I was just wondering, like a lot of people say, well, what's true to me is what I individual my opinion of what mm -hmm. is true to me. That's what's true to me. Mm -hmm. Even in, in appreciation of what you just said. So that was the first question. The second one is, um, would you say that knowledge comes? through general abstract ideas called concepts such as hardness and brightness or something of that nature? Would you I'm say gonna... that knowledge comes through general abstract ideas called concepts? I would say, me personally, I would say knowledge comes from experience. Man, that's me what personally, I was just, about to just from experience. That, yeah. okay. But I have to say something too. We call God call on God. Well, what is God in the Hebrew? It's either El Elohim. What is that translated in English? Power and powers, right? So what is power and powers? Well, pow the power is when you're dealing with the most high, the power is knowledge, wisdom, understanding to get an understanding of all mm -hmm. creation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's the highest knowledge of wisdom, understanding of everything that's been created, you, me, and everything that we've seen. Yeah, you know I got saying? you. And we was a part of that creation, because we are the we are the children of the stars, the children of the heavens. We are children of the sun. You know what I'm saying? We are children of the Most High. Okay? I'm with you. I still, I still we, we are we are we are uh, extraterrestrial beings. We don't come from this earth. Our spirits come from the heavens. The Most High Spirit, the he the Most High. You know what I'm saying there's lower spirits like he mm -hmm. like he said in first Kings 22 and 19. There's on the right and there's on the left. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying we either gonna be on the right side or we're gonna be on the left side. America got us all on the left side. That's why we write from <laughs> left to right. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do everything. You know what I'm saying? But we're supposed to be on the right. Our 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 true language is Hebrew. That's why we call us Hebrew Israelites, because Israelite was our nationality, because we are the seed of our fathers, yeah. which our father was Israel, which first was named Jacob or Jacob, you know what I'm saying, whose later name came Israel, Yasha Allah, which means prince of the power, or prince has thou power with Yah. Uh, and with man. Right. That's right. Now, here's the here's other question here, is that, um, would you say that that living 
according to reason is your happiness and that everything else is unimportant? Oh, self, hey, because I asked one, I Laura asked one self, you want to take that one? <coughs> Are you saying? I believe that living according to my own reasons. Exactly, is happiness and that everything happiness. else is unimportant. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm doing what I'm what I'm choosing to do. I don't think there's unimportance, though. I think everything is of equal importance. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think unimportance is a is a thing in you know in that in that part of the question. Yeah, but it was even yeah. the things that are like considered unimportant equally play an important role to be right. unimportant. Got Does that make sense? What I say? Oh, yeah, it makes perfect sense. I was just wondering, like for for your happiness and how your happiness is determined that the things that that you know affect that that's important everything else is not important to your happen happiness even though it may be important to someone else and their that's happiness right. but as far right. as yours it, mm -hmm. you know that's gotcha. part yeah, that's why i said it, whatever you choose to do yeah even even unhappiness is a exactly is a, is a mm -hmm. formula to to create your happiness mm -hmm. right um it, like, <laughs> let, me, let me say you this believe? real quick man this 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 experience right this this what we call life and and why we have so many and i know somebody put experiment and i had a question to say for people like you know you got experience and you got experiment and you got all these ex things right ex means just to exit to get up out of your system or to you know so when we talk about the ex um it's to gain data all these dates that we have, D-A-T-E, is really data. Just like you said that the Bible is the historic event. All, the, all of these dates is data to collect information. But for what, though? Just to know it? No. It's for confirmation, right? right? So when we get all of this experience, all of this experience is for confirmation of what we are. So to answer Kareem's question more bluntly or more directly, my foundation would be based upon information, participation, and observation for confirmation. That's the foundation, right? Okay. So experience, your experience is your is your confirmation. That's a experience is is your foundation. Foundation, right? Because right. So when we your talk, existence, your existence in itself. Because ex I just this. want to clarify. Let me, let me take a step your further. Your existence itself involves experience, right? The creation would be the foundation. Man, but the creation, the, the creation is based upon information, participate. I'm sorry, um, creation is information, observation, and participation for confirmation. That's what the purpose of creation is, right? So when we right. look at it like so when we look at it like that, now we're not just talking about when well, we were just created just to serve, yada yada yada. When we talk about serving God, we're talking about doing a service to God. Can I ask you a question? Definitely. Go ahead. All right. Within that, within that participation in that, uh, in, in, would, would you say that, uh, like we, that there's a general confirmation that, uh, we get right. Um, as in, do you think that it changes from person to person? Like, as in, I think, fact. I think generally like, uh, self-made said, if you, if, you know, if you put your hand on the stove, then that's a very basic, you know, um, um, example I'm giving, but if you put your hand on the stove, you know, you're going to get burnt and then you That's learn right. how to put your hand on the stove. I think generally, whether it's that simple of a concept, we're talking about like putting your hand on the stove or I think that happens across the board on spiritual levels and on actual physical levels. Right. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. OK. So, or do you think that that is. So do you think that the people have their, own, people have their I, own experience? I know. I know. I know. I understand that people have their own experience. Right. But out of that experience, it's still like a general law of things, right? So like, 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 you're That's not gonna right. put your hand on that thing and get burnt and be like, damn, I probably need to put my hand on there again. You probably <laughs> like, it's a, gen <laughs> it's a general law, like, I don't gotta do that, right? Like, so, so that's you, probably not a good idea. So I feel like, okay, I feel like that's across the board. Let me give you an example, like for, like, like we were talking about murder, uh, that was brought up earlier. I think generally across the board, we get confirmation that that's probably not a good thing. You, you kill somebody, the police looking for you, somebody family looking for you, 
you know, life start, you can't get your money, you know, all kind of stuff start going crazy, right? Just in general, right? So we get confirmation that, you know, I probably got to stay away from that, right? So um, I think that that's across the board. So with that being said, um, I I I I, I kind of just want to like kind of give y'all like a little summary to it. What I was I've been, I've been waiting to kind of give it to you. you feel oh me? yeah, no, go ahead. Um, you you know I, I I my problem with the whole and I don't have a problem with it, but that's why I just say that's why I stand on the Bible. You know what I mean? That's why I love the Bible because it does give me confirmation <laughs> of uh, of my experiences. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then as uh, and, and then I what also the confirmation that I get just from being alive is that I have to be accountable, not only to myself, but to others around me, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, so who, who is God? God is the creator of all things, right? Okay. Um, he already knows everything that already happened. So he's already confirmed all of these things for us. All of these things he told us not to do and what we shouldn't do. And like, he, it's already been confirmed. So just like the baby who put his hand on the fire, he didn't have to put his hand on that fire because all things that's already happened on this earth has already been done, right? And, and God has all of these experiences already. So you don't need to necessarily, well, why do we have to have a war when we had wars a long time ago? We already know war is bad. We don't have to have that new experience. You see what I'm saying? So um, my thing is that, you know, again, if we're accountable, we're also accountable to those who look at us, no matter what. We can't walk, in my opinion, we can't walk around this earth and not just be accountable to anyone or nothing. So if we're was, accountable to anything, right? I'm, I was I'm gonna say that real quick. What's, what's, can you really be accountable for somebody else's actions? No, you can only be accountable for your actions. Then okay, that's what I was ahead. talking about. So okay, if, if, so if you're accountable for your actions, right? Then you have to understand that the things that you do, because what it sounds like that y'all preaching is that because we have because we exist we are allowed to do all things because all things are part of existence which is true but it's not true right because even though you all have the free will to do anything that you can want to do god also said these things ain't gonna be good for you you see what Watch i'm saying it. and we know that way. we don't have to do these things because they've already been experienced and he's already told us not to do them and we know the confirmation that we've already got out of all of these things. Okay. Wait, can I, two, two, two questions to that. Two questions to that. <laughs> exist. Now, now I want you to follow me because I already said it earlier. When I say that the, the prefix EX means to get out of your system, right? So when you say existence, that means that we're constantly getting shit out of our uh out of our um out of our system to experience the existence, right? So when you say when you say God has already done this, does God have a cap? That's what I'm trying to ask you earlier. I tried to say that. Like, uh, I, I answered that question already. I said, no, God doesn't have a cap. And I already told you that we not like God. We're not God. We, we only have. We so have even, no, no, no. Even though, even though we're not God, when you say when you say that God has no cap, but he's creating, then that means that his creation is still going to keep going. The, 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 the experiences are going to happen. So even though. I may Correct. knock a nigga nap, knock a nigga down on 29th Street. You may knock a nigga down on 29th Street, but our different experiences give us different data. Just like mm -hmm. I said, these dates equates data. So all of this data is trying to get information for the confirmation for the creation. So, 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 but again, and that's where it gets dangerous at. And I'm gonna leave it alone because I, because we just gonna go back and forth. But again, that's where it gets dangerous at because that's where the accountability lacks right there because. Then you say, okay, so it's okay to do whatever that you want to do because that's just more data. Watch this, the, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Wait, wait, hey, I'm gonna lose, I'm a, real quick, I'm gonna lose a lot of people when I say when this. The, when the creator oh, wait, 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 already real quick, real quick, told real quick, us. I'm, I'm so sorry, I apologize. <laughs> when I say this, I'm gonna lose a lot of people. When you gonna have time to do that? Right. God does not know everything that's going to happen. Listen, 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 real quick. It's everything. Listen. You just now said God has no cap, right? So yeah. the experiences that we have. So yeah. when you say when you say that, okay, well this shit is about to happen. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Mathematic, and I asked you this earlier. Are we talking about mathematical or we talk about omnipresent? That's absolutely fine. If you already have a predestined, then there's no need to have this experience. It's already done. It's already calculated. Why do we need to do this? But we need to do this because this is all in the mind first. 
Lord. And in the beginning, the word was for God. God was a word, and then there was a physical creation after mm-hmm. the thought. But but I don't stand on I don't I don't I don't stand on that standpoint that uh, a predestiny though. Wait, so now we have to put this into a physical matter. We have to make this shit matter. It's just not thought anymore. We now mm-hmm. have to put this into a mathematical, physical situation. So, so this so, is where creation comes from. So, so you, now, so now so we're you, looking at, go ahead. So you saying so that would be saying that the God that has no cap and is it because because what God would be is every experience really in, in everything. one, right? right. Everything. So 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 there is no experience that you can't have that's outside of God. You see what I'm saying? So it's so so he is so he is all experience. So 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 just because it, just because you experience new things, you can't put him in a box and say that God is. You, you see what I'm saying? That uh, that God is still experiencing things, or that he doesn't know all of these things. God is is, is the God, beginning and the end. So you, to you is God physical? In in a way. What do you mean? In a way? In a way. Yeah. I mean, in I'm, in a way? I mean, like, I mean, like, I open my eyes, I see God. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. So when you open your eyes, you see God, right? Yeah, when I when I when I look at this world, I, I see I see uh aspects of God. Absolutely. Okay. Does the world stay stagnant, or is the world ever evolving? Hey, man. We it's, it's evolving. Hey, we, we already been, we already so, been over that. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So when we talk about when we talk when I say. And I'm not saying when we talk about it, but when I say God does not know what God is, this is what we are. This is what yeah, this man. Is, we are God in the physical, right? That's right. So when it comes down, when, so when it comes down to people thinking, oh, well, God already knows. No, God doesn't know. This is a uh, the trial and tribulation, mm-hmm. right? right? So when we talk about Genesis, when we talk about all of these different stories. So you saying God is an unknowing God? I'm not. Listen, Hold on, man. Listen to what I'm saying. When we talk about, and this is this is my disclaimer earlier. When we talk about on a mathematical level, right? <laughs> let me let me give you the story of Job real quick. There's two. There's there's a wrestle, and I can go to so many different stories of the Bible. When they're when we're talking about the story of Job, the good the good part of God says. Hey, nigga, I got this. I got this follower that's gonna follow me to whenever, whatever. Then the devil comes in and he's like, nigga, I don't know what the fuck you think you're talking about, but it's not popping. So this is this is a this. They, they, were they not in a meeting? They were in a meeting, right? They were at a council, right? Yep. Meeting of the minds. Listen to what I'm saying. No. Wait, 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 wait before you discredit me. Listen, they were at the meeting of the minds, right? So now this is may happen. This may happen. Nigga, Hawaii may be popping, Hawaii not may be popping. Guess what we got to do? We have to go to Hawaii. We have to physically have a Hawaii experience in order to see if Hawaii is popping or not. This is the story of Job. So now Job Job has to go through all of this shit because now this is just, okay, it can go this way, it can go that way. Who is God for real? But you got to understand, you got to truly understand what you read and and understand the story of Job and understand why God did that to Job. If if you don't, and I'm not not trying to discredit you, but where I'm I'm at with my level of understanding of- Okay, well, let me give give you a ball. Wait, 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 let me take it to the basics. Thoughts come before actions. Thoughts come before physical, tangible things. Mm-hmm. You you think about something before yeah. it physically happens. Nice. So this is my point. So when when you say that God already knows mathematically, He can say whatever the fuck you want to say. But then the creation comes and it shows you what it is. So because God does not want to be biased and say, "Nigga, I know it all. Let me let this shit happen. And see how it plays out. Free will. Let me let this shit happen. I'm gonna let y'all niggas do this shit." Look, the thing with Job, right? Uh, so God already knew the devil was finna come to him. He already knew exactly what Job was finna do. The the reason why he let Job go through that, he already told the devil. He said, he said, he said, he said, Job is, you know what I'm saying? He's pretty good. He is a pretty good dude. You know what I'm saying? So then the, the, the devil accused him. And he said, okay, well, let's see. You feel me? And let's then Job. Okay. And, and then so uh, let, let's let's go back. Again, when you're talking about God. And you're talking about like evil and good. You got to understand what evil and good is. And first God of all, evil. 
Right. Evil is uh, going against the word of God. We already been over that. Okay, so okay, it's going that's not what it's saying. Wait, 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 Real quick, can I just be your boy? Go ahead, go ahead, do your ducky. Just go real ahead. quick. Okay, then you got to understand what we're talking about. We say evil and good. God is good. You got to understand what that means when, when I say God is, he is the definition of good. The way that you use that's good is not what the actual definition of when we talk talking about God and spiritual good. He is good. That's There's nothing outside of good that he is capable of doing. You understand that? So okay, that's, that's a fact. I agree. Go ahead. Right. And you can't put him on. Oh God. Oh oh oh. Uh, he allowed somebody to happen. Some some this happened when you don't know the plan. You, you don't know how this affect the bigger Thank scale. You you making my point for me? Go ahead. Keep talking. Okay. okay so um, if, if if that's the case, right? I mean, you could take it from there. So what you say. That God is I mean, good I all, the time, said all the time. God is good. And my last topic, I said God hates nothing. The I one of the last times I was on this thing, I said God hates nothing. Meaning that God is good all the time. All the time, <laughs> God is good. So even the negative energy is good. It's good. It's, so when you say that we don't good. have to have a certain amount of account, uh, accountability, this is what we're saying when, when you think that we're saying, well, we can just do whatever. Everything is good because we are God. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So this experience is for the good. Right. This is this is the understanding, right? You cannot have an understanding without two things. I asked whoever earlier, I said, well, what, somebody said, well, well, why is there seven? Seven equals the highest. Seven is like nine, which is like three, right? Which is like five. You got, you got, okay, what's on the side, what's on the side, and then what's in the middle. All this shit has to transpire in order for you to understand what it is. So, so let me ask the question. So you, do you already know, you know what it means to be, you know what it means. Let's, let's use a, you know, way out, trend, uh, you know, let's say crack, right? You you know what it was going to happen to you if you start doing crack, right? It's all good. Why would okay. you smoke crack? Right. Why would you smoke crack? Exactly. So if it's so, so we know how many addicts there is though. That's at fact. the same time, and, and they do it every day. So, so you would be saying that they already know the outcome of it. They already know what's going to happen. But you saying that this is for they they're doing this for you. See what I'm saying? Like, why would you put your hand back on that stove when it keep on burning you? That don't make sense. It don't. It don't make sense. Okay, so before. so we're talking about we're talking about you individual experiences, right? Do you believe in free will? Yes or no? Yeah. If you believe in free will, that's your answer. But let me go, let me, let me not cap it like that. So when we talk about when we talk about why people do what they do, again, every date is data, right? So in each individual experience, everybody doesn't experience crack the same way, right? Mm -hmm. So now when we get to saying, okay, well, why are you doing crack? A nigga could tell you, hey, I'm just trying to get away from my wife. That bitch be tripping. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Another person could say, hey, I just like to leave Earth. Fuck Earth, nigga. I'm the fuck up out of here. Anytime I get a chance. So each individual, like. But you still know what's going to get you, though. But wait, wait, wait. That's my point. Every, wait, everything, everything that's here is here. God is good all the time. And God, all the time. God is good. So everything that's here is by design. There's nothing that's not here that we're not supposed to experience. Right. So if you believe that God is good as all the time, then there's nothing else to, to, to okay. talk about. But I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe the, the your definition of it. I believe that God is good all the time, but I, I believe that He does hate things, and He says that He. Hates <laughs> okay, that's that's, that's that absolutely already. fine. That's that's right. fine for 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 where you're at when it comes down to a belief. But again, just like I said earlier, we're talking about a balance of things. Hate. There's no balance though. There is no balance, and that's so where you, that's where hate? your foundation is off. So hate means hate. You but but I, oh, no, wait, I wait, wait. So do hate mean hate? Hate, just hate, hate mean hate, hate. Means no love hate means the absence of love probably so something like that I don't, I don't know the actual definition but it probably means something like that it sounds I'm, like I'm, hold on wait 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 so you saying that god is is the almighty powerful being and loves all you think what so what what is i don't god think that he love all though okay so is god creator of all yes or no yeah okay so when it comes down to 
the the reason why would God hate anything that He created and, and gave free will? Uh, the same reason when I was telling you, like if you if you if you create something and then uh, what you created is not functioning properly. Um, well, like no, if, no, if, no, 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 no. Free that will. You said free will. Free will allows you to. Free will allows you Thank to you. not function properly. Well, then that's not function. properly. Brother, can I get you? Can free, free will, will is a proper function. That's it's free will. will. It's the capacity that he gave you. He gave it to you. Understand in the capacity to have uh, like a, a, a thought, right? He gave now, it to you. Now that thought within you can turn. And, and on God, who is your creator, and make you feel like you above God, make you feel like you are God, make you feel like you don't have to listen to God, obey That's him. That's by design. That's all by design. So for what? For what purpose? For what purpose? For what and purpose? Yourself, Real quick, answer that question. For what purpose? What do you mean for what purpose? Why, Why would God give you those that? attributes? For what purpose? Bro, Ox, Ox, Salakia, let me let the scripts answer your questions, please. You I go, just save him. You go, yeah. you see this nigga in the mud. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right. No, I'm perfect. I'm, I feel hell. I'm, yeah. I'm saying, for what purpose, though? Why would God, <laughs> okay, why would God give you those attributes? For what? He let's gave go. us those attributes because he gave us direction and instruction. And so, because of the free that's will. That's not, no, 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 no. That's no, absolutely no, no, right. No, no. So, because of the free will, he say, okay, who going to follow the free will? Okay. Brothers, brothers can we go to. Are we, we get, so, are we, we saying that, that God is a setup? Oh, no, wait, wait. Are we saying that God is a setup artist? <laughs> we say that we saying that God is good. You saying he's all good. the time. Let's go exactly. Right. Thank good. you so all the time. The way that so you free will is good. Look, let me, let me look, boom. you gotta remember this. You cannot put God the creator on the human scale, go ahead. And you cannot judge him, right? You cannot on the try scale, to, go ahead. Right. So you can't judge him. Okay. okay let's but let's you, get a, let's get a precept. Let's get Ecclesiasticus. All right, Karam, don't 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 have me do you. I, 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 I was chilling the whole show. I'm up right now. We don't just keep everything in decency and in order. That's all yeah, we gonna do. Everything gonna... is in order, even when that's I'm turned up. Let's go. And I just want to precept off of everything that you guys are saying. You know, let's let the scriptures talk. You know, let's let the precepts talk. So let's go, go to let's go to Ecclesiasticus in in the apocrypha, and let's go to Ecclesiasticus seven and twenty nine. And um, is it literal or is it metaphysical? You're gonna read it for yourself, sir, and you're gonna oh make God. you're gonna make Wait, that what? determination. You're gonna make oh. that determination after what you read it. What is that? What is that? Gonna it, we're gonna read it as a class. Come on, let's Here read it as go. a class. Can I have the scripture again? I'm sorry. Yes, I would like to read, the, read the script. This is gonna be Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. We're going to Ecclesiasticus 7 and 29, please. And please read that for the class. So this is not in the Holy Bible? This is this is part this of the Holy Apocrypha. Bible. This is the Apocrypha. Do you have your Apocrypha? No. You don't have a red Apocrypha? Get yourself Apocrypha, Apocrypha. but it's, it's not E-R. It's with an A at the end. Let's, let's make that real clear. Well, maybe this mic ain't picking me up right. This is a <laughs> no, I see the <laughs> English class. <laughs> this this means English class. Class. <laughs> the word Apocrypha right here means hidden. Hidden. That's what that means, okay? Exactly. This is Apocrypha, authorized by King James. When you open up the first page, it says right here, the Apocrypha. Translated out of the original tongues. What was the original tongue? Hebrew. And with the former translations diligently compared and reserved by his majesty's special command. What does it say right here? That. What does it say right here? It says appointed to be read in the churches. Now you need to be asking yourself why ain't they reading this in the churches? But we ain't gonna go there. So sis, can you please go to Ecclesiasticus 7 and 29? And please read that out of the. I don't have that book. Yahar, can you read it? Yeah, I can read I, it. I, I don't. I don't. I just don't have the book, and I want it to be in the actual context. Thank you, sir. Please read that. It's Ecclesiasticus chapter seven, oh, verse twenty-nine it. from the Apocrypha. <laughs> That's for woo. And it says in twenty-nine, <laughs> it says, "Fear the Lord with all thy soul." Wait, 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 wait. Never. That is, hold up, hold up, sir. This is Ecclesiastics. Wait, hold up. Uh, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, right? 7 and 29? 7 and 29, that's what he said. No, 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 go to Ecclesiasticus. 
Is this Ecclesiastes 7 and 29? Yeah, Ecclesiastes. In the Apocrypha, right? No, no, no. In the Bible. Ecclesiastes. I'm sorry. Salakia. Ecclesiastes. Yeah, there's yes. Ecclesiasticus and there's Ecclesiastes with the ES at the end. Exactly. And it I know this because I'm the Bible. <laughs> People talk about shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ecclesiastes is 7 and 29 reads lo this only have I found that Elohim our God has made man upright but they have sought out many inventions exactly see the most high has made you upright from the start but see with your own leaning to your own understanding you have made up inventions and you've made up excuses and you've made up all kinds of things to go your own way you've even made up this free will thing you know and we from the start we have said what has free will got humanity into exactly where we're at now following free will oh really? wait 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 so when they say inventions is that not introducing something that's new no that's introducing you. your that's introducing your own personal inventions out of your own mind. You're inventing exactly. things. Exactly. So, so yeah, what, you're so, inventing, but so but those things the, but those things that you're that? inventing. Remember, those things that you are inventing are against God's ways. Wait, 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 wait. Because but, He wait. made you upright. So, so what's can an invention? We, can we can we invent something that God don't know about? What are you talking about? What, I'm saying can we invent about? something that God don't know about? Straight question. No, because he knows all your inventions. Like I read to you. Okay, in, so we didn't invent right. anything. We yes, experienced those things. You're, you're inventing these Come excuses. Oh, man, stop Free it. Will. Free will no, is no, no, your no. invention. I asked you a specific question. Can we invent anything that God don't know about? Yes or no? Nope. No. He knows that, that's that right. means we did not invent it. That actually means that we experienced it. Come on, man. We ain't going to do that. What do you mean you experienced it? It's because we and were created. We cannot invent anything outside of God. God already knew about it. So like that for, means like, we did not like invent brother, it. Right. Like, so, Ferrari, like right. Ferrari told you. Hit. The Bible has all, we have already went no, through. Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. No, Ferrari, no, Ferrari. I'm about, sorry, brother. Right? I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I may be too turned up. I'm listen, sorry. Listen, listen. When Go I was ahead. going with, and I pre, what I'm about to say ties in with what uh, Brother Karam just brought out Zaquan is dealing with those questions that I asked um, because the root of those ideas are philosophies of the, the things I questioned you all about or asked your you know how you felt about as far as um, the concept of being happy uh, individuals um, <laughs> having knowledge and also um, what was I, I can't remember the last one I went over but anyway those all come from philosophers from the Greek era. Those are Greek philosophers and, and people not only here, but throughout the entire <laughs> world, whether it's flat or round, they believe that, you know, a lot of these things we have, the, they, they follow these philosophies. <coughs> we follow it. We go to these colleges and we learn these um, Greek philosophies through fraternities and sororities that we serve. They all teach this. And so, that's why I bought them out. And it's also mentioned in the book of Acts that shows because some of the ones that I was mentioning that I asked you all about, they come from Plato, Socrates, they come also oh, from John. the Epicureans <laughs> and also the skeptics and the Stoics. Those were all the ones that when I asked the questions, those were their thinking that is part of what they call the Greek philosophy. So, and we see in the book of Acts chapter 17, it was those those same <laughs> philosophers were talked about. And I'm in the book of Acts 17. I'm just going to read this one scripture, verse 18. And they're being critical of, of Paul and other ones that were spreading um, information about the scriptures and about Christ and about the resurrection that was talked about, right? And this is what it says in verse 18. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans, I was just reading, out of the Epicureans. I was reading out of the world book, but I see my source. This is an old book that I used to read before we had internet when I was a kid. We got our knowledge. This was this is our Google when I was a kid, right? Um, and of the Stoics. We just read about the Stoics in here. And they encountered him, and some said, what will this babbler say? So they was calling the ones talking about the scriptures in the Bible and speaking about Christ, they were calling them babblers, right? 
it, it um, other some, he seemed to be a, a setter forth of strange gods because he preached unto them um, Christ and the resurrection. So the reason why I thought that I was just trying to see and wonder if the foundation of um, I am, I'm not sure what you want to call it, but when we go to the I Ferrari, when he was asking that question, I was wondering, well, I wonder if their foundation is somewhat rooted in in in, in Greek philosophies. Watch this. So that's Watch why this. I asked those that's, questions. Hey, that's, that question Let me answer so that. Cool. Go ahead, so oh, I got one for that one up. Go ahead. Um, hold up, um, um, Yahar, can you please hold on deck? Um, Isaiah, Isaiah 55 and 8, and go ahead and finish yours. And then after that, Yahar, I want you to read that script. Go ahead, beautiful, sir. Beautiful question. Um, I'm going to go back to what uh, Karam said earlier as far as when he was reading the scripture about um, the angels or you know, whatever you want to call them, sitting on the right side and mm -hmm. the devil sitting on the left side in heaven. That's Elohim. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. right. And we was like, oh, it's like, yep, yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was giving you, you know what I'm saying, your flowers for that. And I never heard that scripture that's before in my life. But it was confirmation over anything as far as, like, what you were saying, like, it's some, it's some mind-blowing thing. It's not that it was mind blowing. It was it was confirming things that were already understood within myself. You get right. what I'm saying? So when you say the same thing, we have a brother. His name is Gigi, right? He's on Facebook, and he always says to us, "Man, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff that you say, uh, Plato says or Carl Jung says." And I ain't read a lick of Carl Jung. I ain't read a lick of Plato, right? So then you have to ask. Where, how am I getting this understanding? I wonder how right. I'm getting this understanding. And I was going to mm -hmm. ask Kareem, can you get confirmation that without reading the Bible? Right. Of course you can, but you can't get, you can't get, you, you can get certain, you can get basic confirmation. It's a you know, basic book. Like, basic you, said, when, like, like you said, when, when I, when, when I burn myself on something, yeah, I get <laughs> That is and and, and I'm person. saying it can yeah. get it can get act as extensive as you shooting somebody and realizing something after you shot them, right? Because that's right. An experience. So but, that's what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, all of your experiences is, is going to get you to your confirmation for yourself. Mm -hmm. The book, the book is telling you right now what to believe and what to understand and how to understand it. You don't have your own understanding. Again, I said the only thing only thing I disagree with you on is that every again, everybody comes to their own all the, through experience, everybody's gonna have a different confirmation, right? Just like a different perception. So basically what y'all saying is that we allowed to because we exist, uh we are allowed to um do uh all things because all things are possible and, and well. all things um are in the uh, you know lead up to the data. So we have no accountability to anything but again uh you know based on my experience the uh 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 comfort the uh the confirmation i got is that we are accountable and that we have to be accountable so that's that's just where we fall you know different oh also mm -hmm. i wanted to touch back on the question i had earlier it got thrown to the wayside so i'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it back up it was uh it was to karam and i was saying um if everything is in order already, the negative people or or the, the evil people are doing God's will, the good people are doing God's will. Mm -hmm. And just like how you reference, you have you know the the, the mm -hmm. evil mm -hmm. demons sitting mm -hmm. on the left hand side, you got the angels sitting on the right hand side in the same place in heaven. Why is everybody not gonna go to this same place? Mm -hmm. Like, why is there going to be some sort of separation when everybody is doing God's will? Like, everything that's happening, God wants it to happen, and okay. people are doing it. So, I don't see how you can say this person is disobeying God when he's doing God's will for the whole purpose of the movie. Right. So, how can you say we're not going to have you come to this beautiful place when you're still doing everything that the good people are doing? Right. <laughs> Right. That is a very, very excellent question, brother. All praises to the Most High. And I will answer your question right here because 
we have to remember everything that we discussing right now the ancients was discussing this is not a new conversation that we're having in 2022 it's a continual conversation that the ancients was having in 2000 years ago and they asked the exact same question that you just asked right now so let's get the question that they asked let's go let's go to um let's go to romans 9 that's right romans 9 and let's go to um shoot we, we're gonna start at romans 9 and 13 and read down to 23 and i will read that when everybody has it say let's go let's go let's go here we go this is romans this is romans 9 and 13. as it is written whenever you hear in the new testament whenever you hear the words as it is written that is telling you that it was written in the old testament and they are just repeating now what was already written before this is confirmation again like you keep saying confirmation <laughs> they're confirming what was written already as it was written jacob have i love but esau have i hated where was that written at that was written in malachi four and four and six in the old testament so paul is repeating what was written already <laughs> what shall we say then is there unrighteousness with god is there unrighteousness with god because god says that he loves jacob and hates esau you would say yes that's unrighteous but the nope. bible says god forbid no it's not unrighteous okay he says this is why it's not unrighteous for he no. said to moses i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy and why? i will show compassion on whom i will show compassion why? So, so then it is not of him that will it. What does it mean by will it? Your will ain't going to change the Most High's program. He going to do his will. He's not going to do your will. He's going to do his will. So your will, how you think everything should go down, it should go down like this, don't mean nothing. So this, so. this, was, this was all going down. This is the Most High's plan, and he did this before creation. Everybody so is playing, easily. So everybody is playing their part in this movie. Let's keep reading, and then we're gonna answer all questions after the scripts. Right. It says, and and he says to Moses, "I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will show compassion on whom I will show compassion." So then, it is not him that willeth, nor him that runneth. Meaning, what does runneth mean? Meaning, you can get out here and you can do all the work. And I'm doing this for the most high. Most high says that that's not going to work either because he's already decided already from the beginning. Like I read to you in Isaiah 46 and 10, he, he um, declares the end from the beginning. He already. Let, let me ask, Can I ask a question, brother? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get through the script. And it says. I want to address that script. Kinda. For the scriptures, this is 17. For the scriptures say, say it unto Pharaoh, even for this purpose have I raised thee up. Why was Egypt so great? Egypt was so great because the Most High raised Egypt up into that prominent status for a reason. Okay? The whole reason was to show the Most High's power in Egypt by bringing Egypt down. Okay? The Most High raised Egypt up. The Most High is, gonna only, is the only one that can bring Egypt down. The same thing that goes with America. God made America great. God is going to bring America down. You can't touch America because God set America up and only can bring her down. And that's what you're witnessing. You're witnessing the most high bring down a kingdom that he set up. Okay. You're just playing. The mega, your point. The mega hats though. The mega hats. Trump is on some shit. That nigga Trump is on <laughs> but, but see, but see, that was all part of, that was all part of God's plan too, to put the final nail in this place. Let's keep reading. It says, for the scriptures say if unto Pharaoh, even for this purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout the whole earth. It's all about God's name being declared, not Egypt being declared all over the world as being the greatest and all that. No, no, no. Kareem, no. It's most high is the greatest. Great. Hold up, hold up. Let's let the script keep on, yeah. keep, keeping it going. Save questions after the script. Accountability, Kareem. Remember that. Accountability. Exactly. Accountability. Exactly. There, there is none. Go ahead. As listen. far as as far as what? Listen, listen to what he's saying. There's no listen, listen. no accountability. Listen to what he said. It's already listen. done. 
Listen, no, you, uh, it's, no. I, I, I wanted to go back to that verse for that exact reason. That's why I wanted to go back to that verse. Come on, let's go back to that exact verse. It says, for he saith unto Moses, this is 15, Romans 9 and 15. For he saith unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Oh, and I will have compassion on whom mm -hmm. I will have compassion. No, okay, 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 okay. It's his, stop, it's his stop, choice. Stop. Hold on real quick. Just, okay, just. Like you said, we got to have some, uh, so it's, sometimes it's important to pause in between, right? Okay, so what, now who are we talking about? <laughs> People! We talking about, we talking about God, right? And we talking about what, what kind of God are we talking about? What we say he was, omni, conscious, oh, omni, presence, all that, right? I see, I see you smiling, Kareem. It's going to go up. Okay, so, 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 so that's just my point. So when he's saying that, he said, I will have mercy on who I choose to have mercy on, what right? What does that mean to you? Okay, so God say, okay, I'm going to put you right here on this earth, right? Mm -hmm. Here's my commandments. Okay. Obey my commandments. <laughs> I'm an all-knowing God. Now, I didn't I didn't control you. I didn't tell you what you had to do. What? You got free will. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on. You got free will. You get to make a choice whether you obey my commandments or not, whether that come up inside you or not, right? You get a choice. I'm an all-knowing God. Of... Read the verse again, brother. What it say? And there's some sort of confliction with that. Hold on, hold on. Read hold the verse. On, what it say? Hold on. It says, "For he saith unto Moses, I will have uh, have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will and I would have compassion on whom I will have compassion." Okay, so stop right there. Ah, Boom. Right so that's there, all he's saying. I got something for you. So, so wait, 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 wait. We're that. gonna keep going. Wait, okay. Let's, all he's saying is, I know what's gonna happen. I know what you're gonna do. So, I, I, oh, it's it's my choice who I got compassion on. So even I'm the bad dudes, even the, even even the bad dudes, don't leave exactly. that out. Exactly. Bad news. Don't everybody. Don't leave that part out. It's everybody. Even the bad people. Listen. Don't leave that part out. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, absolutely. Let's, let's get to this. Let's hey, get to that part. Who have mercy on who he chooses to? Let's hey. keep reading. Let's keep reading because you're going to get more understanding. He's. It's going to explain itself. Well, you already the said Bible, he's not going to have mercy on the bad people. The Bible is very no, good. We said why. No, listen. He, he said, no. who I want listen, to. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go ahead and. Yeah, but that, that don't have nothing to do with bad people. He said on who I, I want to. That don't have nothing to do with bad people. Is that was that a cap? No, that's boom. all that's people. That's, 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 that's all people, people bro. Listen, listen, listen to the elder right now. On all people. On all people. All listen, people. He said, There's I no will have to that. Okay, read the verse again. Look, what do the verse say? He didn't okay. say, he didn't say bad people. Listen, it, what it was listen, like. listen, don't, 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 put, don't put the verse in your own understanding, Kareem. That's a sin. Bro, are you following? Are you following along with us with your Bible? You gotta follow along with us. Let's read it again now. Now I'm going to read it all to the end, okay? That way we can get the proper understanding. <laughs> this is Romans 9 and 15. For I, for he saith unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom no. I will have compassion. Oh, well, why, listen, no. why did the Most High say this to, to, why did the Most High say this to Moses? Because when you read about it in Exodus, the Most High said, he told Moses, I want you to go to the Pharaoh and tell him to let my peoples go. But I am going to hearten Pharaoh's heart so he won't let my peoples go so I can destroy him and show my great power throughout Egypt. That's why he said he's referencing Moses. Well, no, wait, hold your questions, you know, because that's what he did to Pharaoh. He raised Pharaoh up. And every time Moses went to Pharaoh to say, let my people go, a thought came in Pharaoh's head, like, okay, I'll let them, let them go. And then the right. Most High snatched that thought out of his head. And he got, all, he got all freaking busty. And he was like, you know what? No, forget that. I ain't letting them go. God was like, that's what I want you to do. Because in this process of you keep denying, I want to destroy I'm gonna Egypt. Show, I'm going to show my power. I'm going to show my power. Now, let's right. keep right. reading. Right. Let's keep reading. Now, it says, so then... Because of that example, now he's telling you in 16, so then it's not of him who willeth. Your will don't change yes. him. It nor don't of him, matter. Nor of him that runneth. You running around doing all the work. You know what? Yes, you, you talking about you as a pastor in the church for fucking 40 years. The most <laughs> I don't care about none of that. Right. Care. That ain't going to get you into heaven. Okay. Everybody it says, to but, heaven ain't going. Two what boxes. does he say? But God who showeth mercy. But God who showeth mercy, it's all up to the most high to show you mercy because he's already looked down the timeline and he knows everybody has sinned against him. 
everybody nobody has sinned against the most high so anybody who gets anything from the most high is because of his compassion and mercy it ain't have nothing to do with because you deserve it or i'm a human being and all that stuff it's because the most high is merciful on you and you should be giving all praises because you are a low down dirty sinful dog that hasn't did nothing that the most high said and the only reason that you haven't died in died in your sleep is because of the compassion of the most high who keeps waking you up to see another day most he, definitely because was, you're not guaranteed another day you're not guaranteed to wake up tomorrow it's because well, of the right. compassion of the most high that you able to get your butt up open up your eyes like it's a normal day okay let's keep reading it's in 17 it says for the scripture saith unto pharaoh even for even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout right all there. the earth. And that's why I said what I said. That nigga did 18. his shit for his Let's glory. 18. And it says, therefore, have he mercy on whom he have he mercy. Wants to have. On whom I know this, he I know will. This Hold up. Let the script come out. And listen. 18. It says, therefore, have he mercy on whom he have mercy, and on whom he will hearten. He'll hearten you. If you keep being rebellious, the Most High will turn away from you and he will leave you in your own mind, freaking doing your own thing. And he will separate himself from you. He will cast you away and say, go ahead, think whatever you want to think. You over here. Let's keep on reading. Now it says in 19, thou will say then to me, why do he yet find fault? question mark because that's what you were saying brother um, um i am self-made you know if the most high made all these people and everything well why he gonna condemn them you know this is why he's saying it he says he says in 19 thou will say then unto me why do he yet find fault for who have resisted his will who resisted the most will how are you gonna find fault in people when the most high made people to do all this stuff Self. See, they was asking the same question you asking. This Self. is the answer that they got. 20, nay, but old man, who art thou that repliest against God? How are you going to reply against God? Shall the thing form say to him that it, tell the thing form say form. to him that formed it, why Self. has God made me thus? It's like, it's like you going, when you go into your <laughs> closet and you say, you know what? I'm finna wear my Nikes today. Does your Adidas jump out and say, hey, why you ain't wearing me? You own all that stuff. It's self, you know what I mean? It's you can do whatever you want to do. You can wear whatever clothes you want because that is your stuff. You belong to the most high. He can do whatever he wants to you because you are his creation. And he says that he is gonna have his will. You are just a vessel, okay? Let's read Thank that. Thank you. It's let's all read self. That. Let's Great. read that. Now let's go down to um eight. Now let's go down to um twenty. Read it again. It says, "Nay, but old man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus?" Twenty one. Have not the pow the potter power over the clay, over the same lump, to make one vessel unto honor and another vessel unto dishonor? That's the key. See, what the Most High did is give you a little analogy. He made a nice vase, okay? Nice, beautiful vase out of powder. He made this vase and everything, and he put a put a nice rose in it, and he put it on top of his mantle. Then he turned around and he made a shit pot to shit in shit pot. and put that over there. He made two vessels. He no, made no. a vessel for honor, and he made another vessel for destruction. Jacob, you are the vessel of honor that he made. Esau, you are the vessel of destruction. You were made to be the way you are because your whole <laughs> role for you to play in this wicked world is to be the wicked, to be the whooping stick. That's what you were made for. You are the most highest belt. <laughs> Whoop my children when they do not follow my law, statutes, and commandments. But a time is going to come where well, I'm not going to need that belt to whoop my children anymore because my ch I'm going to put my law, statutes, and commandments in their hearts, and they're not going to need a book because I'm going to write it on their hearts. 
and they're going to follow my commandments. And I won't need that whooping stick no more called these Gentiles to beat your butt every time you want to disobey. That is why the Most High created these vessels. Now, just like it says in Genesis, the Most High created the earth and on the seventh day he rests. My question to the class is, how does the Most High rest? Let me let me do this real quick. When we talk about the piss, wait, 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 wait! Don't drift off on your own subject. How does the Most High rest? Okay, let me. I'm, I'm gonna give you an answer for that. The Most High rests because He created something that's going to do the job for Him. That's us. Thank you. You are the vessel that the Most High wants to rest in, but he cannot rest in you unless you keep the commandments. Hold on, wait, 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 don't, don't force my that. answer. Don't force my answer. I was just giving you the light version. Let's get into some dark shit. So when, when the Most High created us, he never rested <laughs> because now his spirit is in us and we're mobile. He did rest. He rested <laughs> in Adam until Adam went off. And then after that, he has not been able to find a place to rest. Wait, wait, wait. So as soon as you give your life or breath of life or whatever to something else, you can say that you're resting, but you're still working. That's just like if I put my money. Wait, 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 wait. That's just like me putting my money into stock. I can say, well, I got my money in the bank. My my money's resting in the bank. That shit ain't moving nowhere. But it's still collecting a little bit of money somewhere. Mm -hmm. I fuck with the banks isn't crazy, but I invested my money into something else. Energy is the highest form of currency. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that. But when we're talking about putting something into something that's okay, I'm going to kick back and let my money work for me. That means even though I may be resting, everything that I invested into my money is still going. So that means I'm still going. When I give whatever to my son, I'm still going. That even though that's my son, I'm still going. So that's like say that. saying that's like saying when you go to sleep and you at rest, <laughs> your heart stop pumping. Like right. like, exactly. like things stop moving and things stop working just because you sleeping. Like nah, there's there's that's not, really that's not what what rest so, means. Oh no, wait, wait. So watch this. So watch this. Because God never rests. If you're omnipotent, right. omnipresent, you never mm -hmm. rest. You're I'm always energy. active. What are we talking mm -hmm. about? So you don't understand what the word rest means in this context right here. What I'm saying using, is that using, I can tell because you're using sleep. What is, what is, what is, what is rest? Mean? What is rest mean? The, the rest that it means in the Bible. He There's wants the rest to rest of us to dwell. Listen, thank the rest you, of us. To dwell. He wants thank to you. dwell inside of us. Okay, that's but, where he that's gets what, his rest. That's where he gets his rest. You get your mortal rest by sitting on your ass. That's did how I you not, rest. Did I not give you an example of? Dwell in, or am I bugging? But, no, but no. to dwell, but but can I say this, you guys? Um, and I I do words very well. To dwell is just to be, is to exist. So it's still, <laughs> he's still resting. All of my examples still that I gave, what's the We am gotta we gotta stop. We gotta stop trying to split hairs here, man. It's very simple. The Most High <laughs> wants to rest inside of you, okay? But you have but to, to be a, you have to be a clean vessel. OK, you have to be pure in thoughts. You have to be keeping his commandments. He cannot rest inside of you if you if you doing your own way. So the only way, the only way, the only way for you to know how to allow the most high to rest in you. He is giving you proper instructions. This is what you do. This is but what hey, you I don't like, do. It's I do's like and you, don't. Everything, I like what you just said. everything in this world comes with an instruction manual. Okay, hey, I like wait, what you so just that's, said that's, because that's look, do's and don'ts, right? Wait, exactly. It has do's and don'ts. Okay, so, so does he rest? Does <laughs> he rest in us with the do's and don'ts? He gave you the do's and don'ts. It's called the scriptures. No, 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 no. Rest in us with the do's and don'ts. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Does he rest in us with the do's and don'ts? No. He doesn't oh, want to rest in you. You have to, he wants you to rest in oh, you look, if oh, you're look. keeping the commandments. I was That's gonna say, thing. like, I, I like based off of what you just said, I I you know it painted a picture for me. So you said he wants to rest in you when you're pretty much tapped in, right? When you when you're at Christ consciousness, that's when he wants to rest within you. That's when when you're following yeah. the commandments and there you, you are you feel there me? You go. 
at most de devoted you're servants. Right. When, you're God, right. when, you, you when you're walking in the ways of the question. Most High, yeah. that's when walking. He's resting, right? So when, when you're, you're not, so listen, just check me out. So yeah. when you're not following that, He's not resting. He's inside of you, awake, trying you to know. get you to that place. You that's know. the whole. That's like saying, yeah. "What's the let's, point of evil?" Let's get a better understanding. Well, even <laughs> even even that even, is even the with understanding. that, <laughs> no, that's your understanding. understanding. Well, even what what is, even with that, when you guys said the right and the left, and he picked Satan, and I don't know if you called him Satan or right. Lucifer at that time. I go down there and get his ass. And we're going to do it. So he was still More moving good. through yeah. good and bad. What it was still a about? manifestation. He manifested himself to be able to have access to have Lucifer or Satan. And I don't know what you named him as, but that being to go down there and access whoever it was. So he was right. still, God was still moving through the good and the bad. Yeah. It's still balance. It's still duality. It's still of existing. Course, in because what, what, what does it say in Isaiah 40? I create, I create, what does it say? I create peace, I create what? darkness, I create what evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. How does He do all those things? Because I took you to the scripture where He has oh, this, the angelic beings who come down here and who do all those things in His right. name. They're not, but doing he, was, he was dwelling within no, that, that other person, which no, is he saying, wasn't. With, he what? had to be no, he, it's not because he to be because you are, because you that, that's not what, how what was your opening statement, Karam? You said that Satan follows God's commandments more than we do. do, right? He's dwelling what are we talking Satan. about Karam? Right. What, 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 he what, 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 dwell, he's what? resting within Satan. No, he's not. What? He he can't hey, hey, look. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, hey listen. all this what, gray hair, up, that up. means something. That means something. Hold up. That gray hair means something of a little bit. Does. Maybe I'm not giving you guys the proper understanding. That's why I try to let the Bible <laughs> what? speak. We have listen, creation. Okay, you got to think about creation. Like the script says, he has all the hosts of heaven. They are there to what? Do his commandments. Your well, purpose down here too. Your purpose on this earth was to do his commandments too. The whole creation's purpose is to do the most highest commandment. So what's the problem? That's the problem. Everybody's on their free will. What? You're not, you're not doing the most high. That was a flat out contradiction. What are you talking about, Karam? How is that a flat out contradiction? What did you just say, Karam? Oh, we go. We're here to do his, do his will. will, but no, but we did some different mm -hmm. shit. Right, we well, are doing some different stuff, <laughs> but our is our different stuff a part of his will? Thank you, definitely. No, it's not. So, so, it, so now it, we're out of order. That right. makes us out of order. Hey, come on, come on. Do we got free will? But, but, but what brings you free will? But what brings you back? What brings you back into the order of the most high? Karam, do we have free will? Yes or no. Bringing us back free, into it is being. Out of way, like, do we have free will? Yes or no? No, you don't. Thank you. So everything yeah. is God. Everything is God. God. Okay, so everything <laughs> is in order, Karam. We, we just read it. Come on, brothers and sisters. We just read it in Romans that he says that what? He's going to have compassion on who he's going to have compassion. That's not what we're talking about, Karan. That is what we're talking about because you're saying that you want to, that, that I'm telling you that there's no free will because the Pharaoh didn't even have free will. He had to learn that he was, oh, let me take you to another scripture. Let's go to. Can Brother go Karam, can I take you to a scripture real quick? Let's go to a script. Let's go to um real fast. Can I take you to a scripture I found? Yes, sir. Let me go to this one real fast. Let's go to. I am um, niggas is winning right now, and I hate to say it like that, but I am niggas is up right now. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs twenty-one and one. And Yahar, can you please read that Proverbs twenty-one and one? And I want. I want you. Um, I want you, sis. I want him to read it, but I want you to break down the understanding and see right, what understanding did you get from it. Give me the, the let me have the scripture because I want to read it on my own accord. Yes, Proverbs. That's that's Proverbs twenty one and one. Proverbs twenty one and one. It reads, "You got it, sis." Um, let me pull up the KGB. Just one second. Okay, okay I'm ready. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water he turneth it 
whithersoever he now what does that mean to you sis honestly as soon as i heard and read it it's free flowing so it can do whatever it does that's my breakdown of that read it again <laughs> i'll read it i'll read it out i'll read it out the king's yeah. heart is in the hand of the lord as the rivers of the water he turneth it whithersoever he will that's it's free flowing. Anything goes. That's my interpretation of that. Well, the, it, whatever it is, is whatever it is. No cap. No, the it <laughs> is the king's heart. Is the heart deceitful? Yes or no? Don't don't change subjects. Stay right. Oh, so, oh, so no, he said no, heart. No, no, let, no let he him. said heart. The Read that verse again. I'm keeping it the same. I'm keeping it scripture. Heart. The Where king's heart. Read that verse again. The king's heart is in the hand. Of the most high, the king's heart as, is in the hand of the most high. As mm -hmm. the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever <coughs> he will. So okay, now so we gotta so now we gotta forget about the heart being deceitful at this point. Well, look, simple comprehension. It said the king's heart is in the hand of the most high. I mean, right there, right there in that verse, Don't right there. Will. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the most high. So that means that the most high his heart is in the, the hand of the most high, and the most Don't high can turn his heart. Like the hands of the waters. That's how I was reading. No free will. Right. So it means any, it said, literally like, means no anything goes. Happen. My first thing, but anything based goes. On, but based on how I read that part in, in the verse by itself, it would sound like anything goes based on the will of God. God. But that's what yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Right. Right. Anything goes. Karam, I want to take you to a verse real quick. Based yes, on the sir. verse that you that you gave when it said that um, God will, uh, when, when you was talking about, uh, it said that God will. Uh, <laughs> some be. people, some people is for like uh, destruction. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. let's, go, let's, let's go back to that one. Um, your harm, <laughs> please. Let's go to Ecclesiastic is thirty three and fourteen. That's sir. in the other book. Y'all keep on taking him to the apocrypha. He don't got the apocrypha. I do. Yes. Okay, I'm. I'm hard up. <laughs> I had. <laughs> I like the way you answered. Like, hey, look, check this out. Can y'all still hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Which one? Well, he, he gotta, the you gotta class? take your word for it if he don't read out the apocrypha, though. Sirach, okay. are we talking about Ecclesiastes? We're talking about Sirach. We're gonna go to 33 <laughs> and 11. Start at 11, sir. No, actually, start at 10. Cream, you gotta get the apocrypha. I'm gonna I'm uh, download it and send it to you. Be a, uh, be a PDF. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I like hard, hardback books. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab it. This yeah, is Ecclesiasticus, right. go, which is go grab one of these, sir. Please. Thirty three. All right. And 33, verse ten. We're gonna, it says, actually, "And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. In much knowledge, the Lord, Yorhewahe, has." divided them and made their ways diverse why some of them hath he blessed and exalted why and some of them has he sanctified and set near himself why but some of them has he cursed and brought low why? and turned out of their places why? As 13, a of 13 is going to give you your why there Let's we keep go listening. Keep and this is also was referenced to when you read Romans chapter nine. It talks about the pot potters. Exactly, but precept upon precept, line upon line, line a little here, a little bit. bit. It just do. Go ahead. And it says, and the clay is in the potter's hand. To right Stop right there. It. Stop right there. Who is the potter in this verse? Harry Potter. Well, I understand <laughs> on, what you're man. saying. Come on, be serious. We in class. This is serious. Yeah. I'm serious as I want to say. Well, well, yeah, because you have to know the perspective of how it's being looked at, like on this side. Right. So when I literally said me because that's how I feel. It's me. I would be the potter. Oh, can I? Can I get? I wasn't, the, can, be, I wasn't can, being can I get facetious. The the Who is the potter in that verse? That would be the Yod Hey Wah Hey. Exactly. Creator. That would be the, the 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 um the author of that shit. Go ahead. The author of this is. Ecclesiasticus, which is Sirach. He's the author. He wrote it down. But he is writing down the Most High's words because the prophets speak for the Most High. But the, that's Most the, High the Most High is not going to come down here and have a personal conversation with you because he's the king. And the that's king will get off. The king does not get off his throne. He has messengers that do the work for him. Remember that's that. That's a belief system, though. 
But I have a question. Wait, 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 wait. Let the the I, hold on, can first. I ask one question? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. If, if the playing. king does not get off of his throne and sends messengers, why does he feel the need or the want to want to dwell within? If Bam. messengers are going Thank to that you. person, why was why would he Turn need down, to baby. why would he need or want to dwell within? The spirit of the Ooh. most high dwells. What is the spirit of the most high? But the most high has to be connected all into one source. So even if a well, part of, of the most hold on, hold on, hold on, because even if a part of the most high is wanting to dwell within, that Can't is feel. still coming from the source of the most high. So you're either clean or you're dirty. You cannot live in clean and dirty. That 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 part, the spirit of the most high cannot want to depart a clean vessel to leave to a dirty one. Exactly. You not and, want to that, and, and, and Christ broke that down to you. What happens when an unclean spirit leaves you and you don't, and you keep your house swept out? What happens? You tell me, cause I'm, we're having the same question now. Okay. I'm right. really trying to get, gonna get to that. Let's let, <laughs> let's let your heart, let's let, let's let elder your heart, please um, finish that, please. We're going to read all the way down to 15. Well, in that, Verse 13. And, and you in what? And that's in what? This is Ecclesiasticus in, chapter uh, 33. We're still in that pocketbook. Yes, I, was, I, was trying to, I was trying to go to that Romans, though, you were talking about. Oh, yes, Romans sir. 9. I'm sorry. I cut that off. I apologize for that. <clears throat> Romans 9. Verse 13. As the clay is in the potter's hands to fashion it at pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that I made him I. to render to them as liketh him best. So why good are we going against God? Wait, wait, wait. Keep, keep on going. Let's finish the script. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So it's a self-confliction. Keep on going. It's not over. So look upon all the works of the Most High. And there are two and two, one against another. There we go. It's balance. Okay, so, May, so, 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 now, from there, from there, Yahar, I want you to go to Ecclesiasticus <laughs> in the Bible, and let's go to Ecclesiasticus three and three and one, and we're going to read from. I, I, I want to give you a verse though that's going to uh, directly address that one. You know what I'm saying? Done. Okay, so real quick, I'm a, and it's, it's funny, I had went to this thing, because like I said, I'm not as, you know, versed in the Bible, so I had to Google it, what I was trying to say, right? And it pulled up pretty much exactly what I was talking about. Can, um, in, uh, in, in Romans 9, 21, right? Done. Uh, when it's talking about, um, in Romans, it's talking about basically the potter, right? And, and, and wait, 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 wait. Oh. Who, who is the potter again? God is the potter. Thank you, sir. Okay, so God is talking about well, it's talking well, Paul is talking about God being the potter. So um where, where I think it's misunderstood that that part of the verse is that uh basically what he's just saying, he's he's saying that everybody because you know, in uh it, let me see, I'm I'm gonna read this out exactly uh what it's saying here, because it's basically in the tune of what I was thinking. It says some theologians misinterpret what Paul is saying in Romans 9 21. For example, uh, Calvin interpreted his passage to mean that God arbitrarily created some people for salvation and others for destruction. Such a concept right. of God's purpose is not in harmony with Paul's own teachings elsewhere in the same book. Follow me. It says, for Paul declared that God has no partiality. That's in Romans 2.11. It mm -hmm. said God has no partiality, right? Um, it say, and, it say, and he taught that God judges each man according to his works. That's in Romans 2, 6 through 10. And Romans 3, 23. And it says, and he will save everyone who calls upon who calls upon him. So again, let me let me click the screen back on because I can't see y'all. Hold on. So let me make my point. So again, when we're looking at an omniconscious God, I, I I when I when and then when I hear those verses, that is confirmation again for me that God is not um in control of our free will, but he knows what we're gonna do. You see what I'm saying? So he's already made a decision based on what he knows that we're going to do already. OK, so I got you for. OK, I already know what you're going to do. So, look, you're going to be you're going to come over here with me. 
I got you for I got you for the good and look, I already know what you finna do. What's the so you over there for the this have the experience then. So, so so you over there for destruction. My point about that is within free will. The point of letting us have the experiences so that we can make the decision. He not guilty because he know what we finna do. What? He's not guilty. Let me break it down to you like this, brother. He's not guilty because he knows because he because he has the the knowledge of you see what I'm saying? I, have, so, so, I didn't say no, he was guilty. Have a that's real fast. That well, that's your so argument. at that point, that would make free will more powerful than God. If God cannot control the free will that we have, it makes no it God. More that's powerful. that's the design of free will. He didn't, he didn't he didn't he didn't make he didn't make free will for him to be able to control it. He made it for us to be able to control it and for us to be able to make it. Let me bring it to you. What are you talking about? Let me bring it home for you. It's just like Adam and Eve. No sense. Listen, it's just like Adam and Eve. Why did the Most High? Why did the Most High put the serpent in the garden? The whole purpose of putting the serpent in the garden is because Adam. Listen, listen. Adam lived in a paradise. Adam did not know any evil. Only Thank thing you. he knew was good. No, no. Okay. Right. The mm-hmm. whole reason that the Most High put the serpent there is because you have to be given a choice whether you're going to love God or you're going to just do your own thing. You don't know who you are. Thank okay? you. You don't know. Mm-hmm. You don't know the spirit in you. Okay. The Most High knows the spirit in you because he put that spirit in you. But you, I don't know shit. but but the Most High has to know. You have to have a. You have to use your own choice, which you call free will. Are you gonna love him? You said we don't you... got free will. <laughs> and, and, and if you, you don't know, if you're bro, just good, if you're you just gotta, good, you you the look, free will that you have is to make a choice. Okay, but that's you the say thing. We right? don't have free will. Free will. The same choice that has been presented to Adam has been presented to all of us. Yo, you do we have free will or no? Can we, can we get a clear understanding? Yes or no? Yes, no. yes we do. You have, and you I didn't have the free will. I said you are. You have the free will to make those two choices: either life eternal by obeying the Most High's commandments, or death, because sin leads to death. Those cannot, are the choices that Adam and Eve was given. Those are the choices oh, that, that oh, Moses that told the Israelite. He told the, the Israelites, option? choose ye here now. Okay, but that's not the way. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Is, is that option, that the way? Is that the way? Is that the way? They got to have a selected people or no? you choose to follow death, that was your will to do this that. This guy has to let you And when he re- when, oh, yeah, when you choose that, does he does the Most High call you? Does the Most High tug at your heart and try to bring him bring you back to him? Of course he does. That's but not you, free will. He you, tugs at your heart. That's not free will. Free will. Exactly. Of that's course he does. That's That's not free will. Wait. Someone and also, hey, I can also, tug at I can tug at your shoulder and tell you, hey, listen to me, and you can will. you can do this and say, no, I don't want to. No. But equally, no but, but hold on, even the option to Man, not follow, the, <laughs> the option to to follow or to not follow is still within God's order. There's no free will. There cannot be free will. Thank you. Go back to that garden of Eden. Well, what y'all, was talking what y'all about using because if a, you're looking at it like that, what, what, like you said, how did the snake get in the garden? If he's if if the garden is paradise and he don't know nothing but whatever he's experiencing, mm-hmm. and a snake comes along and says, "Do you know how much more shit your ass can experience if you right. eat off of this apple? Like you don't really know shit." That's part of God's plan for him to eat off of that tree. Mm-hmm. Right. It's order. When when you, when you look uh, at free will, though, little, let me give you a the, little. The analogy. argument that y'all making is a real basic argument. So no matter what, y'all can really never lose the argument. Because what happens is, what you're, basically saying, That's right. what you're basically saying is that if 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 there is any type of divine uh, intervention, like organization, not not divine inter- intervention, because what you're saying is the who snake gave is the divine. Will? Who well, gave the divine? Will? Well, basically, what you're saying is that if there's any type of organization, or if like like I can if you didn't you create example. yourself, like some people would say, even us being here on Earth. Free organization coming from, from God because we're we're confounded to um basic principles of living on earth so we don't have free will correct did you create yourself i'm asking you that question 
No, no, no. This yes. is this is the answer to your question. Did you create yourself? No, no. I'm asking you a question. I, I, it's a yes or no. Okay, it's let me like... so let me answer the question since I you, you want to run from it, and I'm not trying to answer your question. Well, no. I mean, I mean, I ask you a question if you because do not, if you do not concept. create, okay, if you do not create yourself, you are not free. That's stupid. Okay, so my point was that, you, but basically your argument, basically if I can sum up your argument, basically what you're saying is, I can give you the same concept. You're basically saying, if if, if someone is in a box, if, if I'm on this earth, I don't have, I cannot control all the things that go on on this earth, right? Oh, cuz what are we talking about? I mean, it's the same, it's the same type of thing that you're basically saying. I'm just generalizing it to make it real, real basic so it sounds as ridiculous as it actually is. You basically saying, basic. You're actually saying because okay, we don't the, the concept of your understanding of free will is that if we don't uh if if we if we don't have control of anything, like all things are free will or nothing is free will, basically. So, like I said, if we're here on earth. We can't con control all the conditions of us being on Earth, right? Would you say that's correct or no? I mean, we are freely existing and free and freely. But do you get what I'm saying? If if we're on Earth and we exist here on Earth, <laughs> are we are we existing freely or are we under control of somebody? Kareem, can you fly? <laughs> no, I cannot fly. Why not? So because I'm bound to the. Thank you. Exactly. exactly. So then I wouldn't have free will, right? Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. So that's your concept of free will. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is you have to you have to expand your concept of free will so that we all understand. <laughs> you gotta expand your, your, your you concept. Can you fly? Expand yeah, your shit and start flying. Remember, I told you what free will is. Free will, <laughs> you, have to, you have about? to understand what it is. Free will is the capacity to have Bring the capacity to fly, my nigga. Right. right. Do that. Be well, at me. Foundation. That's why y'all arguing back and forth. When you ask the question about if it's free what? will, it's my understanding when I answer say yes, and I say it so boldly, is I'm looking at free will as being uh, having the, the, been given the ability, ability to choose. Go ahead and say it. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> and, not, but so, I know. But but you say to choose, brother, the, your heart. I, you know, does that fall in that same category? That that wasn't one of the ones that was presented by the one who gave me. Uh, I mean, people said in order to be you able to limit? fly, you can choose to do this or you can choose to do that. Then I have that free will to be able to fly. But that wasn't part the, of the equation. Do you have the ability to not go to hell or not go to heaven? I'm looking for living forever for immortality and, and being able to, uh, well, if you want to call it heaven being a positive and, and hell being a negative, yes, I have the ability to choose that. Because Your it's heart. been set forth before me by the, the one who created me, <laughs> gave me the oper that's operator's all manual. Asking. That's all. Yeah. That's it. So that's how I look at it. But as far as saying, well, well, can you be at three places at one time if you got free will? That ain't. That's not the how I look at free will. Because I'm free will is can not. Can I free. ask who 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 believes in free will? I, I, I do. You heard you just and the reason of making a choice, yes, I I do. Did you have free will to come here? To, to be born. To be created. No, That's what I'm saying. No, I did not have the free will to do that. So there's a limit on free will. By so default, like I say, that would be the choices Absolutely. that were presented by the one who created me, who gave me the the choice to be Just able to, to you make got choices and not free will. What the fuck is free will? I'm sorry. I'll let you define it. That's why I was just trying to explain of how when I answered and say free will, I'm looking at the choices that have been presented in mm -hmm. front of me, as well as others, not just me, to be able to choose life or to choose death. Are there that, any choices? Free will to do it. No, you don't have the choice to do that, it. That's it why I was giving an example living. about Earth. You don't have the choice to live or not die. What are you talking about? That's why about? I was giving the example about Earth. If you go to a basic ass, uh, rudimentary or whatever, elementary ass understanding of it, you could basically say, even if you exist, you don't have free will. I mean, if that's your understanding of it, it's just a different foundation that we just on, now on, said that you got the choice to whether you want to live or die. You got to this motherfucker out against your will. You don't got that choice. Hey, can right. We, can we read yeah. Proverbs 21 oh, again? again? So we got to get to the foundation of what free will is. There is okay. no free will. They said that earlier. It doesn't, it doesn't, it ain't going to go. It ain't going to fit. It ain't a puzzle piece. 
Proverbs 21 and, and we're one. talking about life or death. Y'all lost that because you can't. Con- Here, let me, let me, I'm, I'm going to give you that. You're already me. living and you're going to die. You don't got that choice. What are we talking about? We're talking. I'll get that scripture in a minute. What, what type of choice yeah. are we talking about? Look, that's what, the real question. That's what I'm saying. It's like, not even about free will. What right type right of choices are we talking about? Let me read this this verse for you again. Yes, sir. It's, it's 20, 21 and, and which one? Proverbs want? 20, 21 and 1. 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the most high. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Kareem, does that sound like free will to you? Uh, read it again. He already, this is the third time he read it. He read it like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Remember As the rivers heart. of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Okay, to answer your question, he Lawan, will. Uh, he will. Uh, <laughs> to answer your question, Lawan, no, that don't sound like free will. But remember, uh, brother Karam was talking about precepts, and that's why I went to those precepts. I just gave you three precepts on okay, why. What, I, what does that mean? Go ahead with precepts. Go ahead. I thought uh, I, the first time I heard the precepts was right here within the last couple hours, and I thought what precepts meant, based on what he described it as, was. Um, like other points that you can go back into the Bible where other, uh, you know, um, you know, prophets or whatever mm-hmm. had spoke about it. So that's why I said precepts. Definition. Right. So when I was talking about the precepts, that's why I took you to, I can go back to it. That's why I took y'all to uh, Romans 2.11, where it's talking about uh, for, for uh, Paul declared that God has no partiality in Romans 2.11. Right. And he and said, he, he said, and God, uh, taught that God judges each man according to his works, right? And, and, and he will save everyone who calls upon his name. So if that's the case, if you call up, everybody has, you you got the ability to call upon his name. It's only your own heart that allow you not to call upon his name, right? So if that's, you, you see what I'm saying? So that's, uh, that's and, one precept. Partial to anybody, then why would he send some people over here, uh, like specifically send them to hell? Like it's their destiny to go to hell. Again, what I believe that it means because is that was created. Well, what I believe that it means is that he had foreknowledge that they was gonna go against uh, his but, will. But he created, right? And so he already had what a you said, right. You ain't supposed to say right to that. That was a setup. Don't say right to that. Yeah. Why would God create hey. a hell? Why? Can we? Um... Because because he created instruction. <laughs> Elder, elder, your heart. He created his yeah. to go he to hell. He to, uh, to hell. If you, if you the obey the law, you to go to hell. Right? To go to hell? Just Which you, one? If you disobey the law, you gonna go to jail, right? Let, Why would I want people to go to hell? I'm gonna read to wound first of all. Uh, uh, Zakwan Quran uh, about the, he had asked a question about um, life or death. And, and you and, said that you had the, the choice to choose life or death. You don't got that because you didn't choose to live. Don't, here don't it eat. goes. It says this is in Deuteronomy 30 and 19. We don't know that though. You might have did. Deuteronomy exactly. 30 19. Thank you. That's all I'm asking. Just a little piece. A little nibble. I call I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that, that I have great. set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, yes, choose life, and <laughs> both that. thou and your seed may live. I love so, that verse. What's the key word in that verse? That's confirmation. Choose. Yes, the key word in that voice is what? That choose. Said, Hold on, wait, wait. choose life. Choose. Choose. Hey, look. That's your. That's that that's, that's, said, I created that's your free will right there to, to make the choice of life or death. Exactly. That's, the, that's where your free will. Goes. How about how about I choose none of those? What happens? Then you chose death. Exactly. I said none of those. Mm. What happens? Yeah. You you don't get the. You, you, there you, is yeah. no, there is no third choice. That's not even an option. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly. Not, exactly. Not exactly. Option. Yo. You get exactly. two choices. That's my point. That's Life it. Or There's death. no free will. Yeah, that, yeah exactly. How is that free will? The options is that right is here. Free will. will. You have to choose I, between I, this. That is no free will. Those are your own options. You don't have nothing else. You got you. Hey, hey. Life is about making decisions. You're a grown ass man. Make the right decision. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Life is decisions for what? To build what? what? Experience for what? To build experience, like you've been talking about. For what? 
How do you build experience? For what? Because, because life is about educating yourself. For what? For, for immortality. For exactly. For immortality for who? For you. Did we create mortality? No, this is all out of your hands. Let's get that. Man, look. Oh, yeah. Let's go to hey, what are we doing right now? This. Let's go. What are we doing right now? We're not going to keep doing this. Elder Yahar, please. Let's go to Second Ezra hey, 14. I'm going to need. I'm, I'm going, going to need. Listen, listen, real quick. I'm going to need y'all to rewatch this video because <laughs> y'all done flip flop so many times. <laughs> I'm thinking niggas is wearing sandals. You feel me? Like, for real. <laughs> That's how many times you said we have free will, we don't got free will, we got free will, we don't got free will. We like choices, no choices. I, it, it, it definitely no, no. seems like you guys are conflicted with something within that Bible that y'all don't really fully understand. And just rewatch the video. It's all here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'll be sitting back watching. I'm like, Karam then said it. He done flip flopped at least six times. Let me let me let me lean on this right here. Let me clear up any confusion. Okay. I understand what he's saying. Okay. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that you. That nigga said that, then he put it in the blunt like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just like you hitting that bottle over there. Hey, listen, hey, the free you will. Look at me. I'm a thousand percent sober. Hey, I'm up right now. Listen, listen, the free will that you have is to make a decision. That's, oh, right. that's, that's why. Right. That's why. Listen, that's listen, that's listen, that's listen, that's listen, that's listen let me explain something to you. Well, hold on. Just like I told you. Like I told you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Like I told you. The choice that you have. The words are defined. The words will get defined differently. You ask freaking 10 people. Listen. Listen. If listen, if I say that, listen. Your definition of free will obviously is all different from all of our definitions Let's of free will. What is yours? Let's okay. Let's yours. Now, 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 <laughs> listen. now, this is why I always go to scripts because once we start talking, we're going to just freaking do nothing but add confusion. The Bible is very straightforward. We can go to the Bible. That's go why I keep the Bible. Listen, can I, can I, that's can why I keep taking you. Said, that's why I keep taking you parents. to. To Proverbs 21 and 1. What does it say well, there? What does that group. mean to you? So what I am group. You? Can I so can I, I say am. something now? Can oh, I because of the irony that, that I just caught in what you said, right? So and I'm not even gonna say free will, I'm gonna change the vernacular and let's just say choice. Your choice, choice is to make a decision. A decision right. is a yes or a no. There's no free will in that. If you are you, if your choice that is, is your free will, I don't understand why you guys. Will. I don't understand. Hey, really. Dude, I don't you, hey, listen, 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 listen. This is this how your free will, will work. You this can choose. Have a cap. We we been up all night. You can choose to take your butt to work tomorrow or That's not. Horrible. That's your that choice. Horrible. So you gotta do that. Free will. Hey, your free will have a limit. Yes or no? Your free will is just what a choice to make. That's it. You have the free will to make choices. What you if you grown, don't want to make a choice? You are a grown though. human being with Do a brain. You, have, you can okay. make choices. <laughs> now, if will, you choose the bad choice, I you have accept. to live with the consequences of your actions. If you I choose would, the I good accept. choice, on, you have to live with the consequences of I those would, actions. Okay, okay. Each decision I would accept. that you make has consequences. I you would have accept, the free will I, to make those decisions. Right. I, the only way, and now I have to like... Now I have to like just fully become me, right? The only way I'm going to accept free will is if you have the option to not do free will. Thank you. Does that make well, sense? Well, let me give you the fundamental the fundamental problem. Again, we talking about free will. Y'all coming from a y'all coming from a standpoint of what's called determinism. So basically, <laughs> where y'all come from is that if there is any influence of an outside source, like. Like for example, that's why I said no matter what, we're born. We're here on Earth. We we don't have the option to, to to be here on Earth. So if from that foundation, if that's what you stand on, that free will is now. Mind you, it's been a many of philosophers and many of people that's uh, smart and you know uh, this is all in the dictionary, all this shit. So um, you know people define free will differently. So we understand that there's categories to free will. There's not just one specific free will so we understand that choice is a uh, part of free will that's a category of free will right okay you, right because it's, can, it, because can i say something with that dream wait 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 
Let's if change the vernacular. Let's stop using free will. will. Let's use choice. So you if you can choice or not choice, that's the only way I'm going to accept it. If you cannot choice, right. so then I'll who, accept choice. Well, let me show you who don't got free will. Well, let me show you why the choice is part of free will. Because <laughs> guess what? Some people don't, some, th some objects or some living creatures on earth don't have the option to make a choice. So when you put- How do we know that? Well, well, let, <laughs> well, 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 I mean, well, your scientists, well, that's what they say. You believe your scientists about most other things, oh, right? Oh, we ain't so, doing it. They're saying that apes can't make a choice. When they look at apes, well, we know this for a fact. When they look at apes, they say that they don't have, they don't have the cognitive ability. They don't have the, exactly what I was talking about. They don't have the capacity to, to, uh, to make a to choice, certain decisions and shit like that. So that's part of what the what free will is. is. Okay. So let's uh, let's talk about this then really quick, right? Yourself. When we Without see when we see course. when we see dogs, right? And we all we we all have seen the hood dogs, right? Mm -hmm. When the hood dog, let's just use a pity. When they go lock up with a certain pity, did they not make that choice to do that? Absolutely. Yeah. But did, all right, okay. so they can make choices. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I love that. That's I love called that. animal I instinct. In when I was explaining instinct this, instinct it's still a choice. An oh, well, instinct is different. Okay, well, that's not, not, that's not a conscious choice. The animal is not. Do all dogs bite? You, you have do a all conscious dogs bite people. The dog on, has on, the capacity. On the dog has the capacity. It has a natural instinct to bite you, to want to fight you, blah, blah, blah. The dog don't have the ability to say, okay, look, if I bite this that's other horrible. dog in front of these other humans, I'm probably going to go to the dog pound. And then if I go to the dog pound, if I don't get picked up within 30 to 60 days, I'm probably going to be on my deathbed. So it's probably a better option to not make okay. a decision. Okay. So okay. do people not train dogs? Is that what you're going to say? Do people train dogs? A training and the capacity to understand something is completely different. Wait, Nigga, wait, wait, how the wait, fuck wait, wait, do you wait, train wait, somebody wait, without wait, understanding? So, so that's where you don't have the free will. Nah, so that's where you don't have the free will. Wait, wait. If you don't have the capacity, uh, again, I brought this nigga said dogs don't understand, understand but means. they can be trained. Okay, let me say, let me, let me, let me even say when, this, when, right? When, when you don't know Every what's going to lead into your future or you don't know what your past is going to, if you can't understand your past, you train something that don't know the future. That means that they know the outcome. Do that. That's why you train. A dog cannot do that. Come every on, what I train, let me say this. Right That's fact. Every day, every day when I come home from work. Dog is every, every day when I come home from work. And I didn't hold on. I didn't train my dog to do this or anything like this. As soon as he hears me put my key in the door, he meets me at the door. I didn't train him to do that. He okay, so we, not, we don't do we that. understand it that wasn't animals a have a level That's of That's not an instinct. That's not an instinct. We understand he that animals, <laughs> don't get me wrong, a bird can sing and talk. So we understand that animals have a level <laughs> of choice, right? Uh, 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 they can choose whether to go left or right. But, but you just said that they can't, they don't, they can't make choices. Do you think a dog understands oh, the spiritual? Do you, think, do you think a dog has a, a conscious understanding of, of its unconscious? Or does, of a dog, a, does a dog have free will? will? Does a, Absolutely does a not. Dog, does so a that's dog what have free will? will. And if y'all don't, if y'all, so you know how, wound, how you say, that's why I call cap. You see what I'm saying? When, when you, when you be on subjects like this and you came in, keep it real. Now y'all talking about a dog got a soul. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Or, or a dog has understanding. What's to the, the soul got to do with it, man? A but, dog. So when I'm talking about the dog capacity. body is a vessel just like but, our body when is I'm a vessel. The, what capacity, are we talking about? the brain capacity to understand things, right? And, and that's what gives us free will. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I call cat when you say you don't. And hey, what's a what's hey. a dog's purpose? What's a dog's purpose? Right. To be. Uh, all I'm saying is a dog don't got free will. Now you ask no, no, me. No, what no, a dog no, 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 on the Bible, and I know in Genesis. Oh, oh that was a horrible thing. Like, what's the, what's, what's the dog's purpose? purpose? Somebody answer that, please. Yeah, it's in Genesis. Companion what's the dog's yeah. purpose? Security, I don't know. It's in Genesis. It, it tells us what to do with the fields. It tells us what the animals is here for. All. It's something, something about that in there. Something about we, the have, we have dominion over the animals? Yeah, we, we, got, we got dominion over them, so there you go. Okay, okay. but do we coexist with animals? Do we coexist? Mm -hmm. I mean, everything on this earth coexists. If you if you if you in the same realm, you coexist. Thank you're on a planet of life. 
Okay. The, the rock you coexist with rock and, and grass and with glass exactly. and everything coexists. Exactly. Do you, have the men, do you have the men over vegetables? Absolutely. Yep. You can eat them. Do vegetables uh, make you sustain your life? Yes. So they got the million over you. No, as well. they don't. They pro they yeah. provide nutrition for me. If you cut down all the trees, would you still be here? Hell no. Yeah, that, that vegetable don't got a choice. If you cut down all the trees no using your will. choice, would you still be here if all the trees no. was gone? Yes. So we can't. We can't. Fuck out of here. What are we Come talking on, about? Right now? Hey, we don't have to. We can't go into that kind of stuff because we, now we're gonna get on a different subject. Because but this no, is what we're we talking talk about, about though. Right well, now. Well, 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 just twenty years ago, they believed Come that you. Oh man. That, well, we, I, hey. I, I'm just gonna go there because just twenty years ago, they believed that you had to have the sun for for life. Not saying that we would be here without the sun, but now we know that you don't have to have the sun for life because they go to the bottom of the ocean and they see that this hot ass water down there, 200, 300 degrees, <laughs> it's living organisms down there. You see what I'm saying? So, Kareem, you, you does, does that, is that water you affected by the sun? God what he gonna do is that water affected by the sun? Yes or no? I'm just saying, you can't tell God what he's gonna do without no trees and nothing else. So if we could be oh here or not, God, boy. Yeah, God created us. Hey, God this, created hey, us. this shit he's is crazy. That's is everything is everything predicated upon something else? Like, is our lives dependent upon something else, and then that life is dependent upon something else, and then that life is dependent upon something this else? This is the order that God made. Me, it. Let me let me read this script to you, please. No, is this it is, like that though? Is it like let that? Me, let me let the scripts answer, so I don't right, confuse we didn't, you we didn't, anymore. We didn't, and then you guys can draw that. you can draw your conclusion from it. This is Second Ezra seven. In the Apocrypha, 2 Ezra 7, and if you if you got your Apocrypha, please read along with me. We're going to start at 2 Ezra 7 and 13. No, we're going to start at 10, and I'm going to read it all down nice and slow. This is 2 Ezra, 2 Ezra 7 and 10, and it says, And I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sake I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was declared that now is done. Then were the entrances of then were the entrances of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful that's how this world is now 13 for the entrances of the elder world were wide and sure and brought mortal fruit 13, 14 if then if then they that have they, they that live labored not to enter these straits and vain things they can never receive those that are laid up for them Thank now you. therefore Therefore, why disquietest thyself, seeing that thou but a corruptible man? And why art thou moved, whereas thou art exactly. but mortal? Listen to what you're reading. That shit is fire. Yes, keep listening. He gonna get. It's gonna get even They're more fire. About us. It says. Why, uh, it says in um. Sixteen. Sixteen. Thank you, sir. Why hast thou not considered in thy mind? this thing that is to come rather than that which is present then, right, answered, right. I, then right. answered i and said o lord oh, that bears rule thou has ordained in the law that the righteous should inherit these things but but that the ungodly should perish nevertheless the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for why <laughs> For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. This is what Christ is talking about when he says that you got to enter into the can we Can we breathe? Because you said it earlier. Can we breathe when we're talking, when we're reading these scriptures? You said it earlier. Come and on, I, come I, on, I, I appreciate it that you said it this show because I said it last show. When come we on, read come these scriptures, we got to breathe. What does that mean to you? Con, what do you mean? When... Everything that you just read, what does that mean to you? Right here, Ezra is asking the angel of the Most High about the perils and the situations and the conditions that we have to go through down here on earth. Go ahead. The, the angel is explaining to him that these are 
conditions that the Most High has put, put us through. in. Thank you. The Most High has. Listen, these are I'm conditions. Listening. These are conditions that the world has fell in for a purpose so we can reach an obtainable goal, which exactly. is the kingdom of heaven. You cannot reach that kingdom of heaven without going through suffering. Thank you. Know, you. Suffering ahead. makes you appreciate once you get to your prize. You know, you. once you run that race and you finally get to the finish line. It makes it all, all that pain of your legs hurting and you, you was out of breath. But once you cross that finish line, you Experience. realize that all that pain and suffering that you went through Experience. was all worth it to get to the finish line. And this is what the angel was trying to explain to Ezra. That's that, what I'm trying to explain to you <laughs> We're going to let the angel explain it because when we try to explain it, look, it just got a whole bunch of confusion. So let's mm -hmm. go back to it. Exactly. It do. 17 it says nevertheless the righteous shall suffer suffer straight things for the hope and the hope for why which is that kingdom that's what we're hoping for for they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the why they ain't gonna see this kingdom that we're trying to get to it says and he said unto me there is no judge above god and none that have understanding above the highest so you ain't got understanding above the most high. Like it fact. says, like it says in, in Isaiah 55 and 8, my thoughts are above your thoughts as high yeah, yeah, as, yeah. as heaven is high. The most high don't think like you. Now we're gonna go to 20. It says, For for there be many that perish in this life because they despise they the die. law of God yeah. that is set before them. That's, that's why right. they not. I'm sorry, go elder. <laughs> No, when go ahead. I was just saying about, that's right. When we okay. talk about death, man, hey, we're getting we, trust brother, me, slow trust down. Me. We're gonna we're gonna get to the death part. You oh, gotta no, wait, wait, real quick, real quick. As what you read so far, to me, you don't have to keep reading. <laughs> we, I've never heard. I've never heard this. Okay, but, that's why I'm gonna keep reading so you can no, get more no, understanding. Listen, listen, so listen, 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 hold up, hold up. Let, listen, let, let, the, let the scripts finish. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm almost I'm there. Read. I'm letting you read. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but what I will tell you is that this is just confirmation for me. It's, it's already there. All praises to the most okay. high, because that's where the hey the most high will give the increase. He will he's the most high is gonna open up your mind to understand this. If he wants you to understand it, you'll understand it. Maybe it's not your time to understand it, and he needs you to grow a little bit more, and he's gonna open it up two years from now to you. How long, Maybe how long, how long? Okay, do so you, let's, do you let's, understand, let's do you understand the says, whole apocryphal? Yes, so it says in 20. For there be many said, that yes. perish in this life because they despise the law of God that is set That's before right. them. For God hath given straight commandments to such as came. What they should do to live even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said, said of the most high that he is not and knew not his ways but That's his right. law have they despised and denied and denied his covenants in his statute have they not been faithful and have not performed his works and therefore ezra's for the empty are empty things and for the full are full things behold the time shall come that these tokens which i have told thee shall come to pass and the bride shall appear the bride is who um, um hamasiach yahawasha he's the bride he shall appear okay and she coming forth shall be seen who is she that's coming forth that she is represents us israel we going to be seen coming forth shall be seen and that now is withdrawn from the earth we are the ones that are drawn from the earth nobody knows that we're the israelites our our nationality has been taken away and we're walking around here calling ourselves african americans and calling ourselves by uh, color black okay so now it goes into 26 it says behold is israel associated with the land israel is a people before it's a place thank you 
Go ahead. Okay, yeah. now let's go to 26. Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass, and the bride which, which shall appear, which is Christ, and she coming forth shall be seen, which is Israel, that is now withdrawn from the earth, which is us, 27. And whosoever is delivered from foresaid evils shall see my wonders. For my son Jesus shall reveal with th those that be with him. Key word. He's going to reveal to those that be with him. Not to everybody. To those that be with him. He's going to reveal those that be with him. And they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years. After these years shall my son Christ die. This was talking about when he was on earth. And all men shall have life. And the world shall be turned into the old um, silence seven days <coughs> as in the former judgment so that no man shall remain. And after seven days, the world that yet awake not shall be raised up and exactly. that shall die that is corrupt. Could I ask a question uh, for oh, educational God, purposes? Let me, the, let me get to the main meat right here and then I'm done. It says the <laughs> when earth, is the main meat? I'm hungry. Yeah, the earth shall <laughs> restore those that are asleep in her, and so shall the dust those that um dwell in silence, and the secret places shall deliver those souls which are which were committed unto them, and the most high shall appear upon the mm -hmm. seat of judgment, no, and no. mercy shall pass away, and then misery shall pass away, and the long suffering shall shall have an end, but judgment shall but judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand and faith shall yeah. wax strong. Yeah. Now I'm going to jump down to um, 43. 43. Yeah, we going what it's, tonight. Yeah, 43. The the, but, the day, but the day of doom, <laughs> the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come. For to come. Within corruption is past. Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown. The truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save that is destroyed, nor oppress him that have gotten the victory. That's what we're doing this for. The victory is to freaking get that, get that immortality. Okay. This is hey, what Ezra right says. Now? This is what Ezra says. He no. says, I answered then and said, This is my first and last saying that it was better. It's been better not to have given the earth to Adam unless when it was given him to have restrained him from sinning. Okay? Mosai didn't restrain him. See, he's saying right here, man, you know what, Mosai, man, it would have been better if you would have just restrained Adam from sinning because because of what Adam did. Now we all got to go through this whole tribulation. And so this is what the angel tells him. He says, for what profit, this is what Ezra keeps saying. He says, for what profit is it for a man now in this present time to live in heaviness and after death to look for punishment? Okay. Then he says, oh, thou Adam, what hast thou done? So Ezra is like, like, you know, Adam, what did you do? We going through all this suffering and heaviness now. And you mean we got to go through this and then after death? We got a punishment we got to go through too. It's like, wow, why did he give the earth to Adam that way do we have to carry this sin? Let's go all the way down to um, 56. It says, for while we live and committed iniquity, we considered, while we lived and committed iniquity, we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Because after death, that's when you're going to get judged for how you live this life. That the Most High gave you. Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon earth must fight. That's the key why you go through all this. The Most High has set this up because this is the condition of the battle to get to that promised land, to get to that that that, that immortality. Now, when we read to um um second Ezra 14. Can I, can I, you, you just now said it like, can I at least ask one question? Yes, sir. So did we set ourselves up to get to this promised land? No. <laughs> because remember what the most... Wait, 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 Listen, wait. You, I'm going to answer the question. You can't interrupt I'm, me when I'm answering the question because that's going to lead to confusion. Go ahead. 
No, we're not set up to go to this promised land because everything That's, that we No, that wasn't my question. That okay, was not say my it question. Again. Say it again. My question was, did we set ourselves up to get to this promised land? Did we set ourselves up? To, no, we didn't. The Most High chose us, and he chose the land. This is all for wait, the Most wait, High. Wait, wait, wait. So everybody who the Most High chose is going to the promised land? Everybody who the Most High chose yeah. is going to the promised land? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So with everyone, that means, everyone, with that who, said, everyone that, who gets to come into your house gets to come into your house by your permission, right? Watch this. Watch this. Yes or no? So if we didn't, if we didn't choose to get to this promised land, then that we don't give a fuck about going there. It's a gift. Exactly. That's what a I don't gift care is. about a the gift. gift. I'm just living a, my life. I don't care about the gift. I know, but see, your your life is a gift. Your life didn't come from but, you. You, didn't, you. I don't care about it because I didn't. I know you don't care about it. You didn't create yourself. That's why when you die, you can't control whether you're gonna live forever either. You gonna I just was already die. dead before I got dead here. part exactly that, because what that, what because what why? because what is dead means dead when when you lack understanding, like the scriptures say, you remain in the congregation of the dead. That dead I was that already dead before I was created you were against my will. Spiritually dead, you were spiritually dead, but you're physically alive. There's I was two different already things. dead before I got mm -hmm. brought here against my own will, so it does I not know, matter. No, I you know wasn't. against your will. Exactly. Huh? You believe me when you, you was in the spirit, <laughs> when you was Thank in the you. Wall, that part, when you was in the spirit wall, you no, I said how you know down here. You did not argue with the most high when you was in the spirit wall. Right, when the most high said that, that he wanted you to come down here, you you obeyed the most high and you came down here. Right. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We, we talking about coming down here, or are we talking about being created? Let's not mix the two. We talking about you coming down here. You might have made it. We don't know that you you wasn't forced to come no, down it's here. Not the same thing. Exactly. You wasn't forced to come down here. You made a choice to come down here to be born in the spirit world. So Let's hold on, wait, wait. Did I have to consult with the most high? Yes or no? We don't know. Thank you. All spirits stand in front of the most high. I just read you that. I just That's just read according you that all the hosts of heaven was there. Your belief. Is, all the host of heaven was there. That's mm. according to your belief. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, That's according fact. to the Bible. You just read it. Your Bible is a belief. That's you right. wasn't there. Well, of course it's a belief. We got to stand Thank on you. something. Thank you. I can't, I can't stand on my own my own interpretation. Thank you. Okay, so, so that's my point. Stand on the if Bible. you can't stand on your own interpretation, then you didn't bring yourself here, so you shouldn't give a fuck about death. Quit kissing ass to go to heaven. Period. No, that's not how it works. Let's get that it. That is how it works. <laughs> Let me get it for you. What? That's how you say it works, but it's does say if the most high. Hey, can, can I, can, brother, can, brother yeah, Karam, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> y'all want me kind of taking it a little bit off the topic because I just wanted to know a little bit more about the, uh, the you Israelites. <laughs> Hold Did up, you say me, it's asinine? Let me get this one script for brother, and then we're okay, going no to go to your question. Let me get this one. This one is, um. let's get it. If it's a, we, we, you you know, can I, can I, can't, can't, okay, so. I'm just saying this because it's one o'clock in the morning now at this point, oh, right? Oh man, yeah. With the scriptures, can we can we make them minimal and, and do more <laughs> of a comprehension? Yes, of, yes, of, of it. Does that make yeah. sense? Yes. Um, I'm gonna take you right here. This it's is like um, I'm in church right now. That's the only reason I'm saying that. <laughs> let's, let's go to Jeremiah one and four, and I'll uh, sis. I want you to read it. I want you to read Jeremiah one. Four, Let's please five. make it quick. Let's please make it quick. Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll let her read it. Jeremiah chapter one, verse four and five. All right. I got you. Give me a second. Let me pull it up. <laughs> Jeremiah four. The word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. So the most high says before he formed you in the belly, he knew you in the spiritual world. Okay. Right. So, so hold on, wait, wait. Who brought us to the spiritual world? The most high formed you in the spiritual world. Thank you. So what why did you read that? Mm -hmm. What was the purpose? The purpose was to tell you that you know you made a choice to come down here. My That's nigga. Who, was who created us? The most high created you in the spiritual Thank you. world. And he put you down here. He, 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 well, you're trying to make it seem like because we was in the spiritual world before we was here that we made a choice to come here. No, that's not fact. 
we we, we didn't have a choice to be created. If you want to go back to that, we didn't Thank have a choice. You. That's all I'm saying. So the yeah, promise of heaven don't to mean nothing to, to me. To come here. The promise of heaven means nothing to me. Mm -mm. I don't give a fuck about heaven because I didn't write that well, in my own shit. But when you go, to, when you inhale it, will don't. I mean, if that's the case, I don't give a fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. about hell. I didn't create yeah. myself to be born. What is your care. definition of heaven? <laughs> what? What is your definition of heaven? What is your definition? I don't give a fuck about heaven. I it's know. not our belief. It's, it's not our belief. No, you said that Wait. you don't give a fuck and about heaven. Like <laughs> so that means that you, you that means because you have defined that it's this it's nothing. So that's why I want to know what's your definition of heaven. Since you don't give a fuck about it, what is your definition of heaven? It's a non-existent. It, it, uh -huh. it's I, I asked you this. I want to know his definition of heaven, not yours. My definition of heaven is right now. Tell me I'm wrong. Can, can I rephrase that? Hold on, wait, wait. My definition of heaven is right now. Tell me I'm wrong. Living in the present. Well, Being. What's, your, what's your definition of the afterlife? How does that look to you? The it continues to. It continues okay. to. Okay. What is the it's afterlife? The same thing. What is it's just of? being. Okay. That's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you. After there you is die. no afterlife. Okay, so everything stops for the one. No, your spirit don't go on. Everything stops. It's just black. My spirit doesn't go on. That means there's no after. It keeps okay, going. So, so all that energy, so, 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 so all that stuff so, that you so, was so talking right, about, so energy that transfers and all that stuff. Once once Lawan's lights is shut off, that's it. That's it for you. You done. Am I Lawan or am I energy? You tell me. What are you? My nigga. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to break this down. Right, right now you in the form of Lawan, no matter what, what you say. What, you is, what does the spirit, spirit right consist of? Energy. Oh wow! Do I need to keep going, oh. or, or do I, or is it done? Okay, <laughs> so you, so your energy. No, let's let's. That's what that's what I was trying to get to. So that energy, where does that energy <laughs> cease to exist after you die, or does that energy? Can energy cease? stop or Wait, start? Let, let me does, let me let me paint this picture for y'all. Can energy wanna, stop or start? It doesn't it stop, nor does it start. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. It. So you said exactly. energy continues on. It's a energy continuum. So there is no one container to another. Right? Okay, so I would agree with you. Thank so you. So why would you that, ask that? I would agree. No, I, I'm not agreeing with you. I would agree with her when she when when because because y'all you saying the same thing but different because you saying that there's no afterlife but we understand that there is a death. We're talking about a physical life. I'm talking about the physical life. So I'm talking about right. after the physical life, right? Whether right. you saying that energy is forever and right. all of that, we understand that we have a physical life here on Earth. So right. when I'm saying afterlife, what, drive, what drives about, our you know, physical, physical life? body dies. I'm, we have a human experience. What, what exactly. So life. when your physical body dies, you have an after. But we're not our body. That's right? what I'm saying. We're not you our body. body. You are made in a physical body. That's why it says. Am, am, I am, I spirit, am I a spirit in a body? Am I a spirit in a what body? What drives yes. the physical body? Yes. Can you please read Jeremiah? It's a semantics. It's a whole one. Hey, look. Fuck Jeremiah. Let's go to when God blew the breath into niggas. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Mm -hmm. Right. Let, we'll go to that one. Let's go to Jeremiah 1, 4, and 5. <laughs> Why do y'all niggas like to shortstop yourself? Let's go straight to the source. We, we, where come we? on, man. Because yeah. before we move on, we have to get better understanding. See, and that's the, why we the, keep getting the beginning getting is the understanding. We're trying to get better understanding. So let's no, like, get better understanding. Say May I say something? I think that in saying, and, and I have to kind of laugh as I'm hearing this, because I keep hearing, like, we got to get better understanding. Like, what I'm hearing is, let me convert you. <laughs> and I have to be super transparent with that, right? Because my understanding, and I'm only speaking for myself, is my understanding. So to say, let's get, it's like, you want me to side with what you're saying. And I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. I just, I'm seeing it in my own perspective and applying it within. And that's totally fine. Right. So let's know, go to the root. Let's get root understanding. Can we go to the root? You got to get that root understanding. Every, it, it, it's Thank only you. one truth. It ain't a whole bunch of truth. Okay. All right. So with well, that let's being stated. Off, let's let's so start what off with, back with that scripture. And let, I want to know what understanding that you get from that scripture when you read it. I'm everything. What I can, I can, hold on. I can apply the entire Bible right here, right now. We're with, just going to, we just hold on, hold on, concentrate on, on one script. No, 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 no. Let this me finish. I'm going to tell you, I can take that entire Bible and I can translate the entire Bible to I am everything in it. That's it. Simple. I'm everything in the Bible. Basic instruction is basic. I'm what everything in there. Okay. You can give me any scripture, now, any scripture that's thrown out there in the Bible. Script. 
I can still take that and apply it to it's me. Okay, I created. All right, let's read the script. All right, and and then we gonna we gonna close out. Hey, come on, come on, real quick. So when we read the scripture, you're going to give your interpretation of what it means, right? No, I want her to give her interpretation of what it means. Then I want you to give your interpretation of what it means. And then I want the brother Hondu to give his interpretation of what it means. And then I'm going to give my interpretation. And we're going to see. We're going to ask you a see, simple question. You we're going to see if all of our understandings mix yeah. together, if we're getting the same understanding. Or, or do we just got a bunch of different perspectives? Okay. Of that's, 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 that's fine. That's fine. It's but a, before, it's we, about, before it's, we go to that script, can we, can we say that energy moves the spirit right right the energy is spirit right does energy die yes or no no what is the afterlife non-existent we don't know it Great, doesn't what is afterlife? It is. afterlife is the uh when, when you after your physical body die yes. what yes. your what your what, what your energy finna be going into from there because right yes. now the your energy is on this plane right now Okay. Right? It's, on, it's on this. It's on this earthly plane. So your so after life, your energy is not gonna no longer be on this earthly plane, or at least it will be uh, in a greater realm, right? How do, you know? How do you know? I mean, well, this is most people' definition of energy. Energy cannot be limited to uh, a, 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 a certain plane. For example, like with gas, yeah. right? When 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 gas is released, gas is a form of energy. When gas is released. Gas expands to every corner of the room, right? And and, and if you uh, open the room up, it keep expanding over and over and over. It just keeps expanding, right? So, 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 so energy so is everywhere. Is what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Now, you said, if you yeah, go, think, if you go into your kitchen right there, energy you turn, is everywhere. Is what you're saying, this, right? Mm -hmm. I would think if you that, go yeah. into your kitchen and right. you turn off the lights, do you not? Does that mean you don't have no power to your house? That's not a question for me. I'm asking, I'm asking the sister, if you go behind you and go into your kitchen and you turn off the lights, does that mean that all the power to your house is turned off? Absolutely not. Of course not. There's still energy going to your house, even though the lights is off, right? Right. The same thing. Once your body dies, because that's what death is. Death is the, um, the soul. <laughs> Detaching from the body. That's what I'm not happens. my body, Karam. I'm the energy is right. With but, now, energy. But, but your energy is no longer your energy is no longer being housed in that physical body. So now it's, it's because released. it's Stop everywhere. Oh, it's I, not, it's not said, limited. Energy is everywhere. So you got to stop it's that. Not it's not limited. Semantic. I get it's it now. Not I get it. I get it. <laughs> so I'm going to change the wording. There we what go. Because it's semantics. It's simply semantics. What happens after? Your energy leaves your physical body. Can you answer? My that energy is everywhere. Why? It's no, it's literally not. It's not everywhere. everywhere. Your energy it's is everywhere. everywhere. My right. energy is everywhere. My energy. Right. <laughs> is there a, is there a dip, is there a separation in energy? So tell me how to. So tell me. So if you're tell me how to. So tell me how to crater the the top of the moon look right now on on forty five west. We're not doing that. We're not going. We're not doing that. My energy is. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run circles like that. My it's, energy is literally it's, everywhere. It's no, everywhere. You are the it's, vessel it's for your energy. We went over that. We went over that. You're saying that over and over. You said you are the vessel. Hey, hey, is, is, is an animal's, animal's energy in you right now? Is an animal's energy inside of me? Absolutely not. <laughs> time out. Time out. What? Is energy, is energy everything? Look, we no, have no, to no, play no, this. No, 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 no. It's easy. It's easy. It's we easy. This is simple. Magic. It's basic. That's, that's it's magic. basic. No, sir. It's basic. No, sir. I got my own it's... energy. I got my own no, 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 energy. No, no, no. You don't I need to eat. You don't need to eat anything. I got my own energy. You Where did you get eat. your energy from? Like, Where did your yeah, energy like, start from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said I was a god. You said I was a god. You said I was a god, so I got my own energy. Who created me if I'm a god, right? I'm going to go with what y'all saying. So now you telling me that I'm part of some other energy. But if I'm a god, I would. God didn't create himself, God, right? What? God, God is God. Who created God, right? So he's his own energy, right? And Thank you, you. And now I'm saying I am, I am, right? So I'm going with y'all logic. So if you mm -hmm. saying that, because y'all finna tell me Watch that all I'm energy gonna fuck is you one. Up. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> y'all finna tell me all energy is one. So so I'm finna exactly. already read that before you even say that's why I asked it. How can all energy be one if I am a god? I make my own energy. Everything I, is God. Everything yeah, is God. Right? What are you talking about? 
Right. Exactly. Like, so who made my energy then? It's it's already it's already you are your energy. It already is. No, if I'm, I'm a guy. I, I made my own energy. You are your energy. So mm -hmm. how, is, how is your energy and my energy connected? Because how is it not? Be, how is it the same? See, that's we what I'm come, saying. So because we all are, we all come from the same see, source. The same source. What, hey, what, what kind of what kind of energy that, do you have? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What kind of energy do you have that I don't? I got my own energy. <laughs> what Does kind of energy do you have that Everything, I don't? Hey, woo. Does it come from the same source? <laughs> hey, that's why you got to make Everything about your swag is different from mine. That's your energy. You see what I'm saying? Does it come from the same source? Does it come from the same source? about everything. Does it come from the same source? Hey, sis, can we read Jeremiah 1, 4, and 5 again? And um, Man, yeah, I'm tired of reading. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, where are we at? Hey. Um, you said Jer 4 and when? That was Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4, and we're going to read that down to 5. And I just want you to tell me what, when you read that script right there. What is I'm gonna, I, can I can tell you yeah, right now. What I'm, I can tell, tell me right after now, you read the reading. script. Always tell me after. Come read on, first on, and on. then give me your go ahead, opinion. Go ahead, Lord. The word the of the Lord came to me saying, the, I came to myself to create myself. It was a thought. I was a Thank thought. You. So I'm just going to break it down as we're going through as it, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> just read it straight. Read it no, straight. no, 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 no. I'm going to just read it straight. Read it straight. Let it go. Let it spill. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. My thought became a quick manifesta uh, manifestation. Before you were born, I set you apart. Now, now I'm going to make you more. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm getting says, hella I tired. And I, gotta the I, I literally her, have to get up her. in a couple yeah. hours. Read the scripture Hold on. talking about it from her per per perspective. Right. I'm Sorry. doing dual. I have to get up in a few hours and lecture like my students. So I have to do this again tomorrow in a few hours. Okay. Before you were born, I set you apart. Now my thought is becoming me in the flesh. I am creating me to be Laura. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. You're going to go and confirm to me, from me, for me, that you are you and I am me. <laughs> what else do you want to hear? She almost, you, I, I feel like you almost got it right, except for the, the, the you are going to confirm for me that I am him. That's, that was exactly right. I, I, I mean, because y'all looking at it from a religious perspective. I'm a non-religious person. That I am, I am the Bible. Him. What does Moon say? I am like, Israel. I think I'm all of that. Your existence is to confirm his glory. Is that what you meant? It's to confirm my glory, her glory, his glory, the, the, the however you want to call it. Glory. But I'm not talking about the all the, the i'm not talking about the most high like y'all talk about the most high no, I yeah, am the I'm, most I'm, high. Gonna, I'm gonna read this from the top that way that we can get <laughs> understanding it says man so this is jeremiah one and one it says the words of jeremiah okay so this is jeremiah's words so context this is him the words of jeremiah the son of hikel the of the priests that were of the Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the king of Ammon, king of Judah. Now, when we go down to four, it says, This is the most high talking because he says it's him talking. It says, Then the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. This ain't the word of Jeremiah. According to the word of, go ahead. Right. Jeremiah is saying, this is, this is the prophecy. This is what the Most High told me. He said, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, okay, this is what the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, before I, before I formed thee in the belly, which the Lord formed him in the belly, I knew thee. Where did the Lord know him? Knew him in the spirit world. Before thou comest, comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. How did he sanctify them? He's telling him, when you were being molded and developed in your mother's womb, I had sanctified you and made you a priest of the Most High. That's why when we read in Ecclesiasticus 33 and 14, where he says that oh, there's some of some of them have he sanctified <laughs> and set near to himself, that's what is his precepting off. The Most High created him to be a priest of the Most High while he was in the spirit world. 
And that's why he's telling Jeremiah, I knew you, I formed you, I ordained you as a priest before you was even born into the world. Mm -hmm. and Can I stop you for one second? Let me say, let me say, I have one sentence. Every character in the Bible is God confirming God to himself. So everyone. Why, why would God have to confirm God to himself? That don't make no sense. That's that, that confirmation. Exactly. Oh, you would have to be. But hold on. You would have to be. Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Say it. You, say it. Go ahead. You have to be what? Go ahead. God is crazy. I see you. <laughs> you say God is crazy. Gravy smiling. No, it but you just say, now. It hits you. Go ahead. But uh, like he talking to himself or something. Now God is not. He don't have to confirm nothing for himself. Why would he have to confirm something for myself? Why, 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 did God, why did God create then? What, 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 your what, what, what are we here to do? Right. Right. Hmm? What are we here to do? What are we here to do? Yeah. Okay. okay. You keep God. you keep answering the brother's question with another question. Answer the brother's what? question, please. I appreciate how, the how dialogue. How does, God <laughs> confirm, how does God confirm himself? Answer that question. That's a very intelligent question he put forth. How yeah, did God need himself? to confirm himself? Yeah. Yeah. Why would he have to do that? It don't make Watch sense. Watch this. The ever evolving to, 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 to let you guys in on something. I said this earlier. I said God is ever expanding. Yes or mm -hmm. no? You said that, yeah. So does mm -hmm. God is does God have a limit? Yes or no? Okay, you answer no, God has no question with another no, 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 question. No, 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 no. This is just how watch, does God confirm me. himself? Follow me. Follow me. You trying to say that? That sounds good. It's cool. But anything, fuck, let's take God out of this shit. Anything that is ever expanding would never know itself by way of mind. Mm -hmm. God is mind. I was the word. The word was me. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? We all we already established a long time ago. God is energy, so so he already in, in in that he's all all encompassing. So why would he have to confirm himself? It still don't make sense what you're saying. Okay, so when we talk about confirmation, who calls God God outside of God? Who calls God God? I can give you the answer for that. I already, I, I think I broke who it down. Who calls for you. God God outside of himself? Well, let me would give God you my be, explanation. Let what me give would you God, what, what would God be without creation? Let me give you my and how would it be and how would it know that? Let me give you my explanation. Every no. every every Bible believing person ain't gonna be the same on this one, but uh my explanation is in the beginning, he talked about us. That's and we went over this before. Who was us? It was the Holy Spirit, there's God, and there's oh. Jesus. Jesus was there at the beginning of time. So why would he need to confirm anything for himself when he got Jesus right there to confirm and he got the Holy Spirit no, right there to confirm? That, before that, before that. Okay. So God before what? There was never no before Jesus. There was never no before the Holy uh -huh. Spirit. Oh, uh -huh. no okay. There we go. So why did Jesus need to come down to earth? Mm -hmm. What that got to do with what I just said? I, I'm just everything. asking I'm, 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 like, like the brother said, you answering the question with, I'm asking you. If you don't got the answer, you can say that. Oh, uh, well, I'm asking you is why if 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 Jesus is already there to confirm for hold on, wait, 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 what, what did Jesus, hold on, wait, if the Holy now let's Spirit do this, let's do this, what did to Jesus confirm confirm? These things, why would he need to confirm his own self when it's already other people there to confirm him? What did Jesus that's, confirm? That's, that's confirm? way higher than any kind of uh man on top of. On top of that, there's there's angels and everything else, but we don't even got to go that that far. Nigga, we're talking about before creation. What but did Jesus is, confirm? Before creation, there still was Jesus. What who did, did who Jesus do, who do you think? Who do you think created the earth and everything? Christ not, did. Listen, listen, y'all, y'all jumping ahead. We're not no. talking about a physical creation. There was no Jesus. There was an idea of Jesus. We no, there was that. a Jesus. There was there a Jesus. Was. Jesus Yes, there was a physical Jesus. Where was he at? Yeah. He was energy. Then they, Let's get it. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? This nigga was energy? Yeah. What the I'm fuck done. are we talking about? We talking about what the Bible say. I'm there done. was a physical Jesus, but he was all energy. Well, we already uh, said that God is energy, right? Let's go to John. Let's go to John. Please. We're talking about John 21. Y'all gonna run like a motherfucker. Let's get some understanding. I do want to say this stuff. I do want to say this. Let's go to John 1 and 1. Hey, look. What are we talking about? I do want to say this. We've been on here for almost seven hours, right? This. Damn. 
<laughs> regardless of all the loops that we didn't did and all the yeah, I'm getting drowsy man, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we didn't I didn't see you tonight. I want to just say like I appreciate both of y'all, all three of y'all, mm -hmm. and, and even the brother Mike for sliding through and um you feel <laughs> building on this type of level because right. Mike, Mike said he's I am after tonight. Right. <laughs> hey nah, because the way that this just came across. We didn't we didn't built with a lot of different people on on religious topics and and it be always going it always get crazy but I feel like we was able to kind of get somewhere even though you know what I mean there was some resistance at certain areas but uh at the end of the day not nah, like you feel me salute to y'all I really want to say you feel me I appreciate y'all for sliding through um and we're gonna have to run this again for sure and Most I wanted definitely. To say, um, I wanted to say all praises to the Most High, and I want to say I thank each and every one of you guys for inviting me on to this live stream. You know, this has been a very pleasure to build with you. You know, and 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 ultimately, we're all searching for knowledge. You know, um, mm -hmm. I don't have I don't have all the answers. I can go into scripts and everything. I don't want to even try to um, try to put myself out there as just having all the answers. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I, I don't. I'm learning every day. Every day I. <laughs> To the most high to give me more wisdom knowledge and understanding especially in these in these these perilous times that we live in with so much confusion you know that's what the word babylon means the word babylon mm -hmm. means confusion and we are in a modern babylon where we are confused we're confused from you know how we how, what what foods we should eat what books we should i mean confusion all day on tv so i mean we're all bombarded <laughs> And so this is one of the things when I'm with other groups that, you know, I like it when we can build like this. Yeah, it can get kind of heated. Sometimes, you know, we get all over the place and everything and the spirit will lead you here, lead you there. But you know what? At the end of the day, you know, when we can just sit back and we can just thank each other like this mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know what? Um, can we continue this um, another day and just come back on and just keep on building because the ultimate goal for each and every one of us is just to get that understanding. And we just want to be on one accord, you know what I mean? And that's really what it's all about is being on one accord. And as you look out into the um, the world right now, nobody's on one accord. I mean, the Israelite camps, they, they argue over doctrines and everything. And we just got to remember that a lot of things that we argue about, the ancients, they they debated these same things. I mean, constantly, constantly, constantly in debate. And like Elder um, um, Yahar brought out, you know, they were really on Paul with all those debates and everything like that. So I just say that, you know what, this has just been a pleasure to be invited to this chat. I really thank each and every one of you for inviting me on. I would like to come back and um, continue with this. Man, we, Definitely. We, 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 we went hard tonight. I didn't expect to go this hard. You know? <laughs> Usually I go this hard with other Israelite brothers and, you know, we kind of agree on the scriptures, but it's mm -hmm. nice to go this hard with other people that have different perspectives because when mm -hmm. you guys bring me your different perspectives, it helps us all to grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's why we take different perspectives. And I don't mean, I'm not here to try to convert you or anything like that. I'm trying to get your perspective that way that I can learn more. Because I'm going to learn from each and every one of you. Because the Most High is going to flow through you. That energy is going to flow through you. You're going to say something. You're going to present something that's going to add to the body of knowledge that I have. And it's, I'm going to have that, wow, I didn't think of that. And so mm -hmm. I just thank the Most High for allowing uh, us to come together and just really just go strong like we've been going. Seven hours, man. <laughs> we <All> went <right>. hard. <laughs> Great. I appreciate that. I see, Karam, you came out with the shoddy when you was talking about God using Satan. I was like, oh, what? Yeah, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, yeah. he was well, bringing shit was, out for sure. Was saying, I was like, man. Right. right. Yeah, you yeah. definitely, um, and I'm going to use that. And I'll be like, hey, yeah, for I was real. talking to him. I'm I didn't want to see clips. Right. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody coming on. I appreciate the respect um, amongst everybody this evening because, you know, with a lot of different perspectives, and everybody being so intense on their belief, you know, it could have got disrespectful. So definitely, I appreciate the level of respect from everybody um, all the way around. Definitely. I, I have to give it up to, uh, to to Kareem, man. Kareem uh, stepped in. And I know I, I put you as um, a, a Christian, but the non, uh, what's your, uh, non 
yes yeah. coming in because you know we got two uh, or three you know israelites and then we got three ims so you just came in to the necklace mm -hmm. like hey this is what i stand on like you know what mm -hmm. i mean and you was making some dope points and i was just like yeah so you know this all, and that, this is to everybody but you know i like to see when people just come in solo stand on their own shit, and you know just just fight it out against you know whatever's going on but what it seems like is that um even though um everybody has different understandings when it came down to specific scripts and specific understandings it was all like hold on like we all like you know mm -hmm. on the same word about certain things and that's that's the dopest part Come, come, come. And that's really what it is. You know what I mean? With the, It's amazing how the perspectives can be almost the same. And it's just a little tweak here and a little mm -hmm. tweak there. I mean, we're, a we're all, yeah, we're all on the mm -hmm. same road. You know, it's not like that, you know, with you on the other side of the street and I'm on this side of the street. No, we are all on the same road. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah. you know what we you know, there's a bump on your side or crack on my side and we just got to step over it and just keep on growing. You know what I mean? And that's what this journey is about. It's, it's about us growing with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, being humble, being respectable to each and everyone. Because mm -hmm. believe me, I've been on chats where just like the sister was saying, brothers get all heated and then they want to start clicking off and it's over. And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. if we just keep that humility amongst each other mm -hmm. and that respect, you know what I mean? We can go into conversations like this and like the brother saying, we're going to all look back on this video and I'm going to look back on this video and say, okay, maybe I didn't explain that right. I was going mm -hmm. off right there, right. you know, because yeah. we use these things, you know, as teaching tools. I got to go and reflect on the things that I say and be like, oh, you know what? I didn't explain that right. I can understand why the brother's seen it that way. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I need to do it this way this time. You know, that way that I can be a, a better teacher because mm -hmm. that's my ultimate goals is to be a better teacher, not to be a talesman, but be a teacher. I'm not telling you this Ooh. is a I'm showing you and then allowing you to make up your own mind as you read it yourself, because ultimately that's what it comes down to. Um, you know, just like you said, you're a school, a school teacher. You know, when you're when you're trying to teach different children in the school, you know that they have different levels of understanding. You know, what I mean, little Johnny in the front, you know, when you explain he got it, he got his pen down, he's working. And then you can see the eyes. Of some of the other students the way you know you can tell by their spirit that they don't understand and then you need to go over there and you need to help them a little bit to get them to, maybe you need to explain it this way to them to get them to understand it because the way you explain it to johnny he got it but eric over here you know what maybe i didn't i gotta tell him this way and then when you tell it to him his certain way then you know he can understand it. and it's really about just really finding that spirit of of enlightenment That's and right. education that certain individuals had that you can mm -hmm. add on to what they already had, you know? And yeah. I think it's just very important, especially when you teach. Absolutely. I, I, I'm a nursing professor, so my students are adults, but I teach in parable. So I get it. I have to teach in parable for other people to be able to understand. So I appreciate that. And I just want to say real quick in closing, man, that y'all, um, I'm not going to be redundant and say a lot of things you just said because I feel the same way as all of y'all at it. It's just good to be amongst some um, intelligent, um, forward thinking individuals who are thinking about how we can improve upon ourselves, um, whether we're looking at individuality or looking as a nation building type. Uh, but it, it's just good to be there and be here with you all. So, again, it was thanks for the invite um, to. Both of you who invited me, you know who you are. And also, um, yeah, I was talking about that 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 stove with fire, using that. A, I still put my hand on the stove to this day. I just make sure it, I just make sure it ain't lit. <laughs> it don't happen to me. I still do it, you know. So, yeah, so it's, it's no big problem. But I love you all, man, you know, and I hope to see you all again. Yeah, Thank you. Sure. Shout, shout out to uh, Free Your Mind Podcast. Uh, appreciate y'all having me on here. Uh, the show is dope. You know what I mean? I'll definitely be tapping in all the time, just listening to what y'all be having to say. That's why I tapped in with Moon. Like, man, y'all got to let me on here. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> uh, but uh, br Brother Karam, you was uh, very knowledgeable. And, and, and if I'm mm -hmm. saying these names right in your heart, uh, y'all was very knowledgeable. I appreciate what y'all had to say. I would yeah, like for definitely. one day. Uh, to uh, be able to ask some questions more about um, and go in depth with y'all about um, just the, I, I'm not aware of what's you know where y'all background on the Israelite 
whole thing. So I would like to go into depth on y'all as far as, you know, on, on the, you know, not tonight, of course, but just uh, how, how, how black people, us coming from West Africa, most of the slaves, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> all of that is directly tied in and just get some, uh, uh, I've, I've heard some of it, but just get some historical and biblical, uh, from y'all, um, on that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then uh, to everybody else, uh, you know, I'm 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 original. I feel like I'm original. I am, up gang. <laughs> and, uh, you know, That's uh, a fact. God, That's a the, fact. You know, God is I am. You know what I mean? And we all are a part of God. Uh, again, you know, I'm just gonna double back on my point. Uh, just that, you know, my thing is, <laughs> I, I'm I'm here for the accountability. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that if anybody, you, so so that if anything is said. Uh, you know that 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 I could always say what I gotta say uh, on the other end. So, uh, <laughs> me, meaning that uh, <laughs> I feel like we 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 are uh, you know it, 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 I, I, kind of like in what you be saying in a way like it, it does have to kind of be um, it can't just be one sided, man. You know what I mean? Like it it got it got it, you you gotta have those different viewpoints, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gotta have people that coming coming in with a different angle, or mm -hmm. it's not really authentic. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. you know, I, I, yeah. I appreciate the platform once again. You know what I mean, and uh, yeah, it was dope. I, I, have to, I, I have to give you this real quick, Kareem. Uh, when we talk about accountability, this is accountability. So That's what I was absolutely saying. correct. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. I, I was gonna say like this is what it's all about. This you know what I mean? Bridging. Like you know what I mean? So we bridging it. Yeah. While we while we boxing and shit, I'll be like, nigga, what you talking about? But this is what you're talking about. And then we go home at night. You know, I always go home at night. That's what I was going to say, too. I always go home at night. And then, you know, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, that's why That's why I love God. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a beautiful thing. And he always confirmed to me. Sometimes I get a little bar. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I get a bar. You know what I mean? But most of the time, he confirmed to me what I was already believing, what I was already saying. You know what right. I mean? And, and, and sometimes... Uh, like a, a lot of things that Brother Karam was saying, uh, you know, the, the, a lot of his interpretation on the, on those verses, uh, you know, I got to look at it that way too. So, you know what I'm saying? So he gave me some knowledge on that too, as far as the, as far as the verses is concerned. So, yeah. you know, uh, so yeah, it's definitely yeah. food. You in Sacramento too? Yeah, I'm in Sac. Oh man! All praises. I'm in Sac too. Man, all <laughs> y'all there? I used to live in Bay Area, but I'm down in Southern California now. Same time zone, but you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, hey, I was gonna say, brother Karam, you look super familiar. I'm from Sac too. I was just like, damn, he look familiar, like super familiar. You may owe him some money, man. That's what I'm. Saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you, hey, you might be absolutely correct. I might. Man, I was, I was thinking back. the same thing. You look super familiar too. <laughs> like, well, I've seen this brother before. I know we. we, we did we used to hang out together or something. So, yeah, that's a you fact. Know that's, you know what? When when it's like that, I always give praise to the Most High because that's spirit. the spirit. That's, a fact. that's the spirit that's right a fact. there. Either it was, either we was we was like that in the past life, and we coming yeah. back. But, you know, that's the that's the other meat that we gonna get into. Re, uh, um, um, regeneration. You know, the, the, the spirit yeah. coming yeah. back. You know, that, that, that's 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 heavy meat in the Bible too, because Christ talked about that. You know, regeneration. That's coming back. We, this, this ain't the first time we've been here. Like you said, that energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I can leave you with a quick scripture on that. Real fast. <laughs> 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 uh, you couldn't do it without it. Uh, that was good. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't, man. I got to hit the scripture because it'd be on my good. mind. So let me get right. that real fast for you. That's going to be Ecclesiasticus. <laughs> it's dealing with energy, so what's up? That's not yep. the Apocrypha? Nope. This is in the regular Bible, Ecclesiasticus. Okay. It says... um. Let me go to right here. We're going to go to Ecclesiasticus 1 and 9. And then we're going to jump to 11. Oh, Ecclesiasticus. Um, then we're going to jump one. down and get the remaining. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 and then we out. So this is Ecclesiasticus 9. It says, the thing that has been, is it is that which shall be. And that which is done is mm -hmm. that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Yes, now mm -hmm. that new thing is talking about you. You're not a new thing under the sun. You've been mm -hmm. here before. Now we're going right. to jump down to 11. 
There is no memory of former things. Neither shall there be any memory of things that are to come from those that shall come after. Mm -hmm. Meaning when you come back, you ain't got no memory of your past life. You mm -hmm. come back, you got to start off fresh as a baby, um, be built up into this, learn all over again, go through this whole thing all over again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the next time we get on, we're going to really deal with um, with um, regeneration, what the Gentiles call reincarnation, which is a Hindu word. And mm -hmm. we're going to um, get into that. When you come back, you come back as you come back, your energy comes back in a human body. It doesn't go into a turtle, a bird, mm -hmm. or anything like that, how they be talking about, you know, you can come back as an animal. The Bible makes it clear that when you come back, you come back in a human form and you have no memory of your past life that you was here. You got to start mm -hmm. over fresh. So we're going to get into that because that's some really heavy meat, mm -hmm. just like it was saying in Isaiah 21, that you got to be winged from the um, breast and um, wing, um, um, winged from the milk and drawn to the breast. Once we get, um, into, yeah, um, you know, and when we get into yeah. that, you know, reincarnation, I mean, regeneration, that's a really heavy topic, you know, um, of deep spiritual uh, understanding that we can get into. So, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, we let's, with it. I'm with it. Yeah. Uh, bro brother, br brother, uh, to, to, to the Israelite brothers, right? Y'all, uh, this, I, I will say this to y'all, um, no lug or nothing like that. Um, cause I know everything ended on a peaceful note and a good note. Um, what I would say to y'all, and, and for the next time, maybe if I can get on here with y'all again, like I said, I want to learn more about the Israelites. But I did hear, Brother Karam, when you was talking about, I will say this. I will say, um, because you're very knowledgeable in the Bible, and, and I get a lot of what you're saying, and you inform me a lot, and I'm open to that. You see what I'm saying? And I'm open to, you know, I'm open to that, right? Because 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 I can't just say... What I believe is everything, whatever. So I'm open to that. If it sounds knowledgeable, if, it, if if some of what you said, you know, resided with me, right? As far as your in interpretation. But I would say for y'all, y'all uh, message might be, um, and, uh, you know, I don't know that 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 whole uh, white thing with the devil and all of that. Um, <laughs> and 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 this is what, I, and the reason why I say that is because on most of the topics that you had. And I'll say for the next time, I just want you to go back and try to come with something because that was the one that was the one when we were talking about for, for the father. And when we were talking about the father, the father, you didn't really have nothing on that one. You know what I'm saying? And you couldn't really get no verses on that one. You know what I'm saying? So 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 with that, and I, feel like, I feel like, you know, when we talk about the Bible, we got a good message. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you, you got to look at that as coming from the standpoint of being an Israelite. You see what I'm saying? Um, is is that is this true and correct? You know what I'm saying? Is this is this is this way of thinking? Does this represent Christ? You see what I'm saying? God, um, God. You know, and that's questionable to me. You know what I'm saying? When I and you know when I when I hear about it, you feel me? When when I hear people say things like that, you feel me? And it don't God. it don't sit. Well. And you know what? The one thing we have to remember before before this truth came out, it was a mountain of lies that was already built. We have to remember their interpretation of the Bible was that we're we were the ones that um, our blackness is a curse from God. We <laughs> descend from the children of Ham. We have Most to remember they, they built a whole doctrine of freaking making us out to be the damn devil. No facts. You know? They built a whole doctrine of making us be the evil ones. So now that the truth is coming <clears throat> out, you know we got to look at it. You know because this is what these people have always done. They project they projected their atrocities on us. You know, and then they've covered up their tracks. And so now what we're doing is we're going to filter history through the Bible and see what prophecies came true that they fulfilled with their actions. You know, because like I said, a lot of these prophecies have already been fulfilled. And what they're trying to teach is that we're waiting on some some future prophecies. And they act like, you know what, that we're going to be sitting here catching hell for the next seven years and they're going to get raptured out of here. Like, where is that in the scripture? After all the hell that you didn't raise on earth, the only thing you have to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you get to skating into the kingdom? <laughs> no. Somebody got to pay for all this stuff y'all done done. Who going to pay for it? We just get to wallow in it. So, you know, I understand how brothers can feel like that because, you know, 
you know, the white man being the devil is just a sticky subject with our brothers. I don't, I don't know. Well, well, well no, I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I definitely come from, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna let us go, right? But I definitely right, right. come from a strong, you know, uh, you know, Afrocentric background or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, so, so it's not, it's not that, uh, you know, the white man got a control of me and nothing like that. But uh, I, I just feel like because of the trauma that we went through <clears> from the white man, you know, what I'm saying we have developed a lot of uh so, you know even religions and we have developed a lot of thinking you know what i mean um that that's unhealthy you know what i'm saying yeah and, and, and we have to remember everything that we everything that's done to us all this health unhealthiness that's on by us, them for sure exactly and we didn't we didn't get no therapy when we came out of captivity <laughs> you know they just let us loose and said okay and yeah. every time we tried to built something they burned it down we try to build something they destroyed it we try to build something black wall street burn it down this burn it down i mean so i mean and we have been the represent we have been the representatives of god's people from the beginning showing mercy showing forgiveness i mean come on tell me what people are more forgiving than black people after all the hell that we've been through nobody freaking, can nobody freaking forgive like we we are the children of the most high because of all the evil that you do to us, we don't want revenge. We want to live like human beings. We ain't asking for no revenge. <coughs> right now, you got the Ukraine. Right now, you got the Ukraine and Russia fighting. They going over. They know. You know. They fighting over whatever they doing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't. We ain't trying to go up against the government, and we have been through so much help. And that's why I say, you know. Hey, if you give you give me now, you give me enough soldiers and a few planes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but that's the most I said. That's why the most I said vengeance is his. Vengeance not all. No, that's real. That's real. You know, but the only but what we can do is we can point out their atrocities. You know, we have the right to say you did this, you know, and not feel bad about it. You was acting like a devil when you did this. You killed people. And then you washed the blood off your hands, ate dinner, and went to bed like it was nothing. We can't do stuff like that. Our spirit will not allow us to do anything like that. So right now what we're seeing is we're, we're, we're holding these nations um, in a trial for the things that they've done. Because their ancestors didn't pay for it. Their the next generation didn't pay for it. You ask this generation right now. You know, are you responsible for slavery? Nope, I ain't responsible. Who who's responsible? Who's gonna repay for this stuff? The way that they got it, nobody's gonna pay for it. You guys just gotta take it and when Christ come back, enjoy it. We're all going to heaven together. And so we gotta break down uh -huh. those lies. You know, we gotta break down those lies because they have taken our book and they have created these religions. You know, the Roman Catholic Church took um um put christ to death put him on the cross and then freaking took the message and then created religion then put together a bible and then put all these things together for spiritual warfare and then went out into africa what does what what does he send out first week week in the country he sends nuns guns and drugs always let the nuns and the priests go in first to weaken you spiritually you know, except white jesus except black um, um baby jesus accept all this and we then when get you come it. and see yeah, that just shows we, we you too how yeah, it shows you too how we gotta, we, 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 yeah what's your we're gonna definitely yeah, get into it man we're gonna we're gonna definitely get into it if you got a facebook i'm sorry i heard you are yeah what, you got a facebook brother y'all know i do but i'm talking about the uh, brother with the lakers head on um oh oh okay you got a facebook Oh yes, uh for Rai Hondo. I'm probably the only one on there. It's the it's the it's the picture with the uh I'm sitting in a chair though. It's two pictures. R-A-Y-I. Right. Okay, just yeah, like that. All right. How about you, um Karam? No, sir, I don't have a Facebook. Okay. All right. Well I'll I'll send you a, a invite um there for Rai. Okay, for sure. Okay. We'll get, All right. we'll get, we'll get Karam out. through uh through Mike. Right, that's yeah, definitely that's, yeah. Kind of, kind of. All right, and again, peace right, for everybody yeah. coming through. We super appreciate it, man. No for real. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We gonna Much run it. We gonna we'll set it up and, and quit, run the next one. And quit definitely. putting your hands on a stove that's lit. Yeah, <laughs> <watch out. laughs> when it ain't turned on. Right? 
Peace Thank you, guys. Y'all. Good night. Good night. Right, good Shalom, night. King. Shalom, Queen. All praises to the Most High. Thank yes, you. Sir. Shalom, shalom. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> that man. Hey, we could go all night with that type of stuff. You feel me? Yeah, man. It's um. It was a. It was. It was a dope experience to just have. You know the the different energies and beliefs yeah, in the building. Yeah, exactly. Like, all the different perspectives and shit. It's just like bridging that gap of like, okay, you looking at it like this way. I'm looking at it like this way. Okay, you know what I'm saying? To yeah. be able to really paint that full picture at the end. That's really what it's all about. So I mean, that's a fact. But they, they was I mean, dope. to because they met in the middle, and you know when I say they, I just mean you know from the. You know, Israelite side to the non Orthodox side. I'm going to say that. But yeah, you know, yeah. Side, you know what I mean? yeah. So to have them have a, a specific understanding, at least on one, maybe two, maybe five things, was mm-hmm. lit. Right. Yeah, so yeah, that shit was dope. Yeah, man. That they. They was you feel me, and they was they was dropping their shit. They were spitting their shit. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, too, which was. Which was dope because I was hearing a lot of new shit that I ain't heard. Oh, you know what I'm fair. saying? Like that Damn. shit was lit. You know what I'm saying? I love hearing new shit, different perspectives that that still correspond with you know what I'm saying. This I am understanding, like it's it's it, it just confirms, further confirms. Like damn, how many more confirmation? Like you know what I'm saying? It's everlasting confirmation. Like we just continue to get confirmation of you know. The things that we talking about at the end of the day and for for myself personally you know what i'm saying and but not at the end of the day it's just it's just dope to hear these different perspectives to see how people is looking at it you know what i mean yeah and that um that apocrypha man um i don't know too many different people that read out of that right Um, right so it would seem as if like that's you know, like kind of somewhat synonymous to like the Book of Thomas or, you know, um, you know, Enoch or different books like that that really break down certain levels of thought or information that may not be in the, you know, in the traditional, you know, King James or NIV or mm-hmm. whatever type of Bible and shit, you feel me? So uh for them to bring that out, that shit just hit different. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And, right. That was my first night hearing some of those scripts. I'm like, it's up. Like, yeah. you know, like you were saying, like with the confirmation, it's like, yeah, nigga, that shit is up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, overall, that shit was dope, man. I look forward to the next one. Yeah. Um, this should be long, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking seven hours. God damn. I'm done, man. Free your mind podcast. Till next time. Till next time, man. Love y'all. Peace. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that good shit. Life gave us